I've committed a crime. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Monday overalls. I didn't come to work with the right attire. I'm sorry. I don't know what I don't know what was going on in my brain. I guess I've been in a hoodie all day. And I know straight to jail. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I feel like, oh no, I feel like I need to go change or something. Or maybe we'll make it Thursday. Thursday can be overall day. I know, fired. <laughs> oh no, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know. And Mondays are literally, it's literally overall Monday day. Oh my gosh, guys, welcome back in. Happy good Monday. Regardless, it's still going to be a fantastic day. Um, to ask a band? No. <laughs> Oh, I can't be eaten by the Dementors. Please, no. Is it Hoodie Monday now? I never wear hoodies, but it's been extremely cold. I also feel like I just needed a cozy moment. I don't know what's going on right now, but lights are... I'm feeling really sensitive, like overly sensitive to lights and like not normal. I don't feel a headache coming on or anything, but for some reason, my like one single ring light over here is just beaming into me. But today is my Thursday. Oh, is it like your... Wait today's your thursday so tomorrow's your last day and then you have off is that how that works today is technically mondays always started as a party day because monday's my day before i usually take tuesday completely off and then my other days are like recording days as well when i'm not streaming but yeah they're usually my fridays plus monday taco bell day as well i see wd40 fund also i saw a couple people comment on the intro and yes the starting scene screen is so incredible it was made by carson druid i think um if one of my mods don't mind doing the information for him but i was just thinking about it as you guys were talking about it I think he would kill me. I'm pretty sure he would kill me if I went to him and asked to add bodies to it. But guys, we have a lot of bodies that we can add to that pile. Look, that pile was created three years ago. Like, honestly, three whole years ago or two years ago. I don't know how long I've had it. I think it's been two years. Whenever I last played, what was the... I got to see the characters on it. Hold on. Uh, These are just some of my favorite villains. Yeah, I think this was made from three years ago. Yeah. Oh, no, that's going to go crazy. Yeah, he is not going to be happy if I ask him for more. <laughs> Real quick, dunked. And wait, Anon with all the gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Anon's been sniping left and right. I know there were a couple follows right before. Becker, thank you for the follow as well. Cameron with the resub for 18 months in a row. And Crate, I did not miss that. Crate trying to sneak in five gifted subs. Make that... Trying to sneak five and then continuing with 15 more gifted subs. Great. What the heck? Like, you got to stop. It can't keep going. Cameron, thank you so much for 18 months of continual support and welcome back in and create with 15 more gifted subs to the channel and community. Guys, if you have gotten one, welcome in. I hope you enjoy the emotes and the channel. And I just wanted to say real quick because it's been a ton of people, but we have hit an all time high with subs and we officially unlocked three new emote slots. So I need y'all's help to tell me what kind of emotes you guys would like to see. I know we already talked about doing a one more emote. So really two more. Yeah, I never in my wildest dreams thought we'd ever get another slot. Like I thought it had already maxed. But we have three more slots that were unlocked. Um, I see Dan's here. Captain Morgan, welcome back in. Fizzbite, Patrick, hi. I see Rhett. Rhett, welcome back in. Kevin as well. Roomba was here. Sonia, hi. I see Zen. Cameron again, thank you so much. Man, I'm just, I love Monday so much. You guys know I come alive. Um, stoic with the thousand bits. Dunked with the 200 bits. I love your YouTube solos, but jumped in here to give some love. Welcome in and dunked. I was just reading it. Ugh. Dunked with five more gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Holy cow, real quick, Ed, this goes for Dunked or anybody that pops in from YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this side of things. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more chaotic, but it's kind of like twice as fun. I feel like it's twice as much fun because you get me near real time. And instead of me, like, you know where I try to imagine that you guys are judging me and I say, like, don't look at me like that. This time I really get to look over and see the judgment. So <laughs> the real KV, welcome back in as well. Patrick, Dunked, thank you. Anybody that's gotten a gifted sub, guys, welcome in twice the chaos oh absolutely absolutely and if you guys are from the youtube side of things um this is actually what i've been doing a con how sweezus welcome back in did you say it's your first day back to work since being on vacation 
crate with 15 more gifted subs to the channel and community. Yes, did somebody, was that Frogman? Yeah, Jess and I got matching sweaters and I love them. I, you know, I've never, I think like, I've never been a big fan of like uh, Twitch merch or anything like that, but they had this like cozy hoodie. And then look at this cute little like fuzzy, it's the, whatever, is that Twitch? That's like the logo, I don't know. It's whatever it's called. I think it's called the Twitch character. Thing. I don't know. I've been on this platform for five years and I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Um, I see Redfly welcome in the crate. Dude, you gotta stop. Like, this is just this little fuzzy Twitch look. <laughs> I know I'm really showing that I've been on this platform for a while. I know the thing. It's called the thing. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Like you have already given far too much this month and even before. Just please, please stop. Bell Peppa, welcome back in. And Core, okay, I gotta scroll back and catch up. I see Cameron again, Sonia, it's an absolute pleasure. I see Rain Man, Kevin's here, Spazzy, Candidate, the thing, you know, that thing. Okay, I'm so mad that Anna put the arm wrestling thing in. How many chicken legs? How many? <laughs> it's twice too many chicken legs. Dude. Galactic dreams, welcome back in. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You did it. Joel, what's up? Welcome back in. I see Mighty Amen and dunked with 300, 600 more bits between the, the other two. You guys, this is not, we can't keep doing troll trains right off of the rip. Y'all, this is far too generous. Did we just become best friends, Jess and Maggie, on their hoodies? <laughs> uh, I didn't even tell you guys. I got absolutely made fun of because, okay, so I like to listen to music when I'm in the shower. And when we were at TwitchCon, I was going to take a shower and I started playing music and I played Lutenbach, Texas. And Jess and Anna were laughing their butts off and making fun of me for listening to my, like, I wouldn't say that Lutenbach. Texas is a sad song. It's not sad, but they were just out there laughing their butts off and they were like, only you. And then also only would I go to Paris to buy cowgirl boots as well. You're mad at Anna, that's sad. <laughs> I could never truly be mad at her. Also, did you guys enjoy? She started her Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. And if you guys didn't know, she does a couple of the voices in the game as well. Um, so I'm. it's killing me that I can't pop in because I've not played it at all and I can't have spoilers for it, but. I know. I don't know what's so strange about that. You always have to listen to sad music in the shower. Honestly, they're just lucky I wasn't in there drinking a beer or while listening to some. <laughs> and then they said it was Johnny Cash. And I was like, this is not. You will respect Willie Nelson, please. You guys hit the town hard. Laura Gravo, welcome back in. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. Just need to add a shower beer. Exactly to reveal. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, I found cowgirl boots in Paris. That was like the one thing I bought that and I bought a little wallet. I'd had the same wallet since high school and I found this like really cool matcha green looking wallet, which my mom then proceeded to tell me it looks like the color of puke. But I love it. I love it. I told her it's a good thing that I'm never going to pull it out to show you anymore. Yeah, listening to the good stuff. McBuzzin, welcome back in. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Johnny Cash. I'm just saying, you can't mix up Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson, you know? Katie Lake, welcome back in. I saw Red, I saw Apollo, and there's a bunch of things. Just, again, great. Thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Anon with all of the snipes. I see Wilkinson, Wilkinson with the reset for two months in a row, and a bad Buddha. Bad Buddha, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row as well. Howdy, y'all. Uh, I just, wait, it wasn't called Bad Buddha. We went to a restaurant that had something in the title with Buddha, and I can't, maybe, no, it wasn't Bad Buddha. What was it called? Buddha Bar? I think it was called Buddha Bar, and it was really fancy, and I felt like a fish out of water, but it was really good food, and it good atmosphere and everything that actually just reminded me of it. It's always a good day with Maggie Stream. Solid God, what's up? Welcome back in as well, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes. I So I think I've shared with you guys before, I probably need to have it starred, but I have my, um, what is it called? Is it called, hold on. I think it's Cowboys and Cats. Yeah, I have my Cowboys and Cats playlist for you guys. If y'all like a good country playlist, I promise. I think you guys will like this. It has a little bit for everybody. Um, Anon, again, Pop-Tart, Porpoise, Danny, Senor. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the sub and the emotes. Kratos with the 600 bits. I'm behind on even addressing the activity feed. Kratos, thank you so much. The Ram Ranch, no dunked, no. <laughs> 
the swingers bar looked sick too that was um it was a golf thing i guess it's a chain the swingers golf thing which i was telling i was telling anna i was like look when when you go to meet up with people for the first time maybe that's not where we want to take them as our first time meeting them just food for thought i don't know <laughs> yeehaws and meows i like that the yeehaws and the meows <laughs> uh how do you like project hail mary so far great choice for the book club so i actually have only kind of gotten into like two chapters of it but so far i'm actually enjoying it i never read the martian but it's kind of making me want to because if i like his style with this i reckon the martian's a pretty good one as well since i believe he wrote the martian before project hail mary right yeah if you guys are into books we do have a book club in the discord um you just have to ask one of the mods to join in in the book club section i need to kind of readdress that because i know it's kind of hidden right now but we just started a new book so you can still hop on board with it it's our first sci-fi it's called project hail mary um by the writer of martian yes raj you already have you already read this book raj i feel like you've already read it pikachu welcome back in it is a unique story you know i'm gonna be honest i've never read a sci-fi novel so i feel like this is a very historic moment for me and it's gonna i don't want it to make or break the genre for me you guys know that i'm pretty open to trying and giving a chance to other um books i hardly will ever like judge an entire genre off of one book is what i'm trying to say but no pressure project hail mary just <laughs> no pressure it's a very light one so it's good it's also yeah quick read it actually uh, ridiculous <laughs> clout y'all i don't clout with 20 more gifted subs to the channel and community and a level Six hype train. Hell Mary won't disappoint. Undone, have you read it before? Clout, great, all of y'all. I see Kava with the reset for 14 months in a row as well. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Tumu, swoosh. Tumu with the 100 bits as well. Dunked with another 300. Core. Core. Philip. Guys, Philip, thank you so much for five more gifted subs to the channel and community. Uh, welcome back in. Clout, welcome back in. Raj, reminding me about Impact Winter. What's Impact Winter? Arnie. Mass Effect Remaster was really well done. Defuse, welcome back in. <sighs> Guys, we already broke. Gosh, <laughs> DC. <laughs> Guys, we already broke the all time record of subs in this channel, and we just like. <laughs> Zamp, welcome back in as well. Yeah, you gotta be fast, Sir Jag. Welcome back in as well. Guys, thank you so much for all the gifted subs and just the generosity across the board. I see James. Shadow. You guys have broken the streamer twice before. This is not a daily thing. Yeah, Project Hail Mary is not going to be this week. It's going to be next week. I have to post into it just because we picked it so late. Shadow. No, I'm going to do this to you. Shadow. Get out of here. Shadow with five more gift. Dung. Paco. Jargon, welcome back in. Daffodil. Gamer is here, Vin, Vin, hi, Brain Man. Guys. Dunk, Paco, James. James, thank you so much and welcome back in. Dunk with another 300 bits as well. The train is over and it's still going. This is like when I tried to tell you guys, I thought I thought that not having the alerts on would, would put a stop to the madness. And you guys just kept going. Like there was no alerts. We're just sitting here in silence as you guys are dropping like uh, gifted subs after gifted subs. Wayward. Wayward with the thousand bits as well. Erdy, no, we're not trying to make me cry. Um, I really don't want to glaze past this. Just real quick, let me go back. Hold on. Core, where are you? Core, thank you so much for 44 months of continual support and on our way we'll do to four to years. Her young family. 
trivial. I um I have I have the cat cam set up right now. I have it set up, but she's not in here. So if she does come back, I will I, I promise we'll get a cat cam going if she comes back and I can like set her down right there. Guys, thank you so much. Dog Cray. I see it. YJ, welcome back in. Cameron's here, Frogman. Solid God with Theresa for three months in a row. Zippy, Zippy. Zippy, it's been 21 months and a tier three as well. Thank you. Lionheart, Lionheart, I'm still so mad that I didn't know you were there. I'm so mad I didn't get to meet you. Gree. Greebok with 10... <laughs> With the chicken leg, with 10 more gifted subs to the channel. Like, community, there's not even a hype train going anymore, y'all. Guys, thank you so much. Wellsinator is here. Me too. I guess we'll have to cross paths at another event sometime. Yes, I would absolutely love to. I know a lot of people are going to the, the TwitchCon Vegas. I will not be there. Um, but next year, I'm definitely going to try to do some kind of trip so I can I meet, just beat more people. It was one of those things that it was so much... Um, it was like a very interesting contrast to go from seeing so many people and talking to so many people and then back to my normal habit of being kind of like a solitary creature where I feel like I never talk to that many people. So it was a little bit of an adjustment to come back. I don't know if you had that same feeling, but reason, reason with the Risa for eight months in a row as well. Chat's invisible. The train it is. The hype train it is. Love is in the air. El Paco, thank you so much. Casey, shuffles here. Shuffle. All right. I'm still at the very top. I have not scrolled back down. I see Darko. I see N Fizz by Maribel's here. Ernest is here. Um, Sharpie. I'm trying to think if I have Scarlet. Scarlet. Again, it was so great to see you. It was just so awesome. I definitely had that as well. Yeah, it's just like this weird like back and forth. You're not used to it. And then you come back and you're like, oh, uh, I'm all by myself. And I haven't been able to hang out with any of my friends since being back. So it'll be nice. I think tomorrow I'm going to some car dealerships. I'm going to get the car situation fixed because my brother wants his car back by the end of this week. So I kind of, I'm trying not to rush the situation, but I can't help but feel rushed on it. So I've got that tomorrow. And then hopefully I get to spend some time with friends as well. I mean, I know I just spent a lot of time with friends, but I, it's, it's like the friends here as well. Friends across the water and over here. Casta, how do you keep up with reading all the gifted subs? I'm not. I'm not keeping up with it. I'm not keeping up with even saying hi to everybody. I see Susanna welcome in. Will you play Life is Strange before the storm? Thanks. Uh, the, the Before the storm? Oh, just in general? I absolutely will go back to them. Look, guys, if there is a will, there's a way. I'm going to try to play every game under the sun. Hopefully... I can do this and continue to do content creation for many, many more years. And I hope that I can only get to all the games you guys are recommending. I'm going to try. I talked about this a little bit, but it'd be really cool if next year I could find a way in my schedule to create a little bit more content for YouTube as well and possibly do like four videos a week. I just feel like I get ahead and then I go on a trip and then I am back to where I was before. And so I just need to make some more time with it. The Tacoma, I don't know if I'm going to test out the Tacoma. I'm looking at Ford and uh, Toyota right now. I see we jamie welcome back in undone undone hi everything's ruined welcome back in as well absolutely retro game night how about retro game night are you talking about like wall streaming i have a massive backlog we have content for ages so buckle up i saw one title in this i heard from a very reliable source that kelly did a proper renegade run through me1 why were you guys discussing Kelly in the general? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Ernie. Ernie, thank you for the donation. Thank you for bringing up the trauma of Kelly. And now, now, like, everybody who's new here also now understands the story of Kelly as well. I swanning me, Bob. I swanning. Roth, Roth, welcome back in. I can't believe it's going to be a year soon. One more month, Roth. Thank you so much for the continual support and welcome back in. New games to play, Subnautica. My thought is I should get through all of these shorter games first and then save the long games for later. But I, you guys know I can't do that. I always like, I kind of just, I feel like I'm weaving between it. Like we'll play a short game, then we'll play a long game, then a short game, then a long game, especially on the YouTube side of things. But I am getting back to recording another short but sweet game for you guys and I'm super excited for that. 
that. Can't wait for more Mass Effect with catching up with the VODs. Tristan, welcome back in. Yes, we're going to be on Mass Effect for a very, very long time. Yeah, Josh, you and Josh was introduced to Kelly. Okay, bottom line, long story with Kelly. This was a year after starting stream, I believe. I know Trivial was there for it. So it had to have been a year after starting stream. Um, I get a message from one of the members of my community and they were like, hey, uh, I matched with you on Tinder. And I was like, that's funny because I don't have a Tinder. And they took screenshots and sure enough, somebody out there took my pictures from Instagram, said they were Kelly. And I will state this one more time. The worst part about all of this is not that they stole my identity. You can steal my identity by all means. Take it. I just, well, <laughs> um, they said I was 30. They said I was 30. I was 30. I was 22 at the time. And they said I was 30. And people probably believed them. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I usually try to do something like that. Yeah, like take a break, chill, and then get back to it. Exactly. I'm 30 plus. I take offense. I'm like, look, I will gladly welcome my 30s. When that time comes, I will welcome it. It will be the time of my life. Look, I'm not afraid to get older. I welcome it. But being 22 and then somebody trying to say that you're 30 does not feel good. Okay, that does not. Especially when you have like a baby face. Like nobody has ever not carded me a day in my life exactly but don't rush your age no no no. i'm not rushing my age but by all means like i welcome it i feel like 30s is some of the best times like the 20s have been rough let me tell you 20s are for mistakes and when you look back and you're like oh okay that was a mistake but i learned from it did i learn from it i don't know i think i learned from it i'm 32 and i feel old no don't not at all like seriously i feel like now more than ever I do not think that 30 is old at all. I don't even think 40 is old, but I think also the older you get, you just are in denial maybe. So I'm like projecting for myself. But like, I look at my parents, my parents are about to turn 60 and I, that to me doesn't feel that old, um, especially if you're in good health as well, you know? People have always told me I look 18, when I, <laughs> but you looked 26. Yeah, I always just get that I look younger than I am. Absolutely, all the time. Scooby boy, welcome back in. But I always talk about it. I feel like laughing keeps you young. And it, you're like a lot of it is how you project or talk or or act around people as well. And obviously, like when I'm streaming, you guys are going to get the goofiest side of me. Like y'all aren't seeing me doing my bills or my taxes or stuff like Like you guys see me in my most like fun goofy state like when i'm just purely a child again i feel like like when i'm just being a kid again you know the cast attack stream <laughs> um i'm still catching up i am so far behind i see fness i look like i'm in my early 20s have you ever shared how old you are i don't even know yeah yeah no wait my birthday aj oh well, aj were you not here for my birthday stream also having a good skincare routine, y'all. Yes, Scarlett. I felt like that was something that doesn't get stressed enough, like starting a good skincare routine as early as possible. Exactly. Jason, what's up? Welcome back in. Thank you. Also, Carl with the Risa for three months in a row. Carl, thank you so much. I turned 20. Okay. I turned 26 this last March. However, there weren't there wasn't a six at Target, so I got 24. So I turned 24. Okay. <laughs> I'm too young to be denying my age and trying to pass off as younger than I actually am, but you know what I mean. I see Jules. Jules, welcome back in. Speaking of the Subnautica queen herself, TurboTax is a new Twitch game selection. Is Wait, what? Is it the t Let's do taxes together. Wow, you know that could be a spot that, you know, that it might be a niche on Twitch that hasn't been exposed yet. I'm just saying. It could be something. Greatest duel in Star Wars is Yoda and the R wait R two D two. Wait, what am I reading right now? It kicked me. I can't see that comment anymore. I saw Subnautica VR. Nope, absolutely not. Are you guys bringing up the egg again? What are you? Twenty two, twenty three. Yes. No. Twenty six. Still just a baby. Zlody, I see. Trivial, I saw. Cyanide, hi. Sean. I usually try to do something like that. Break up long games with something smaller and chilled out. Exactly. For me, a lot of times you're going to see me break up games by emotional attachment. I can only play so many games where my heart and soul are being ripped out of my chest, you know? Drew's welcome back in. Also, AJ. AJ. Wait, wait. Did you say you weren't here during that? No, it's not actually an Udi. Hold on, there's so much going on. Tumu, again, thank you. Philip, thank you for the five gifted subs. Arnie, I see Abu and Frozen. Guys, thank you for the follows. Paco, I saw Dunk, I saw Rain Man with the Hydrate. Skills with the reset for the six months in a row. Skills, welcome back in. Hylotross, thank you for the follow. Wayward with the thousand bits. Erties, I saw. 
Also, Stagels, too big for drama. I wanted to read that as bagels are fit for drama. Thank you for the gifted sub to the channel and community. Trivial with the three gifted subs again. Grayback with the 10. Caleb with the reset for two months in a row. Anon with the gifted subs. I see Dark Ben. Guys, thank you for the follows. Kobe, I'm just catching up. Lion, my cat turns 17 next month. Yeah, Ginger is an old lady. An old lady. I know, I read it as bagels. Yeah, 42 here, but I shave. I pass as a high schooler. Facial hair on a guy makes a big difference. Facial hair is like makeup, honestly. It just feel like you can really catfish with a beard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Howie. <laughs> Howie with the 100 business. No, we're not bringing up the purple egg. We've been here for a while and we still... Wait, wait, wait. And we'll still be here watching and sometimes lurking, but keep up the great content. I watch your playthrough and look forward to listening to your explanations before the end of your playthroughs. Kobe, thank you so much for the kind words and the reset for three months in a row. Hold on, hold on one second. Are you in a hoodie? No, I actually finally have my fan. Like my fan's good to go. But uh, no, it's not an Udi. It's just the, okay. It looks like an Udi because I ordered a large because I like large hoodies. Okay, they make me feel cozy. Hold on. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> In my defense, there's a lot going on. Let me, wait, let me see if Ginger's here real quick. Yeah, no, <sighs> there's a lot happening. You guys aren't making it. <gasps> you guys aren't making it easier with the hype trains back to back. Okay, hold on, hold up. You're not making it easier. Did you like the Udi line art? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a nightmare fuel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a little foggy. Hold on, <laughs> I don't know why it's so clumsy. That's so cool. Sorry, Bubby. Hold on. Be back. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so... <laughs> I don't know why it was so foggy. That was really weird. <laughs> She's like, good morning. <laughs> Confirmed cast has legs. That might be the first time you guys have ever seen legs. Nax K with the reset for three months in a row as well. Callup with the 100 bits. Did, uh, did some of your Jedi Academy bods go away? I tried to watch all of them, but I felt like there were gaps. Ooh, also Bodax, thank you for the follow. I don't think there were vert. Were there gaps in them or just maybe they haven't all gone up? I'm trying to think. I don't think there was a situation where I, the only the only thing that I think wouldn't translate is if I played it for the Disney collab, but I didn't play that game during the Disney sponsorship, so there shouldn't be a gap. But if you tell me what part, then make it easier. Yes, I did England and France, so some of the part postcards are from England, some are from France. And Sean, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row, and welcome back in. I would say I love the Udi, but it was stolen the minute I took it off. Also, yeah, Ginger, Ginger commandeered my Udi, but another big thing about the Udi is it gets really hot. Like it's not like a normal sweatshirt; it is so comfortable, but it just heats you up. Zero with the follow, Aries with the 100 bits, always getting done dirty in Final Fantasy, missing out the final weapon because Maggie didn't want to pen 10K to Colonel Sanders. First of all, how was I to know he was going to give me a weapon? Wait, what do you mean? He was going to give me a weapon if I paid him the 10,000? Are you talking about when he told, wait, are you talking about inside of the office? Is there a VOD of your LA Noir playthrough? Wait, are you being serious? Is this like a meme or are you being serious? You leave Sanders alone. Matthew, I'm so far behind, but Sean, again, thank you so much for nine months. Matthew, with an entire year. Matthew, thank you for a whole damn year. Lion, Jaeger. I felt like, I didn't know how, if he, if, if he had told me he was going to give me a weapon, I would have given him 10,000 gladly, but nothing. Did it say he was going to give me a weapon? If I, I can, th I, <laughs> Barrett's weapon. You get a weapon for Barrett if you pay him. How was I to know that? No, I haven't played Adelaide Noir, and I have a lot of requests for that one. Classy, welcome back in. AJ, no, I've never done a birthday stream. Is it at the end of March? Yes, yeah, it was at the end of March, but maybe you popped in right after? 
He must have. And Smokey, thank you for the 100 bits. Skolander with the reset for seven months in a row as well. Look, I died in that game with it and I didn't die, but I had a lot of gill. I wasn't broke. It was the principle. You guys say this. Remember Witcher? Do you guys remember when I didn't want to pay the guy 80, what was it, 70 coins? Because I felt like it was the principle. <laughs> It was the principle of the matter. Do you guys not remember this? Are you surprised at all? Jason, legend herself. No water. Also, I need to hydrate. Good point. Pondy, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Mm. I was a hoarder. I was. Postcards will be redeemable again. I know, Furch. I know it's a crime. I'm not wearing overalls on overall Monday. Even worse, I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie. I feel criminal wearing jeans and a hoodie. It just doesn't go right. Spike. Guys, I can't even catch up on all of this. Spike, thank you so much for the 900 bits as well. And end. I'm at ends. I was hoarding. Yes, I'm... I was hoarding. Guys, the postcards, there's only going to be 10 this next time because I have a short trip. It'll be redeemable next week. I think next Wednesday or next Thursday should be that thing. End. Discovering Casta streaming Heroes of the Storm when she started on Twitch was like winning the lottery. Seriously, it's been so much fun to watch you and your community grow. Mostly lurking, but frequently watching and supporting this amazing shit show. And thank you. <laughs> End is one of the few people that still has a founder, like one of the few founders badges. Like after doing this for five years and to even have like two or three people with a founder's badge still hanging around, it's just surreal. And thank you so much. Fish Fish, welcome in. No, I've never played, I'm doing the remake. I've never played the original. Um, I also see uh, H3, thank you for the follow. Spike with the 900 bits. You're gonna make me teary-eyed with that one. Jarashif, thank you for the follow. Victor with the reset for nine months in a row. Victor! Vic, thank you so much. Counting months is like counting sheep now. Sheep, sleep, sleep, little sheep. Aries, it's one thing to be a loot goblin, it's another to be a cheapskate. Okay, I would say that I'm not a cheapskate. I think it's more like, it's not, no, it's, it's a principle. It's, <laughs> It's not being a cheapskate. I've talked about this before. I will buy ones, cry ones with something I feel is right. I thought he was trying to just get money off of this. You know, I thought he was just trying to take advantage of the situation. How was I to know he was going to give us a weapon for 10,000? And this is, I know. Uh, Mikey, Shiro, CR, and also, S S wait, wait, I see Sit. Sit, guys, thanks for the follows. And Robzor with the Prime sub. I'm finally caught up. Rob Zor, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes and the channel and just everything. Thank you. You even go out of your way to do solo playthroughs along with streams. Big props for hitting both audiences. I, I appreciate it. I actually, I just celebrated five years on Twitch. And when I went full-time content creation with this, I knew I wanted to do more than just uh, stream on Twitch as well. I've never been good at being somebody who only does like one thing at the same time. So I was really excited to kind of get back. And I found that there was another purpose for doing YouTube, which was being able to focus on a game. Cause there are, there's a fair amount of games that just the love that gets put into them they kind of command the respect of not talking through the cutscenes, like i tend to do and so i'm still learning to balance that i'm not perfect all of my playthroughs are just a little bit of like the chaos that is me but i've had so much fun doing youtube and this as well this last year has just been a whirlwind to say the least um darth welcome back in as well and thank you i appreciate it i i never feel like i'm balancing it enough but i'm always trying my hardest and that's what matters i suppose goric welcome in i know deserved for being cheap <laughs> you missed barrett's best weapon you know at the end of the day though that's what makes a play another i can do another playthrough and i can get it the next time you know it, it will be fine. The world will continue. You found guilty of no overalls on Monday. The punishment will be to switch places with Ginger, who plays Mass Effect today. You guys would love for Ginger to play Mass Effect because then nobody would be talking during the cutscenes. <laughs> Ginger would just be doing fun. Title, by the way, welcome back in. Rain Man, I saw, yeah, I've never done L.A. Noir. I saw Lion, I saw Jaeger, I saw Caliph. Caliph, welcome back in. Looking forward to the Mass Effect playthrough. Absolutely. Today is day three, so have no fear. Mm -hmm. 
your caster recap is here we're still in the tutorial <laughs> um this is very much on par with me if you guys saw my witcher 3 playthrough at the beginning of this year i took what three or four streams in white orchard alone um i'm getting the handle of it jordan welcome back in penguin as well um i'm done apologizing for it i don't think i need You're to more of a crack pot than a crack shot <laughs> hey falky that better be Falky. Is that Falky? Kala, welcome back into. I'm I'm not gonna apologize for it anymore. This is an absolute fire hose of a dump of information when it comes to like starting this first game. And so the fact that I'm still in the intro and the tutorial, it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm just gonna keep going. We're gonna take our slow time, enjoy it, and you know, just uh, I'm trying to grasp the the world that is Mass Effect because it's massive in citadel and i also got thrown into a purple egg and i don't know if i actually knew what was happening i just i watched back that clip and i watched the part where i was like what is happening and then you just see and i was like oh no i know what's happening no 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 uh indie lion thank you so much for the prime sub as well and richard with the reset for 14 months in a row richard welcome back in do you go back to replay a game you finished or you move on to the next game do i go back to replay like the same game the same game i just played and brandy welcome back in as well lion thank you so much and i'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel i don't know if the ginger cam's gonna stay on y'all just because i know that's gonna eat up some of the mass effect gameplay space so it's up to you guys i'm gonna can we actually get a poll can one of the mods do a poll? You guys let me know. We can throw her in one of the corners, make her a little bit smaller. But let me know if you guys want to keep the ginger cam during the gameplay itself. Uh, Aries, I saw she was wearing her boots. Wait, what was I wearing my boots for? And I saw posture check. Do you? Come on. You see me comfy. You see me comfy. I have been found guilty of no overalls. Mass Effect 2, the best game made by Bioware. Probably the best game, period. I am excited for the next ones because I know that a lot of people say after you've been thrown into the world of it, you tend to enjoy the second one and third one more because I think you get like an understanding of it. I'm getting more and more comfortable with not knowing what's going on in a game. I think when I was younger, I really wanted to know everything about the world before it even began. But uh, if I've learned anything from Final Fantasy, it's that I won't have all the answers. I never will have all the answers, and I'm okay with that. Or maybe like one day it will come clear. And I'm going to not talk. I don't want to I don't want to commit to Crisis Core or the OG or talk about that on stream. That's going to be something that um, I'm going to tell you guys my route and what I'm determining to do with that on the YouTube side of things. So we're not going to talk about that anymore in stream, just for the record. Can we ban everyone who doesn't want Ginger Cam? <laughs> Seven's remake hard mode is actually really well made. That would be if I were to go back and do another playthrough of... Mm, of Final Fantasy and do something sooner, like take the time to do that instead of going on to another game. It would be just to do hard mode and fight the bosses because I think that was a fun part for you guys was seeing all the bosses that I did kill first try. I was not expecting to do as well as I had in my first playthrough. So 16 bands incoming. <gasps> People don't want Ginger on screen. Oh, Mass Effect has a ton of information right off the bat. It is so much. Hellcat, Ethereal. Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. Spazzy with the no you so I can chill out again. Uh, Coop, I see. Kevin, I see. I'm just going to catch a few more names. Um, Bruce is here. Brucey. Depends on the game. We'll replay some five plus times if I like it enough. I think for me, like, and also Sexy Cab, welcome back in as well. Um, I think I used to, like I used to replay a game right after playing it, but now because of the volume of games, like my, my volume of consumption of games is so much right now, more than it's ever been in my life. And so I definitely am the type of person that likes to replay a game over and over again. That's why Fable was always my favorite for so long is it just, it was, I played it so many times that I loved it that much, but I think now that I'm doing content with it, I, I try to just mix it up more because if I play the same game back to back or for too long, I start to get a little bit anxious. I start to just feel, um, whatever I primarily am doing in my life, I like variety in it. If that makes sense. If it's a hobby, if it's something in the, like something else that I'm doing, I don't quite need that variety, but when it's something I'm doing day in and day out, I like to be kind of mixing it up and feels, feels a little bit different. And so I like to go from game to game. So we haven't, we've done a few replays though. You guys have seen replays, but never back to back, you know? This still terrifies me, Mags. <laughs> Are you talking about the troll? The troll biscuit? That's one of my favorite emotes ever made. 
Can we make the cat cam even bigger? Simply Dave, welcome in as well. I'm here for the moments you'll experience in Mass Effect. Well, you came to the right spot. Simply welcome back in. I see Riso with the Risa for four months in a row. And Fuchs, you want to time out a mod? Who? Wow, 89 of you guys want Ginger. Okay, Warlord, welcome back in, by the way. I'm sorry, but the second cam is just taking up too much space on the screen. Drash, I knew you were going to say that. I knew that was going to be your stance on this. I feel like I start to know you guys way too well. And a hydrate by Solid. Larbear with the reset for six months in a row as well. Thank you. Mm. Okay, let's get going, you guys. Mm. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Joshua, I saw Kuma, I see Howie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dan's here. Smitey. Ginger is the main character. To be fair, I could just replace my cam with her. Uh, to be fair. Do you know you can remove the old founder badges from people who disappear? They reallocate after? No, I didn't know that at all. Wait, what? That's kind of cool. I, what? That's so, whoa. That's, I didn't even know that they created that in the first place. I thought that would be like, because I don't have, um, you'll notice I don't have VIP badges. I don't do VIP badges. Uh, but I do have the founder's badges because I don't, I don't think you can necessarily turn those off. Not that I really, the founder's badges I don't mind having on. Ginger's cat cam full screen. The game where my screen is. <laughs> uh, you can give it to people. Wait, wait, you can give people founder's badges. You can pick the founder's badges. I was surprised how well you did in Fort Condor, even though you never understood it was rock, paper, scissors game. Yeah, I know. I know. The amount of look, I know. First of all, I want to talk about this. The comments ripped me apart, so I fully understand that I did not grasp the concept of it. But I sheer, like, hard-headed and will-powered through that, and I still became the Condor Queen. So just imagine if I actually understood how the game worked. You wouldn't want to see it. It'd be scary. Okay, it'd be too good. I wanted the NPCs would have never stood a chance. It was like um, it was like Gwent when I didn't understand what was happening with Gwent. It was a mess. Would I still win occasionally? Yeah. Once I understood the game of Gwent, guys, there was no NPC. I mopped the floor in the blood of my foes when I played Gwent. No one was safe. Nobody would pick up a Gwent deck again after I crushed them in that. I'll tell you what, I've never been so bloodthirsty in my life. Okay, let's resume this. Uh, this emoji's everything. Everybody loves the brows, although my brows can't do it like they used to. I feel like it was a young brows game. I don't think they move anymore. We need the VIP badges because we're all VIPs, am I right? I think that they do give you more depending on, I think it's it's depending on something, but yeah, I did VIP badges very, very early on and then I switched them off because I just didn't like, um, it depends on how they're used and I felt like it was just easier to not have them because I didn't, I didn't, I don't like anything that resembles like a hierarchy um, within it. I feel like we're one big community and so I just didn't like that. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, it is starting. It's it's showing a black screen right now. There we go. Okay, so I do want to give you guys the recap. I think you'll find in Mass Effect Run, regardless of how many times you played, the first time you go to Citadel, they spend large amounts of time there due to the large number of side quests. Yes, and I have a bunch of side quests that I've already started. Yeah. Uh, the difference may be the number of side quests they take on, but still everyone spends a decent amount of time in this intro area. That actually makes me feel a lot better. I do love, I will say for what it's worth, while I do want to make sure you guys understand, especially because there's a lot of new faces and follows, um, Revan included. Revan, thank you for the follow. Um, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, but with that, feel free to, like, if I struggle with something, I love seeing you guys be like, hey, I struggle with that too, or tell me a little bit about your experience after I've done something, as long as it's not a spoiler. I actually really do like kind of hearing that from you guys uh i try first tried wedge <laughs> you tried to fight wedge at first was that you aries noel thank you so much for the reset for 14 months in a row and varied with 10 months as well also yes i need to get ginger's cam thank you revan challenge accepted <laughs> i was dumb enough to fail at fort condor and appreciate your dedication and saw the results <laughs> i think a lot of times if i just put my mind to something it might not be the the fastest way or it might not be the best way to do it but at least i'll get the job done it's kind of why i chose ruthless in this because you might not like how i got it done but i get it done at the end of the day we get it done <laughs> dead mall only 47 minutes keeping the intro light i think actually yesterday was even faster yeah 
Uh, sorry, I have to add Ginger's cat cam. Hold on, let me go back to IRL real quick. I forgot that I don't have it. Where is it? Cat cam? Let me copy. Let me go back here. Uh, we'll just do a cat cam for a little bit and then I'll see where she moves because I recognize it does take up a lot of the screen. I'm ready. I missed out on this game. Oh, okay, so yeah. Um, once again, cast a recaps here. We just talked to Dr. Chloe and we did right before this decide on the characters we were taking with us. We ditched Ashley. Ashley's out, the other guy's in. Um, yeah, be proud, we're making history. Wait, for what? I spent tons of time in the Citadel, gotta look in every corner and talk to every NPC. And also we need to collect all of the keepers. You bet your bottom dollar that we're not leaving the Citadel until I collect all 20 keepers. I'm telling you right now, don't even worry. All right, we're gonna make her really small. What if I made her small? Oops. What if I, oh, there, how does that look? Is that good? Is that good? It's just really hard to put her anywhere without, is that like obstructing too, too much? Do you feel like that's fine? I know we have to scan all the keepers. I know that's maybe at that like size, it's not even worth it. You're not allowed to touch the keepers. I'm not, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm gonna make her over here. Move her over here maybe. I feel like that's just really chaotic. But I think this corner is better. I promise you she's not gonna move very much. <laughs> Sasa is not gonna move. Ginger Cam, 100% of the screen, everything else. Undermine, that's true, so that you're not having to like split your focus. We'll do in between the desks. That's not too, too bad. Cat Cam on my forehead. <laughs> Could be a photo and we wouldn't know. She's not gonna move, I'm telling you right now. And Forrester, thank you for the follow in Aries. Again, leave Ashley alone. Y'all keep coming to Ashley's rescue and you have nothing to rescue. Like she, Ashley is out, okay? We don't like her. We're not hanging, we're not friends. And Callan, Callan, thank you so much for three months as well. You're literally playing my favorite series of all time. I hope you enjoy it. And we're in the way that so many of us have. I am very cognizant of the fact that you guys absolutely love this game. And so in that regard, I'm trying to take my time. And I feel like very much like I opened Pandora's box when I started Final Fantasy VII. There's occasionally games that I, oh! <laughs> There's occasionally games that you just, start playing that has just this massive audience and nostalgia and love for it and so in that regard i want to do it justice and i hope i do i hope you guys enjoy it this is day three and like i said we're still in the intro but we're gonna take our time we do for anybody that's new or popping in it was because i timed back into it it's because i like I don't know, it was a reflex. I thought Ashley was standing in front of me. We are taking the time to listen to all the journals and we haven't quite done the secondary ones. So I do want to go back through and listen to the secondary ones as well. But right now our squad is. Mm, we have that effect, agree? It's a massive audience. I would say so. I would say quite the gathering. All right, so we get we brought Garrus aboard and we ditched Ashley. Ooh, does Garrus have a talk? I just feel wrong putting the helmet on them. I don't know, it just, it takes everything away. It takes the mystery away. Love a good mask. That's ma <laughs> that's Maggie fire, not friendly fire. We did talk about how it's no longer <laughs> friendly fire. All right, Garrus does have 10 points, so we should spend that as well. Eric and Sluk, guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Turians look like alien cats. <gasps> I can kind of see it with the bone structure. I could see it. Hands off the trigger, look Pondy. All right, so I will say how I'm approaching it. So I'll kind of talk you guys through my thought process right now, but I recognize that for our squad, we can only have a certain amount of members as of right now. We only have two assisting characters. I believe that Caden is my healer. No, Ashley was my healer. Okay, we're gonna make Garrus. Oh, shield boost, assault training. What is assault training? <gasps> Increases, hold on. Tactical armor, assault training, increases melee damage, increases weapon damage, grants the adrenaline burst ability. Damping, increases the explosion radius of your tech proximity mines, shuts down enemy tech and biotic abilities. What? Suran? Um, if Ashley was still here, we'd have her mask on for sure. We can have her back on the team, but I'm not putting her, I'm going to have her helmet on the whole time. Yes, I already ditched her. <laughs> 
Who made a meme out of it? Who posted that meme in the Discord? I already ditched her. <laughs> they took two birds on the basis of Turians, not cats. They combined it with birds. Really? Trash, I always feel like you have great background knowledge on games. In this game, you can brutally beat the journalist in all the part. Wait, what? Electronic Turian agent. The required military service of his people has given Garrus expert training in assault and sniper rifles. Increases accuracy with all weapons, increases damage. I feel like that's the bee's knees right there. Just max that. I feel like their specialty, their individual like specialty is some of the best things to max first and foremost. It's one weird looking bird. <laughs> decryption. I think Caden has a fair amount of decryption, yeah. Caden's been my little decrypting and electronics boy. Um, I think we're gonna go into having him be kind of like a, just a strength character. I wanna put into his tactical armor. I wanna make him just like a powerhouse, you know? It borked it. I never showed anything in chat. Oh, wait, wait, no, I thought I read it out loud, Kala. I think I read it out loud that this was your favorite. Yeah, no, 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 it did. It's time for another episode of What Will Maggie Get Into with Space HR this time. <sighs> I didn't do it. The consort, the, con <laughs> the consort approached me. I didn't do it. I did. Am I harassing Ashley? Probably. Should I have been fired by now? A hundred percent. I'll put one into assault rifle. Overkill? I like that. Overkill, only available when the assault, uh, using assault rifles. Firing assault rifles generate 80% less heat and does 50% more damage. Okay. I like that. I think they're all done. Leon, how many knees do bees have? I'm still trying to find the legendary bees knees. I've been stung by many a bee and still not seen their knee. I never thought about it, but I wonder how the spacesuit would feel like. Bees? I reckon this would feel like a second skin, almost. I don't think it would feel, I'm imagining it would be like a whole, like Lululemon onesie. <laughs> that's what I, that's the first thing, if you guys know, that's the first thing that I think of. Pale King, Saltwater, guys, thanks for the follows, welcome in. All right, let's, uh, let's hop to it. So our next location is Rex. We actually have two things, so we could go straight to, um, we could go straight to the other thing, but I think we actually want to see yeah, we want to go find the Krogan bounty hunter named Rex. Might be able to help you. So we need to go to the academy. Takes two to cuddle in the purple egg. I, the, oh, replenish my med gel. Ooh, so you can go to med bay and replenish your med gel. 1A, hey. All right, let's talk to everybody. Too many lights, too much noise. Okay. Not the leaning forward kind of pose. Place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. Spectacular views. Kleptos, welcome back in. Oh, that's no. I had already mentioned. I had already mentioned Rex. That yeah, that wasn't like a really big. That wasn't like a spoiler or anything. Yeah, so that that kind of comment's fine. Like if you if it's if it's a character that I've already said out loud and I've met, it's okay to say like you love a character or something like that. Sorry, Darpes. Yeah. If uh, Calope. The casino, if you're feeling lucky. Garrus's first thought is the casino. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. The thigh gap. Mr. Trebs, yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, Antoine, what's up? Welcome back in. There's very little serious crime in this arm of the wards. Maybe because the CSEC Academy is so close by. Okay, so this is where the Academy is. Yeah. I found the ketchup Doritos, and they're 10 out of 10. They're so good, right? Jess brought a whole bag and <laughs> I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Oh, cool. Okay, so we kind of make up for the fact that I had to rush through her dialogue last time because chat was acting a fool. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents so brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Hmm. And yet, here we are. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Oh, so you can buy supplies from her. Do you stick with either Caden or Ashley? I stuck with Caden, Jam. Also, Black, welcome back in. Yeah. Childish. Um, again, kind of where I'm falling at with this is I'm not willing to buy anything just yet. Um, uh, still, oh, sorry. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Sharpie, have you posted pictures yet? And yes, Memphis, Commander, welcome is back something in. I, can do for you? I don't think there's any other personal questions. Your doctor. No. My yeah. I chose to keep the medical. I'll be going okay. now. Commander, I'll be going nice now. Talking to you. you have to post some pictures. And Erdy, CM Mer, guys, thanks for the follows. Erdy with the fortune bits. Take it back. Chat is always well behaved. You guys ran me out of my own stream yesterday. To oh, clout? Chat is innocent? Chat may be innocent, but you are definitely not. I'm obsessed with the thigh gaps. I don't know if I should be concerned or not. No, it's just, it's just theirs. Let me do a recap real quick. Um, one more thing before we officially get started. I just want to go back to our codex and kind of what I'm going to do for the first couple streams is I just want to go through the races so that I'm always tracking that. So the council races the are the Sari, the so Larians and Turians. Turians. Sorry, I annoyed you with my friendship. Yes, yes, exactly. Chat is well behaved. I'm blue, David. You guys always want blue. Childish with the blue. You know how big this game is? Plenty of buying opportunities. I think later, I don't want to run into the same thing that I did with Final Fantasy where I just keep all of my money. Also, Tuna Fish, welcome in. You know where I like keep all of my money to myself and then I didn't spend it on anything. So I do want to make sure that we're using it so I don't get to the end of the game with like an exorbitant amount and then have buyer's regret and remorse. Like you guys never let me forget. Also, Whaler, welcome back in. I'm not a hoarder queen. <laughs> Quiversal, yes. All right, so that's the council races. So we have the Asari, um, which are the blue girls. <laughs> I just think of the blue man group. I don't, blue girls. Then we have the Salarians, which are the intelligence. And then we have the Turian, which are uh, Garrus. The Turians are the military. They make up most of the military, I believe. Yeah, crazy. What's up? Dark Star, think. Nope. Love and big, guys. Thanks for the follows. Dark Star with the gift of sub to chat is good. Okay. Rough high. Mm. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Jerry. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I am also doing, let's do extinct races. Vanguard. Yeah, Jans, we're Vanguard. 50, years ago. Promethean. 50, years nope. Ago, Protheans, Protheans, sorry. Protheans. Protheans. 50, years ago, the Protheans and then the Rachni. Rachni. Okay, Rachni and Protheans. I'm still going to say Prometheus every single time. <laughs> okay, and then we have the non council races. The Elcor, Elcor is my favorite. The Geth. Are, the Hanar. When the Keepers. The Krogan. Driven from their home system by the Geth Oh, this is new. This ago. is new. Most Quarians now live aboard the Quarians. Fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles. I don't think we've ran into stations. one yet, right? Home to 17 million Quarians. The flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Flotilla? Because of this, each Quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the pilgrimage when they come of age. They mm -hmm. leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the quarry. What does that mean? For creating the geth and for something the of value impact their fleet has when it enters a system. Taco Bell? This has led to many myths and rumors about the quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. We must have heard about the quarians, otherwise, yeah, the because I don't remember running into any Quarians. Rose Gold, hi, Ryan, hi. So how did the Alliance races rank by thigh gap? <laughs> okay, ask me at the end of the game and I'll be able to tell you. Right now, I, I don't have the ability to rank them by thigh gap alone. The game is unlimited inventory space. Chances are you won't have to worry about selling or using stuff. There's something that I like though about breaking it down and having less stuff in my inventory. I do love a good inventory management, even if, but I also love unlimited inventory, Rose. I do. Uh, Kenny Lou, welcome in. First time here live watching Survivor playthrough and just loved your enthusiasm. Wait, welcome in. Uh, thanks for popping in from the archive channel then. That would have been on the archive channel. Day in, welcome back in as well. Wow, thank you so much for popping over. And I hope you enjoy it, the live side of things. Thank you, thank you. Um, I see Mythos, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, no, we haven't run into the Quarians, but I'm trying to remember where we would have heard about them and they would have entered our codex from. Are mentioned by the doctor at the end of the last stream. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Spazzy. Yes. 
One fact about the Elcor wasn't mentioned in the Legendary Edition because I don't know why. They move very slow and carefully because they have a very high gravity on their planet. Yeah, they hadn't addressed why they moved fairly slow. Yeah. I'm not a the hoarder forward. queen. I'm not. The <laughs> I'm a loot goblin. They're not the same. It's not synonymous. All right, I have a lot of secondaries. The Krogan Rebellions. All right, this is additional information on the Krogan Rebellions. This is a lot to read. Okay. After the the Rachni War, the quick breeding Krogan expanded at the expense of their neighbors. I'm going to skim through this. So normally I do read everything like line by line, but I think that the secondary gives a lot of what we saw in the primary, but then we'll add a little bit to it. So if I see something that I think was new, I'll read it out loud. But uh, the veteran soldiers to seize their living space. Yes. There was always just one more needed. Yep. And the council kind of decided to use them as a means to take out the Rachni to at least to help with the Rachni war, but in turn, they actually ended up completely wiping them out. The finest STG operators, operators and Asari Huntresses, ooh, I don't think we've heard of the Asari Huntresses, had been drafted into a covert observation force. The office of STR, the Spectres, opened the war with crippling strategic strikes. Krogan planets went dark as computer viruses flooded the extranet. Sabotaged antimatter refineries disappeared in blue-white annihilation. Headquarters stations shattered into uh, orbit-clogging debris, rammed by pre-placed suicide freighters. Mm, still, this only delayed the inevitable. The war would have been lost if not for the first contact with the Turians who responded to Krogan threats with a prompt declaration of war. Being on the far side of the Krogan space from the council, the Turians advised rapidly, uh, or advanced rapidly into lightly defended Krogan rear areas. The Krogan responded by dropping space stations and asteroids, or asteroids on Turian colonies. Three worlds were rendered completely inhabitable. This was precisely the wrong approach to take with the Turians. Each is first and foremost a public servant, willing to risk its life to protect its comrades. Rather than increasing public war wariness, Krogan tactics stiffened Turian resolve. Ooh. Mm, the arrival of Turian Task Force saved many worlds from warlords' maraudering fleets, but it took time. No, it took development of uh, the Genophage bioweapon to end the war. Oh, we did read about that, yeah. Or we heard about that. There were decades of unrest afterwards. Rogue warlords and holdout groups of insurgents refused to surrender or disappeared into the frontier systems. So the one question, so Floppy Pickle, how many years has it been since um, since the Krogan rebellions? I do believe that they mentioned that in a previous one, but I'm just trying to get a handle on all of that. Yeah, because we're about to meet our first Krogan as well. And so I want to make sure I'm kind of equipped with the information going into that. Genophage, thank you, no name. Yes, now we're delving into the history. I didn't realize how much the secondary gives you a whole nother perspective. Coversal, you love the Krogan. You like loot spam? You like breaking game economics? You're playing the game right. <laughs> like a thousand or fourteen hundred years. Bob, welcome in, by the way. Invid, thanks for the follow. Ah, four score in seven years. About a thousand years. And I'm sure that's still not enough for a lot of them and their family to dislike them uh correct me if i'm wrong but the krogans are in fact the ones that are a dying breed because only one in a thousand successfully um result in a kid i believe right it's like they're they're on a steady decline okay okay good 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 i'm just tracking making sure we're tracking this citadel and galactic government we have a lot of stuff for this so bear with me we're gonna read a lot of this yes because of the yes okay that's what the jennifer okay that's what it did um, I remember we listened to that, I think, later in the stream yesterday, but I want to make sure I was... Oh, there's so much lore dunked. This is probably... I mean, I'm trying to think of another game that I've seen this much lore to it. 1,500 to 1,000. Uh, Krogan can, like, up to 1,000... Wait, we can live up to 1,000 years? So it's only a couple of generations for them. So yeah, it's still fresh for them. They can live up to be 1,000. Um, the other one would be... Also missed it. Thanks for the following SIBO with the reset for two whole years. It's either Stockholm Syndrome or I like being trapped here with everyone. <laughs> it's being trapped here with chat that you like, trust me. Uh, thank you so much, Siva. Thank you for two whole years. Would I ever read the books after? 
my book reading isn't keeping up with the games that I'm playing, guys. We still have to finish. I still have to finish the Witcher books, but I'm actually really um, entranced by the Thrawn series right now. So I'm going to finish the Thrawn books before I move on to any other uh, game related novel. But it's not something that I would definitely write off. I think in the future, I'd love to. If it is, if this is just a glimpse of what the books cover, yeah, I think it would be really cool. I think it would be cool to find books that happen during some of these segments, like the rebellions, like some of these wars that took place. Um, it'd be really cool. So, player one, player one, thank you so much for the prime sub as well. Another sub. There's so so many prime subs today, guys. Thank you, and I'm glad to see you join the channel and community. Krogan can live way more than a thousand years. That there's still Krogan alive who were there during the Rachni Wars. I'm saying that wrong. The Rachni Wars, and later the Krogan Rebellions. Yeah, Theron is really good. I'm loving it right now. But I'm only on the first one, and I have two other series from it. I gotta listen to as well. Ooh, how's the audiobook on that? Okay, hold on. These diplomatic. Okay, so let me see which ones were. Ugh, this is a lot going on with this. Hold on. Before we do that, I liked the technology. I want to go back to the technology. Ooh, the creds. Okay, here we go. The standard credit was established by the Citadel's Unified Banking Act, and most of the banking happens by the hand of the moles, the voles. What are they called? They are called, hold on, don't tell me. We're going back to uh, non-council races, primaries. The moles. My favorite guy. What is his name? After the get the alcohol. When the Volus. Okay. Okay, so Volus run a lot of the banking, the correct? I'm going to be doing a lot of, like, correct. Floppy pickle correct. Uh, AOG and also Sleep Drifter. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Thousands of base, it's not the extent. Yeah, so if they can live even beyond a thousand, imagine if your base was a thousand in comparison to the poor. Oh my gosh. In comparison to the Salarians that most of them don't live past 40. That's such a stark contrast. I'm trying to be like a Volus. <laughs> I'm trying to be like a Volus. <laughs> it's all about the creds. All right. The credit, this actually helps a lot, and I know this is going to take up more time than the, the story that we're going to cover today, but this is helping me feel much more equipped to continue on with the story and feel like I have a little bit of a grasp. So, the credit has managed floating exchange rate, calculated in real time by the central bank to maintain the average value of all participating currencies. Oh, that is a lot of currencies. I didn't even think about all the different currencies. Some regional currencies are worth more than a credit and some less. Hard currency can be stolen or counterfeited, so electronic funds transfers are norm. More importantly, physical transactions cannot be easily tracked, making them ideal for tax evasion or the purchase of illegal goods. Damn, that, I mean, that's, yeah, that makes sense. Sounds about right. Thanks, Bruce. I'm trying. I'm trying. I feel like it's the only way that I'll stand a chance at enjoying this game as much as you guys do is if I just fully throw myself into it. Uh, Acre, thank you for the follow, and Scrazzo with the reset for five months in a row as well. Thank you so much. So, Leo, welcome back in. Oh, we are getting into the nitty gritty, absolutely. When the Alliance joined the Citadel, its various tre uh, national treasuries were linked into the credit network. A human with a bank account of Mexican pesos, Japanese yen, or Indian rupees can purchase any item in credits at the fair market value. All economies that participate in the credit network are required to price items in both local currency and credits. Oh. Communications. I can't remember. I think maybe we saw this, but I am interested. I think. No, I think we read the comms. I think, yeah, I think the one that we didn't read was creds. I do believe we read this one. And also Hag, thank you for the prime sub. Unlucky with the follow. Guys, there's been so many new follows and just new subs. I hope you guys enjoy the emotes and the channel. Thank you. Um, Biotics. We did read the biotics, but I think I need to kind of reread this because this is a part of my kit as the class that I picked that I'm still not really understanding completely. And Jamaican parachutes, sea winter, guys, welcome back in. Biotics manipulate mass effect fields using dozens of element zero nodules within their nervous system that react to electric stimuli from the brain. Amplifiers allow biotics to synchronize the nodules so that they can form fields large and strong enough for practical use. Amplifiers can improve a specific discipline or talent. Okay, that's where we have like our strengths versus. An implant is surgically embedded interface port into which amps are plugged into. On humans, the implant is usually placed at the base of the skull for convenient access. Oh, on the back of their neck, I'm assuming. Yeah. Though the user can must be careful to keep it free of contaminants. I gotta make sure my neck's clean all the time. Impl implant ports can be fit. 
uh, can fit a variety of amps, and there is a growing market for modifications and add-ons. The finest quality implants and amps are manufactured by Asari artisans. The Asari come up with that? Gotta keep a clean neck. <laughs> But the Alliance's L3 implants, first deployed in 2170, are a significant step forward. The L3s, oh, we heard them reference what uh, L unit we were using or something. Yeah, the clean neck awareness. <laughs> I mean, I normally do, Dan. I'm just thinking about, I don't think about things like, I don't think about it like that. Contamination of the neck, humanity and system, military jargon. Oh, stop. They have this ashore. When a ship's crew leave the vessel, they are ashore. Though normally using regardless, uh, used regardless of planets. Okay, we know that. Away. When a ship releases the equipment, away. Aye, aye, Captain. Is equivalent to, yes, sir. ASAP. Pronounced ASAP. An acronym of as soon as possible. Belay. Stop, cease. Bridge. Captain's mast. Oh, <laughs> the captain's mast. <laughs> They forgot SOL. They need to have like, they need to have SOS and SOL on here. Kaden was an L2, you're right. Okay, thank you, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Also, Poosley, welcome in, and thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the gifted sub and just this, the first playthrough. Thank you, and Anon with the gifted sub to Noodle. Uh, SOL, shit out of luck. Then we got SOS, shit on a shingle. Fantastic, MIA. Uh, wait, wait, what else? Do they, they gotta have MIA. Oh, they have so many. Fubar. <laughs> they also need, uh, oh man. Oh, which one is it? Uh, I'm thinking, oh man, it was used all the time. What is it? Cover your ass? No. Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah. How many hours are we into this? Um, probably three? Maybe three. Cover your ass. Yeah. Uh, XO, executive officer, spacer, sit rep. Wow, they have sit rep. Silent running, shore party, ladder, light amplification, detective and ranging, helmsman, ground side, FNG. Freaking new guy. A freaking new guy. I don't think I actually ever ran into that in my experience. I don't think I ever heard somebody say FNG. Lots of faux bars. Three hours out of 500. Exactly. Irrationally high. Yes. I don't think SOL is like officially, I don't know, some of these, these all seem very official. AWOL, I'm not seeing MIA or AO, AWOL. Oh, it's not seeing Freakeem. Oh, you're right, mildly, they don't have bluff in here. The bottom line up front. Or, uh, yeah, there are a lot of them that they don't, I like the freaking new guy. Combat Information Center, Damage Control, ECM, Captain's Mass, Bridge, uh, so many. Okay, but I think I don't need to read those individually. I think I've got a good grasp on those already and some, so I think we're good with that. The Alliance Military Voc uh, Vocational System classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. A soldier's MVC N7. The soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates level of experience as indicated by service record, technical scores, and commendations. Oh, all 26 letters are used. The numbers run from one to seven. N is the letter code for special forces personnel. Okay, so yeah, of course she was getting screened for Spectre because yeah, she was, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you've got special forces and then you would have like the elite. You would, it would be like, um, it'd be like Spectres would, I would assume would be like the top of the top. Like you're talking like team six, you're talking um, I guess, no, they'd probably be more aligned with, like, special agents, not really, like, a special force, because they act more individual than as a, like, group. November 7th is, yeah, I did hear that. November 7th is the Mass Effect Day. Hmm. Delta or Green Beret. That's what I was thinking, Novus, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking more like, um, thinking more like a CIA agent, just because of how much they act individually. CIA Special Activities Division. Mmm, that's your birthday, Sean? That's so cool. I uh, know, and some of these probably the highest rank a human can get to on the Alliance if they work for a spot. Yeah, because it says one through seven, and then N is the indication of their, yeah. That's really cool how that, yeah, I like how they thought that out. So we have a lot for Citadel. Let's go ahead and just get it done, and then everything we get in will be new information, but let's just go ahead and do this. 
actually insanely true, man. That's such a good point, because all of them are still subject to being under the DOD, which these are kind of above like a... Yeah, no, that's actually a really good point. Revolver, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. On loan to another project entirely, like being an astronaut before there was NASA. Xer, yeah, I, actually good point as well. Yeah, you can only be in seven if you're really good at killing Jawas. Well, it's a good thing that... I'm just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I wanted to read that as rhetoric, but Rerik, thanks for the follow as well. All right, let me start at the bottom. The Treaty of Ferrixen. Due to the destructive potential of dreadnoughts, the Council races agreed that the Ferrixen Naval Conference Okay, wait, wait. Agreed at this. Okay. To fix the ratio of dreadnought construction between themselves. At the bottom of the pyramid is the Peacekeeper's Turian fleet. Below the Turians are the other council races, currently the Asari and the Solarians. Council associate race, races are at the bottom. And then the Human System Alliance is part of the last group. The ratio of Turian to council to associate dreadnoughts is 531. For every dreadnought humans are permitted to build, the Asari have three and the Turians have five? Is that based on, like, destructive potential? Is that Well, I'm just trying to figure out, is that based on how many, how many, like, how large each fleet is? Or is that, like, why would the Turians have so much more? I guess Floppy Pickle on that. Conky, welcome in. Conky, it'll be a long time before I played the original. Um, I'm actually going to be putting out a post on YouTube about um, the OG one and also Crisis Core and kind of address that because I've had so many people um, telling me what they think I should do. So I'm going to clarify uh, what I'm going to proceed to do on the YouTube side of things. Dragoons, it sounds like the way. It's based on trust with the weapons, I think, like nukes. Turians are in charge of the council military peacekeeping. Mm, it's not a rule, it's just because the Turians are super militaristic. Not as much as, but weirdly enough, not as much as... Yes, you're sorry, the Turians. Yes, the Turians are the military side of things. Uh, okay, yeah, they are the military focused species. Just so I'm reiterating this for my own stuff, like my own head. Uh, Salarians are the intel and then Asari are politics. They're more like politics and, and that kind of stuff. It's based off of the thigh gap. <laughs> They're like aircraft carriers, the dreadnoughts. Okay, that's a really good... Thank you, Red. This is actually helping me a lot. Uh, pseudo and in writer and guys, guys, thanks for the follows and Anon with the gifted sub to Flynn. All right, Citadel. Citadel Station Wards. The majority of Citadel's population lives in the wards, the five massive arms of the station that house the residential and commercial districts. Many galactic races have established cultural enclaves here. Popularity, density, and the cost of living are extremely high. Akin to Earth cities such as Hong Kong and Singapore. Wow, when it's more expensive. The wards are open topped with skyscrapers rising from the structure. I don't know if I'd want that though. It's so city based, right? Where's the countryside on this galactic space station? <laughs> Towers are sealed against vacuum as the breathable atmosphere envelope is only envelope is only maintained to a height of about seven meters. The atmosphere is contained by the centrifuges force, centrifugal force of rotation and the membrane of dense colorless sulfur hexafluoride gas held in place by carefully managing mass effect fields. I'm starting to see why it's called mass effect. Absolutely, Hamentators. The writing in the Codex, it actually rivals, like, uh, I say it rivals Witcher 3, it's very different. They're very different kind of writings. Like, in Witcher 3, it's more of, like, telling a story, and this one, I feel like it's very technical terms and things that go beyond my, like, way beyond me. The view from the wards is spectacular, and the background star is Serpent Nebula. Oh, I think we've heard of Serpent Nebula. And the nearby blue giant called the Widow move across the sky as the station rotates to stabilize itself. Ah, the Citadel has no real day or night. We talked about this, the Thames. That means they have no snow. Uh, while the station keeps to standard galactic time for political functions and business relays close, residents acclimate to sleep and work according to personal need rather than a day and night cycle. Yeah. A player, I know. You add the, uh, <laughs> add the anxiety of speaking in front of people. It's like public speaking, but it's not. And then you run into words that you've never once said aloud in your life. You're like, oh. 
Additions and modifications are constantly being constructed, though they must stay within certain spec uh, specifications that will not compromise the operation of the station. Occasionally, the keepers will descend on an area of the wards and move or change the architecture without explanation? Residents have to learn to live with these inexplainable intrusions? What? You're telling me at any moment you could be taking a bath and a keeper just comes in and just moves everything around and next thing you know you're taking a bath in front of everybody else? What? That basically is what I'm doing right now. My schedule didn't change at all. That you, Good point, Sharpie. Uh, I appreciate that they thought out about how useful something like the Mass Effect field would be. Yeah. Uh, and how it'll be used and abused in daily life like the atmospheric systems. Yeah, I wouldn't have even thought about that, but you bring up a really good point. I mean, I feel like this has to be phenomenal, especially if you grew up loving sci-fi. This has to be such a groundbreaking game. It's just not a genre that I've ever really been into, if that makes sense. It's part of the charm. Keepers are keeping you on your feet. <laughs> they don't have baths in space. How else are you supposed to keep your neck clean? What do you mean? Statistics. We did see the statistics already. The Serpent Nebula. The citadel is surrounded by blue-tinted reflection nebula. The light of the nebula is actually light from the citadel, scattered and reflected back at the station. At first, the serpent nebula was assumed to be made of microscopic construction debris. Prevailing theory holds that the protheans used molecular and nanotechnology to manufacture the incredibly durable materials used in the citadel. But unlike other nebulae, the serpent does not dissipate over time. Dissipate over time. Therefore, it must be replenished constantly. The current popula popular theory is that the non-recyclable non waste collected by the Citadel's keepers is somehow rendered down to the atomic or molecular level and ejected into the cloud, and that's how it replenishes it? The thick nebula represents a navigational hazard. Beyond the relatively clear areas around the Citadel, electrical discharges are common. These are not blocked by kinetic barriers and can severely damage metal framed starships. In addition, some dense knots of dust can overwhelm the repulsion of kinetic barriers on smaller ships. If a vessel is moving fast enough at the time, the effects are similar to being hit by a sandblaster. It seems like you gotta like expect the unexpected when you're living around or on the space station. It's a thick nebula. Assassin, welcome in, by the way. I So I keep hearing, so I keep hearing. Attempting to reach the Citadel through open space navigation is unadvisable. The only safe approach is through the various mass relays. I was, okay. Okay, so normally going through, okay. Interesting. Space is scary. This is not making me want to go into space, I'll tell you that. In Star Trek, they use sonic showers. The sound vibrations clean them. Wait, how would I not come across that? I used to watch Star Trek. Did they ever address that in the TV series? They had to have. Picks and clip eight. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Morphix. There's going to be a hundred question test at the end of this. We did read Presidium Ring. Security. We read the security, but let me just look over these. So we have CSEC. And the specters are often at odds. Oh, I think we did kind of pick up on this last time. CSEC members, notably current executive Venari Palin, believe that allowing specters to be above the law, which we know this position, we've heard his take on this, is a dangerous practice. The actions of the Saren, the actions of Saren led, uh, lend credence to this position. The specters in turn are ag agitated when CSEC's dedication to procedure and due process hampers their investigations. They're basically like, we want to do all of this and not have any paperwork. The music in the menu is really relaxing. Also, if you can't handle it, get out of the kitchen. You should, Merlin. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's really important too. if it is your first playthrough going through it, I feel like it is important to read all of this. It just adds to your immersion. Joining CSEC is prestigious. Applications. Also, we learned that humans, it was a long time before humans were allowed in the CSEC, right? Because that was why that one guy that was the jerk, like he was one of the first ones, and so that's why they kind of gave him a lot of leeway, I guess. Yeah, it's your first playthrough. You're just trying to come in here and cause chaos, aren't you? Bayer with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. How is there anything left in the tank? Bayer, thank you so much for five more gifted subs to the channel and community. All right, joining CSEC, we saw that. Thank you. 
applications must be sponsored by a Citadel counselor or an ambassador of an associate council race. Generally, applicants have many years of distinguished service in the military or police forces of their nation, but an inexperienced applicant with demonstra uh, demonstrable, demonstra wow, I've never seen, okay. A talent will be fairly considered. Patrol is the Navy arm with ships stationed throughout the Citadel cluster. Unlike the other divisions, they're rarely seen in the Citadel, nor do they stay in one place too long. Special response deals with hostage situations, bombs, and heavily armed criminals. Wow. In the unlikely event that the attackers board the Citadel, they are also the front line of defense. The more you know. The network deals with cyber crimes like identity and copyright theft. We need to send network after Kelly. Okay, I want to find out who it is right now all right screens the thousands of passengers and customs okay so we have customs investigation and enforcement gotcha abu what's up welcome in all right here we go i think that's pretty much it right was there anything else was it the first one? Oh, sorry i did miss conventions hold on oh, hold on there were conventions yeah you wouldn't download a dreadnought <gasps> right now fourth what's up welcome back in one more one more these diplomatic talks occurred in the wake no i did read this i did read this weapons of mass destruction causes environmental alteration in a world a bomb that pr uh, produces a large crater is not considered a wmd a bomb that causes a nuclear winter is use of a wmd is forbidden on garden worlds like earth with ecospheres that can readily support a population if habitable world is destroyed it will be it will not be replaced for millions of years the conventions do not forbid the use of WMD on hostile worlds or in sealed space station environments. Many militaries continue to develop and maintain stockpiles. The conventions graded ma weapons of mass destruction into tiers of concern. Tier one is the greatest threat to the galactic space. Wow. Asteroid drops or deorbiting space stations effectively free and available in any system. Kinetic impactors are weapons of choice for terrorists and third galaxy nations. Tier 2 is uncontrolled self-replicating weapons such as nanotechnology, viral or bacteriological organisms, von Neumann devices, and destructive computer viruses. They've thought of everything. Absolutely everything. Tier 3 is large energy burst weapons such as nuclear or antimatter warheads. Then we have alien species deliberately in, uh, introduced to crowd out native forms necessary for the health of the ecosystem ecology uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. wow they really thought of every single thing in this world some say maggie left their uk early because of how crowded london was like the space council the space council actually i feel like needs to have more people on it i feel like having three represent representing races isn't enough it's like jawas because castor murdered them all oh so if I had a dime for every single time I get talked about with the Jawas. All right, guys, we need to go to the Academy. I'm guessing last we'll be reading every planet description. Oh, I don't even think we saw the planet descriptions yet. I don't think we have. Am I missing it? I don't think it's popped up yet. Yeah, because we've only been right here. So we need to find the Academy. Oh, nice. Two C-Sec Academy. Well, would you look at that? All right, our guy's got to be around here somewhere. T Deuce, what's up? Welcome back in. Don't kid you all right, I'm glad that we did read all of that codex, though. Thanks for being patient with me, you guys. I got a tour. Conversation. One of five hundred to see the effects mm -hmm. from the inside out. Really? A tour. Took almost six hours, and oh, we only saw oh, one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. Matriarch. Oh. Madonna. You met her. Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just There's always like a shit. hint of weirdness in what they say. That. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet combined. Rage quits like and leaves Paris. Why? Why is it uneven? Why did they do like a diagonal cut? Why? Are you kidding me out of everything? Watcher? I don't trust that. The, the, is it the way that she's... It can't be her posture. She's standing straight up. No! One cheek's colder than the other. Please. No. This has to be the Academy. 
Ah. Uh, maybe Ash can help you. She has a lot of experience with that. Oh, here it is. Wait, no, that's Garrus. Academy must be this way. I wonder how I kept missing it. Maybe it's not. It's the ship that they're talking about. No, this one's like it too. I get it. Space, fashion, doesn't make sense for me. Caught today's stream. Tough following past cast at two times speed. <laughs> London. London, welcome back in. By the way, thank you for um, messaging in that, in the Discord. That was actually really helpful. Whoa. I like their stances. They look so... Oh, no, this is the shops. This isn't the academy. Okay, I saw it over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of fast running, but not too, too much. I did see, I recognize that, yeah, I probably should give it a try to add it in where I don't get seasick from, hold on, to flux, to, what's this one? Door control? I saw the sign for it, to see. oh, here we go, down, to seasick academy, there we go. Hmm. It's a bit off, because Citadel is spinning, yes, oh, yeah, the centrifugal. The sentries and all. Public. Oh, wait, keeper. How many? How many do we have? I think that's 12. One of the physicists who worked on the Manhattan Project. Isn't that they just, um, they just did the, isn't that movie coming out? You guys were asking me about that. The Barbie movie or whatever that movie's called. Oh my gosh, you're right. We just got starships. We just got the information on it. Okay, I'm going to save that because we just came off of reading a lot. I think maybe that's a good way to do it is at the end. At the end or at the beginning of the game, we catch up on all the reading. Okay. Rex is over here, but let me go to secondary assignments. Hold up. 14 out of 20. We're actually really close to the C sections. No. <laughs> Creepy, oh, welcome in. SSC Murdoch. I wish I could play this for the first time again. I know that seeing it through somebody else's eyes only brings back like a small, small portion. Yes, Oppenheimer. Only brings up. Oh, why does that make me think of. Um, Heimerdinger. I know it only brings up like a very small portion of what you felt when you first played through it, your, like your first time, but um, I think if I could wipe my brain and play something again for the very first time with nothing, it would be something like Witcher. It'd have to be a really long, long game like this. I could see a lot of people picking this. Officer Lang. So I don't think we've talked to Officer Lang. Hey, I know to you. To keep track You're of them. Shepherd, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought Wasn't I'd meet someone second like one? you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. Eddie! It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Investigate. Quite the jaw. He's got cop vibes. He is giving me cop vibes. With like a donut and coffee in his hands. I know, Kaden. I know, Kenny. I think the same thing. It's an honor to me. Okay. Let's ask about the Spectres. That's always my first. It's the one that I'm most intrigued about. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. Well. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? No, oh, he seems so innocent. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking yeah. bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. <laughs> I don't know why that they're keeping track of all of my discrepancies when I'm on the job. I don't know why. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. There you go. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Oh! Wow. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Wow, there was a lot of emphasis on the aliens. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium oh. is just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. Y'all. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. Oh, I'm sure. You should check it out when you have some time. 
I'm sure you like that club. It, guys, we stand no chance. He just said he's been here for a year and he's only hit a tenth of what this has to offer. I'm on day three. I stand no chance. Uh, retro and also snow guys thanks for the follows and math thank you so much for the reset for 34 months in a row and welcome back in he does i have to go he's me right you're probably real busy do you oh. say see you around commander i will say like something about him is giving the spy kids thumbs you know what i mean something about his proportion it's some i don't know what it is it's giving the the thumb dudes Eddie's such a sweetheart. I really like Eddie. But at the same time, in this kind of situation, for some reason, something about it makes me suspicious. Like, I can't just trust a nice guy. But you have passion, Lamora. <laughs> Doc, Doc, welcome back in. Eddie is such a sweetheart. Yeah, so we have six more. You said that two of the keepers are really difficult to find. They also might be things that I'm not able to entertainment news, access Francis till later. Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet He's got that bowed Elcor neck. Cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. <gasps> Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his Wait, emotions. They're giving an Elcor Hamlet role? <laughs> To be, wait, 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 how would he say it? Questioning my existence, to be or not to be. I don't, I would see it. I would buy tickets so quick, so quick. Mm. Let's get up here. I love the elevator rides. They're actually so clever. I know, that was my monotone, BB. That was as monotone as I can get. <laughs> to be or not to <laughs> I can't be serious. I don't have a serious voice. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. <laughs> Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. He's got the body of a big daddy. Oh, I know you, human. My name's Shepard. You will. Fist is mine. You will. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Oh. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist oh, we have the same hair. Well, a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Oh, I love him. I love his voice so much. You unlocked the Sentinel ally. Oh, I guess this is optional. I guess I wouldn't have had to have seen him, would I? Snigger, thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, you could have skipped straight um, to not meeting him. I think I could have gone straight to Fist. So you'll join? I like that saying. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Oh, I like him already. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. What is this neck movement every time he talks? Oh no, I have to ditch somebody. Oh no, Sweezes. I hope your first day back was good. Thank you for hanging around and I hope I see you again this week. Have a great rest of your week. Sake, thanks for the follow steal as well. Oh no, I gotta drop somebody. Kaden, I'm sorry. Look, you were great. It's been a fun ride. Um, wasn't a big fan that you watched me with the consort. I felt a little creeped out by that, so you have to go. I'm sorry. You have to go. All right. This is the squad right here. Garrus, you don't get a rose. I know I feel like I'm playing Bachelorette, but on Mass Effect. Oh my gosh. It's so true. <laughs> Anti-gravity, thanks for the follow as well. When you see sounds, wait, it was, sorry, what? You saw a streamer do what with seeing sounds? Rex and Garrus, this is a wombo combo. Let's talk to them. I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. Oh, okay. Every time I visit the Citadel, c -Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. Yeah, because I know that bringing them along, I'm not going to hear about how annoying aliens are. If c -Sec were better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. Oh, so he's official. Oh, the thigh gap, though. I think a lot of it, too, is that 
in so many games you get to have allies that are humans so having a game where you get to make your squad be different races like this is so cool and you get to find out more about them I visit the Citadel, brings me here for a <laughs> oh he's just always getting the shakedown by c -Sec. okay so there should be some keepers in here as well Ben shot. Hey, anime. Welcome back into the thick neck. How does he keep his neck so thick? Who would mess with you when Rex is there? I know. Imagine me rolling up with Rex and Garrix on my arm. Uh, Aries. Good. <laughs> good. You said bye to the cardboard box. What is your problem with Caden? Caden was nothing but a gentleman. Okay. Did he have small forearms? Yes, but nothing but a gentleman. I can't believe we haven't been here before. Let's look at the map. Academy, requisition office, CSEC offices. I bet there's some keepers in here. I already have two keepers right here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, magnesium, welcome back in. Very comfy. The two lizard. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Hold on. The gentleman. <laughs> Kaden is a bro. That's true. He is more like my... He's like when I want to have an, a frat bro around, which is never, so... Another. That's 15. That's 15. We're looking for five more keepers. Five more keepers. Going once, going twice. Who are you? One sec. Looking you up. You don't already know who I am? Please. Everybody else here Commander knew exactly Shepherd who I was. With the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? Sure is. How do you know who I am? I just looked you up. I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. Yeah. So, will you be purchasing 13, anything today, Commander Shepard? Oh, you're right. Rex doesn't have a jetpack, so we can trust him. Rex does have a thick neck, but no jetpack, so you can trust him. It's the combination. Show me what you got. All right, what does he sell? Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, he sells weapons and armor. <gasps> but I don't have a lot of money. Oh my goodness, I'm broke. <laughs> Grenades, hydras. Oh, okay. We're gonna save items for another. I think I had told you guys this, but probably next stream we'll take. A, what are you doing? Come on, Rex. Yeah, I think we'll save items for next stream. Maybe buy something. Rapid terminal. Okay, what's the straightaway here is I think where we want to go. So let's go ahead and head to C sec and see if there's a keeper down here. Do they think the same thing about us? There's been some that are very off put -ish, or off put by humans. Uh, specifically the, hold on. I'm gonna reference this. The specifically the, the, the driven Volus. The some of the Volus, it depends. It's very individual based. Have you got to, uh, no, I, uh, well, I've, um, I haven't sold anything yet. I've broken stuff down to gel. Is that what it's called? Well, I've jellified things. Who is this? Oh, here we go. Oh. Why do you think that? I I can't really get into the details. But Chorbin will kill me. We've met Chorbin, right? I can't help We've met Chorbin. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I I can't. I'm sorry. No, do you think it's Turgle's voice? I could kind of see it. Kind of sounds like But nothing. Yeah, you can sell stuff. Hey there. We haven't oh, officially sold anything. You're though. not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Oh, <laughs> how do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Maybe he just likes you. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I'm trying, like, the thing that goes right thinks. here and then over. He wants me gone. I know it. It, like, shakes. How can I help you? Can't help you. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would His friend you? is Caden. That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Yes, I will help him. It does sound like a matter for HR, but somehow I'm ending up being like a space HR agent. BBB. Blankets, you remember a ton of it? We're going full renegade, right? 
BBB, you know me too well. After 37 months, you know this already. No, it sounds like going, like not helping people, I feel like would be a boring route because you just wouldn't have a lot of side missions, you know? I have to pick my times to be evil. It's a case by case basis. If I like the outcome of it, I'll choose evil if it's beneficial. Like the jaw was. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. Mm. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. I remember him. You shouldn't have any trouble. Yeah. He's just a scientist. Shorbin. That's the guy. Who oh, yes. The <gasps> keepers. Yes. The keepers. Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against oh, regulations. Oh, no, but this is a conflict of a current quest, I feel like. Bastard. If I find out he's lied to me. Gwena. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Potentially less lore, absolutely. Well, good luck. Are you talking about Chibani, no name? <laughs> I picked Vanguard. I did. I picked Vanguard, ruthless background. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Hello, Commander. What are you looking at? Can't help you right now. All right, fine. Uh, no keepers down here. Before we go to, I do want to help this guy real quick. I think we can fast travel out of here, but there's got to be one keeper down here. Any? Whoa. Look at these stairs. Look at this hallway. Up close and dangerous. Wait a minute. Where's Rex? We lost Rex. Rex. I feel like Rex is so big. Sometimes he just gets caught on things. Rex, what are you doing, buddy? Come on. Rex, come on over here. <laughs> Why are you having a conversation? Come on. Oh, Rex. Come over here. Come on, Rex. Oi. There we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Rex is making friends. I know he'll automatically, like, he'll automatically spawn with me later, but I just, no man left behind, okay? Also, Ginger's full curled up right now. Tracking terminals? It's a man of the people. <laughs> he did get wedged between two people. All right, we got a codex from this. I just remain so positive by letting my anger out. I told you guys, it's it's being an energy vampire. I have so much energy because I'm zapping it from y'all as we speak. <laughs> He's plotting. He's up to something. There's a keeper. Ooh. That's 16, guys. Four more. Okay, let me think of all the areas we've been. A chicken? There is a chicken. Ginger's not reacting to the... She doesn't really... She isn't. First of all, her hearing's going. Let's be honest. 17 years old, her hearing's shot. <laughs> My favorite party member so far, Boop. Um, weapons locker. Ooh, let's break into somebody's weapons locker and steal their weapons. Um, I kind of like Rex a lot. I do. It was, it definitely was Caden for a while, but Rex and uh, Garrus are two of my favorites. Oh, man. Wish I could sleep like that. I wonder how Kat's, like, her neck. Her poor neck. Mm. Oh, you're right. Thank you. How long has it been? It's only been two hours. We're good. Garrus is the goat. Rex is definitely one of my faves. Voice plays a big part into it, and then also how their character is. I like Rex. Rex wasn't above um, joining our team either. At first, what he was saying made me think he wasn't going to join it, but... He seems uh, humble enough to know that he can accept some help with the common goal that we share. Marissa, yeah, is one of your favorites. Is because he's a huge, cute puppy. That's actually a good way to describe it. Honestly, I think I love when, I love when contrary to how they like look and appear, like I think by his voice and his demeanor, you would think that Rex would be like really mean, but he's actually just like a cuddle bug. Ma, Ma, what's up? Welcome back in. But I do love what Kenny said. I feel like all of the characters are uniquely incredible in their own ways. Um, let's go talk to this before. We're gonna move here. Bear, also Bruce, thanks for the hydrate. And Krubin with the follow and Bear with the gift of sub to Vampire Maggie. I don't sleep at night. This is true. I'm also starting to get insanely pale. Ooh. Yes, yes, with how much lore they have packed into the different alien species now we should be able to access everything i think he said that it was over here oh shoot wrong spot oops 
are like puppies and cats. My comparisons are just like puppies and cats. I usually replace Garrus with Redacted. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find even more incredible characters as well. Okay, go to the markets first. Hmm. Where did my slit go? It was uh, scar wax. It wasn't real. I replaced my eyebrow. Okay, I just got to double check all of my expats over here. I'm losing my tan. It's because I haven't seen the sun in a while. Well, I mean, I know I was out yesterday, but I haven't. This has been like the one summer that I haven't spent outside very much. Like normally I go to the pool or beach or something. Torben. There he is. Morlin. Next to me and Anna, you look super tan. <laughs> okay, fair point, fair point. It's all comparison, right? It's all subjective. That's true. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. I haven't gone to a lake either. I haven't even gone to a lake. something you want? The truth. I want answers. No more lies. Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? The data? Now we've been bamboozled by both of them. Yes, I played Stray. Yeah, I did. It's on the archive channel. Okay, you found it, Saget. No, but you're going to tell me everything. You can't handle the truth, Check. Your boys can go. Oh, I didn't realize that those were Looks his like boys. My plans have changed. It's not what? as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Yeah, Brad. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine mm. a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? Do you think it really can? I'm not sure I follow. I do want more emphasis on this. Jasmine, what's up? Welcome back what's in. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still <sighs> don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Hmm. I feel like I should ask about this one, but there is more to it as well. Brad, that's a really good way to put, put it. Oh, is Ginger awake? <gasps> Hi, baby. You scratching? Did she scratch us? Oh, you're so cute. Licky licks. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't think I don't he know. was actually going to sell it, though. He says they can't communicate with and can't find anything about. Yeah. I see. What? So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. Oh, no, he's going to ask me. You stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Oh, no! No! Oh. Is what I'm doing right? I'm going against the law. With the tool? Maybe the last keepers are in the bathrooms? Oh, no. Stevie, welcome in. Also, Yellow Jacket and Scarletta, guys. Thanks for the follows. I'm going against the law as I show up on stream without overalls on a Monday. I know. Oh my God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. If I'm going to practice being a specter, I need to be Maybe above the law. Mind speaking with Jaleed. Drink Today those claws. Me is useless Have no Jaleed laws. Help me analyze it. Of course. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I want to find out about these keepers. I'm above the law. <laughs> Morals or money? Why can't they go together? Although this is this is honestly thinking that I'm even in the first place going to be able to find all the keepers. Cracks a white claw. I wish I had some claws. Oh my gosh. I think I have some downstairs. Laws are merely suggestions, Shepard. Uh, T saying, thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row and welcome back in. And also Killer Soul with the follow, guys. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Sean, enjoy dinner. Post pictures. I'm getting hungry. Okay, let's fast travel back and deal with him. I feel really bad whenever you have to turn. This feels like Fallout where you have to do one or the other 
and somebody ends up disappointed in you. I love the stairs. I do like the infrastructure. Focus, focus. There's no. pizza on your focus. <laughs> no bear. I don't need any pizza. Why do you guys gotta do me like this? J Fudo, welcome back in. No. Marina Hetty and Summer weird. What? We have almost it's almost like we have AC inside. What? Financial district, embassy, city. Are there th uh wait, it's gotta be down here, right? It's actually really cold in here. Ginger, what? Stop licking on stream. Oh my goodness, why is she always licking? Chore is den. I gotta find the right way to get back to it. The morals. Ah. Uh, I see Sud. Sud, what's up? Welcome in. No mods. No mods on this. Not on my first playthrough. I think it would be... Citadel Tower. Because from there we can go somewhere else, I think. Posted mega fruit on the food channel the other day. Wait, wait. Are you talking about my are you talking about my kiwis or somebody else? Savin, thank you so much for three months and also Cal. Cal, thank you for the prime sub. Holy prime subs today. Guys, thank you so much. Your shepherd is very gingerly. Isn't that the normal shepherd's hair color for the femme? Might come in soon. The and he might say cast his smells or something like that. <laughs> he's British and he's always in a goofy mood. Oh, we have the same taste in games. Yeah. Is that a British thing to say that somebody smells? Shora pronounced Cora. Cora, thank you. Thank you, Morphix. Thank you. Yeah, I was just trying to match what her normal hair color was. Okay, we're going this way. My Shep's the best custom one you've ever seen. Really? I started with, I went with like whatever, um, Anna, did you hear that? I started with whatever face shape I felt like I liked the most. And then I tweaked, tweaked the other kind of attributes like the eyes and brows. Brows had to go. The brows that I had on this before. This is not the fastest way to get here, guys. Damn it. Hmm. She didn't have a cannon hair color until three. A female orange tabby cat. Yes, Marissa. Yes, they are mostly... This is not the fastest way to do it, but we'll we'll do it and then You're we can all about it, Garrus. Is this better than C -Sec? I didn't know that they would have special conversations a together. Spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way, I'd say that beats C -Sec. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Oh. I'm just like stretching here. I'm like, ooh. It's a long day. Bubs, welcome in. Does your orange cat do crazy orange things? She used to be bananas, but now that she's almost 17, she's a lot more mild. She doesn't really get zoomies too, too much. I don't know why she... What are you licking, ma'am? Ma'am. Okay. Uh, but she used to just be bonkers, like wild all over the place. I don't know if I scanned this keeper. This isn't the worst thing in the world to have to walk places, just in case you do miss a keeper. I did scan this keeper, yeah. Yeah, she turns 17 next month. Yeah. I see. I got you. I understand, Jasmine. No, I totally get it. It's just a bit of banter. Oh, Captain. Thank you. Seasick Academy this way. Mm. You can also skip recruiting. But I love Garrus. I can't believe some people would skip it. This, this is to the tower. This isn't to the embassies. Why do I feel so lost? Ugh. I love how you guys came in and were like, okay, Django, welcome back in. I love how a lot of y'all came in and you were like, look, I'm still trying to figure out Citadel. It is massive. To find all the keepers is going to be ridiculous. Insane. Most people don't make it past the Citadel, so I'm happy you're enjoying it. Wait, really? You mean most people don't make it past? Like, people kind of don't like it just by prejudging it this early on? Also, Herp, welcome back in. Hello, hello. Yeah. First time, too. <laughs> Nick, welcome in. <laughs> London, thank you so much for the gift of to Jasmine. To be fair, they were telling us that our, our neck gets dirty, so I wouldn't be surprised if it smells, too. I think the fastest way to get to it would be to go to Med Bay. I think that was the quickest way, right? Yeah, let's go to med med clinic. And then I think that will we can hop out of med clinic and go the other way. Nick, how's it going? 
If it's any consolation, Mass Effect 1 is probably the Bioware game with the largest modules. Uh, this was to the med clinic. I think it's down the, yep, down here. Parachute, we're just on normal. So since it's my first three playthrough, I definitely don't want the difficulty to impact my enjoyment of the story and the atmosphere and the world itself. Oh, Lang, I love Lang. Eddie, my man. Also, Anon with the gifted sub to Captain Thickrod. Anon, thank you for the snipes. Okay. Here we go. He said you need me to be more annoying because it's not annoying enough in here. <laughs> with my chat, it's not annoying Reports enough in here. Reports that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating okay. the attack on Eden Prime. Udina reportedly based his oh. accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene. But Ooh, the news is talking about it. Further investigation. Notoriously when slow in the comment, beginning. A council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. Okay. AG, AG's here. Benji with the gift of to Nick. Nick, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Oh no, you stumbled into quite... I wouldn't say annoying is the right word. Trolling? Trolling chat. Trolling chat. Alright, let's go back and talk to him too. Oh, Ginger, what are you doing? You look so sad. You sad cat? You small cat? Because I think... Oh, I actually wanted to see that. Hold on. Oh, Ginger, no! Trolling. Yeah, trolling is... Gigi, what? You just showing people your legs? Your legs? Most people don't get past the Citadel in the first one. I think just because there's so much, yeah, exposition and world building that happens. It's just, it is such a, like, dump of information. So you either, you either just work past it or you completely immerse yourself in it and welcome it. I welcome the confusion and hopefully I clear it up eventually. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Of course I did, of course. Zerk, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row and welcome back in. Hi, thank you. I know. Hmm. All right, here we go. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Oh, yeah? I was afraid Shorbin would As you to lied data, straight to so me. I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Huh? Relax, I'm helping out. Ginger, what are you doing? I'm helping out. Hmm. Relax, I'm helping out. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin. Yeah. But you two need to stop fighting. If I can make them walk away you're... together. You're helping us? But, well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. For now. I feel I like for now. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Okay, that was so easy. You guys were acting like I was going to make an enemy out of him. Uh, Thickerod, thank you so much for paying forward your gifted sub as well to the channel. Thank you. What is this thing? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Nick said he just got timed on his stream because he tried to banter. Hmm. Well, I'm not used to bantering about the background of a stream, but I guess I can get down with it. Scared, Potter. Would you kindly welcome in? Would you kindly welcome back in? Not gonna lie, back in the day I started Mass Effect 2 and just did the did the decisions in Mass Effect 1, so playing Legendary Edition gave me an overall better appreciation for the story. Yeah, wait, so you started on the second one and you never went back? What? Don't trust chat with anything. Also true. Ah, uh, yes, we banter about Jawa genocide here. Okay. All right, look, Sue. It was three Jawas. And Bear, before you even start, don't even say anything. <sighs> the bed's empty. I don't know where she went though. What are you doing back there? Oh, she's like right behind me. Crate. Are you kidding me? Don't do hashtag justice for Hank. Crate. What in the world? Like, holy cow. 
I'm sure you'll get along with Nick. Just needs to understand his humor. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for 66 gifted subs to the channel and community. Whoa, why are you going to make it 66? It's like three away from 69. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting choice. Description of chat. Great. Oh, execute order 66. Oh my gosh, y'all are smarter than me. That's for sure. Oh man, weird number, but no. Execute order 66, or I like the total. <laughs> oh no, it's for the total of 666. I don't like that that's demonic. No. Never watched or played this, so I'm curious if the map improves once you leave the Citadel. That's actually a really good detail that I should look into, Coop. Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much. Regardless of sticking it on that number or not. It's not even October. I feel like that would be like the perfect spooky October number. My first playthrough of Mass Effect 1 was this version. Oh. Sorry I annoyed you with my friendship. It was outdated before the legendary. I could see that. I definitely could see that. Um crate with another three gifted subs as well just real quick guys anybody that's gotten a gifted sub today or just any time i hope y'all enjoyed the emotes and the channel and the ad free viewing and just being a part of this banana community community bananas banana community <laughs> bananas thank you so much crate dark star with the gifted sub to execute order 69 I don't even want to know what that does to all of- I don't know, I don't know, we're not going to talk about this. Somehow I think it ends with more purple eggs and I don't like it. I don't like it. Great, thank you. Oh, okay. Ginger wants to go and let me run to the bathroom real quick. You guys collect yourselves. Get it together and I'm going to come back and we are going to look for a few more keepers. But for the most part, continue. We need to go face Scar. Oh, Scar? Oh, that can't be right. Fist. We're going to fight Fist. Okay, we're going to do that. Yasmin, thank you so much and have a good one. Absolutely. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Grace <laughs> torturing Maggie with the demonic horror. No, I'm turning a new leaf. I'm not watching horror anymore. I feel like it's just been so awful on my sleeping patterns. But okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. Get it together. I think even though I'm getting over, like I didn't end up having a cold or something, I must have gotten like something because my chest just feels really tight whenever I'm running or I just get out of breath quicker than I normally do. Like you guys know that I normally get out of breath when I run up the stairs, but more than ever, it just feels like, yeah, it's like a, the con funk. Is it the Twitch con funk? I feel like I always hear a lot of people get sick after conventions. Like all the time, but even when I went to PAX, I feel like I never got that sick. You guys acting a fool? What's going on? Red Baron, thank you for the follow. What did you guys do? You're more of a crackpot than a crack shot. <laughs> Y'all. Two times. Two times started it also. Two times. Bear. London, Arnie, Clout. You guys. <laughs> Y'all are bad at keeping secrets. Bruce, Brad, B-dubs, Mike with the posture check. I... Guys, thank you so much. I... You left them unsupervised? They don't even, they don't even. <laughs> what do you mean even when I'm here and supervising? You guys still act a fool. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, probably a no. Um, Anon with the gifted sub to Hitman as well. Anybody that's gotten a gifted sub, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the emotes in the channel. No, there's a few times that you guys have like slipped them past me if I don't like go back. But um, no, for the most part, I see everything. Plus, you guys always tattle on yourselves. It's actually really easy. To <laughs> Nobody like the chat as a community cannot completely hide anything. Beatups, thank you so much. A fart sound needs to be added to the sound alerts? Absolutely not, because I know that would be abused, and there's so many other ways to annoy me other than a fart noise. It's like the least annoying of them all. Stock match, thanks for the fall. Or welcome in. Stock match, welcome back in. I'm going broken. There we go. Hello, Tom. Welcome back in, and thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, hello. And Stock, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I was ahead of it. See, I I knew where we were thinking the same thing. 
They say chat is a reflection of the streamer. So you guys keep saying this and I don't I don't think this is true. I'm going to go to the very top and then we're going to go see uh, what's his name. I don't believe this for a second. Guys, thank you for all the gifted subs. If CSEC were better at its job, there'd be no need for Guys, get in the elevator. Like Come on, get in the elevator. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Oh, really? Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. Flynn. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. It's kind of like the whip sound on Anna's channel. Oh, she does have a whip sound, doesn't she? Yes, yes. Mm. Absolutely. I best head to bed. Good night, Bruce. Have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And Twisted, thank you again for the follow. All right, let's head out here. Let's head out. Okay, so Scar was down by the consort or let me go over here. No, it's not a claw. It's one of you guys talked about it. Um, the Doc Pop, one of y'all recommended it and I told you guys I hadn't tried it and I went to Target and they had it. So it's the Doc Pop. We're doing it. The Fist, sorry, Fist and Scar. Why am I thinking of Fist and Scar? Next, by the way, I, I hope you enjoy the sub and welcome, welcome. Once it starts, you can't stop it. I just, every single day, I feel a little bit less in control of my chat. Just a little, <laughs> like I lose control just a little bit every day. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's fast travel over here. I'm trying to think. Presidium. Whip is great content and she's never muted it. She's never had to mute it. It can happen at any moment. Arch, thanks for the hydrate. Nick, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. Yeah, the whole um, super aggressive raging at games, it's not really the vibe here anymore. It once was when I was a lot younger. Now we're just kind of just enjoying the game, taking it slow. Dan, thanks for the follow. Welcome in as well. Sarcasm is always welcomed, though. Sarcasm and sass will always be two major points of this. All right, uh, I believe he's down. He's down in. He's oh, he's definitely down here. There was a time in my life when I did break a few controllers. It's true. Uh, I think it's down in Chora's den. Cor, sorry, did you say it's Cora's? Um, Cora's, right? The tilt is strong. I know, I like the Barrett, you got this, Trolls. Anna's worse than the whip, since she usually dies straight after it's played. Does the whip usually jinx her? Is that what happens? Ah. Chorus, Chorus dead, yes, perfect. Many controllers have died to bring us this information. I, it is such a, it's a contrast to see my, my older streams to now. Uh, fist office. Yep, perfect. Okay, I'm actually starting to get a handle on the layout, which maybe there's a keeper in his office, y'all. This way. We keep redeeming the whip till she turns it off. Is the whip like her cat Game of Thrones? Is that what this is? Oh, thank you. You know, every time I go to hit F5 too, I almost smack the cow mug off. And it's really on my own. It's like my own doing because the cow mug is just, because it's on udders, it so easily like falls over. You know, friendly, friendly neighborhood. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Okay, good stretches. Oh, I'm a total smart ass, but it's, it's all about like tasteful banter. I also feel like, as I get older, I just really appreciate a good quick wit. I, I it's like being loud or just rambunctious. It, it's not humorous to me anymore. It's all about the subtle snipes. One Looks Jawa like at a time. I'm on it. Oi, bartender, bartender. That's why he didn't serve me alcohol. You little. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a nice headshot. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Lost shield. Kroger bouncer? Oh, cause because we're in Fist's area, so Fist is sending his people on drops. Of course, of course. 
Is a sign of a mature mind and a well-developed sense of humor? Yes, hold on. Not what it's actually meant for, but... Shepard's been hit. Shepard's been hit. I need to heal. Heal. Heal up. Okay. Ooh. There's one more Krogan. Oh, dude up here. Dude up top. Okay. And the bar. The Krogan's dead. No, the Krogan's on the other side. Whoa! Whoa! Is he still alive? Pop your head up. Okay. There's one more. Oh, shit. Okay, that guy's dead. Dead. Oh, it didn't kill him, though. Oh, no. Okay. okay, that should be it. Maybe. There might be a few more. The hiding spot. Maddie, Mr. and Revan, guys, Revan, guys, thanks for the follows and leaking ass juice. Thank you so much for the reset for a whole year. Has it been an absolute, it's been an entire year? Thank you so much and welcome back in. Thanks for always making me <laughs> remember just how unique and individual each of y'all's names are. Okay, and how there's no two that are the same. Let me have, <laughs> I'm just mad because I really, I, I remember getting mad at the bartender for never giving me alcohol. And now I see he was just trying to serve us bullets this whole time. I don't know why I'm stuck on the sniper. Why am I sniping people inside? I don't know. Also, Capino, thank you so much for converting your Prime Sub to Tier 1. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel that much. Thank you. After a year, you might want to see a doctor. I'm actually pretty happy with those snipes. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> not my usual warehouse worker. Okay. Just kidding. Until I snipe an innocent person. No. Yes, your first part of Elden Ring. Time flies. No, I wasn't playing Elden Ring this time. Leaking. This would have been... In July? I don't think I was doing Elden Ring. Oh, but it was a while before. That's right. It was a while before you said. Yeah, yeah. Rock and punk and vendor guys, welcome in. It's been over a year. You're right. You're right. Stop right there. Yeah, don't Kai. Come any closer. Look at his arm Where hair. It would have been New Vegas, All but. The real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. Oh. Guys, was I actually always blocked out of answering these? Wouldn't be the first time. That's true. Wouldn't be the first time. Save yourselves. You're making a mistake. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. No, they were. I idea. couldn't do it before. Yeah, I never liked fist anyway. I never liked fist anyway. It been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Would it have actually been quicker to just shoot them? I mean, maybe we wouldn't have engaged in a conversation. But Regulus, thanks for the fall and welcome in as well. <laughs> Was this the bang era? Okay, in my defense, I thought that I wanted bangs. And then I realized that when you have thin hair, you should not have bangs. It's not the vibe. Manual override? Override using 25 Omni gel? I think we can manual manually override this. Yeah. Yeah, the red answer here. Were the other ones red? Like to make people laugh, so while my username has always been silly, it works. It works. I know. I love how I just talked about how I love, um, <laughs> like clever humor, and then I just die laughing at leaking ass shoes. It's mostly because in my real life, like, I, I'm never good at remembering names. But give me a Twitch name, and I will remember it 10 years from now. All of a sudden, I'm going to have this memory of some of y'all's interesting names. Nice. Take them all. Questions might be floppy pickle. Did I level up, by the way? Four points. I feel like we should wait till after the mission to level up, though. What a name. What a guy, Ugo. Whoa! Oi! Oh, that is Fist! We're not even gonna talk to Fist first? What? Okay, hold on. I gotta... Hold the line! Love is in wings. Hold on. Defensive turret, use barrier. Well, who do I have? I have throwing stuff, warping stuff, sabotage? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, I can't do that. I'm messing up with all of these things. I don't know what I'm I should have used sabotage on him. There's a grenade! That's a bomb? Is that a grenade? It's floating right there. I think it's a grenade. There we go. Dead. Hold the line. Okay, other. Switch their weapons. 
Let's try. I need to start using some of these different things. Yeah, due to first names not being hardwired into the memory of the long-term storage. Also, you see how little gets stored in my brain, Flynn, to begin with. Let's do... Is that a shotgun? No, that's a shotgun. Let's do the Lancer for him. I'm gonna stick with my sniper. Need heavy fire. I like this angle first. We can kill Fist first. Nice, he's going down. Pop your head back up. He's not going to. Go, go, go! Oh, nice, dead. All right. Wait, there we go. Don't kill me, I surrender. Oh, you don't have to fight the other things. Just associate a name with the sound. Wait, don't kill me. I need information. Start Tell talking. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Thanks, Claire. Oh, she's not here. I don't know where she is. The That's kneecaps. The truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face, impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Hmm. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. Oh. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. We have to save her. Where's the meeting? You son of a... Uh, I know if I say this, it's not actually what's going to happen. Curious if the map improves once. Yeah, you mentioned that before, Coop. It will be interesting to see how it changes and adapts. And Hippie, thank you for the reset for three months in a row. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it the if wards. you hurry. We should still shoot his kneecaps out. Oh. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs. Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean, he didn't serve any purpose being alive for us, so I guess oh, never mind. Let's see, Novus, welcome back in. There's no point in kneecapping him now. I still kind of want to just shoot them. No, no, stupid. He deserved it. He surrendered. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a hard knock life, okay? Don't survive out here being weak. All right, there's a new journal entry. He did warn you he was going to kill him. Yeah, exactly. I can't blame him for that. I, look, I like Rex. He's cutthroat. We're both ruthless, and I'm here for it. You know? FM, thank you so much for 13 months as well. Kenny, hi. Back in the gym, hi. Ruzel as well. Oh, wait, guys. I'm on a time crunch. Hold on. Let's do the time warp again. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Hold on. Oh, no. I'm going to lose it. Ah! What am I doing? I'm out. I'm out. I don't know what I was doing. I... Okay, I can do it again. Here we go. Ow. To be fair, it's a little... <sighs> Hold on. It's something... I think I need to use the D-pad. Is it easier to use the D-pad? <laughs> Anime spaghetti sauce. Thank you for the resub for two months in a row as well. And welcome back in. I know you were here earlier, but... Just thank you for resubbing, and I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. And Alpha Buzz in here too. All right, Rex. There are a few unlicensed vendors who Yeah, we're gonna do this. Darth Casta. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. I'm. The C sec. No, I actually haven't seen. I haven't watched Rocky Horror in a long time, but I have been listening to my Halloween playlist, which happens to have the time warp. It does. It's just a jump to the left, and then a step to the right, and you put your hands on your hip, and bend your knees in time, and it's the pelvic girl. Oh. He's out. That really drives me insane. <laughs> I think he's crouched behind. One behind. Mm, he's opening the door. Run to the back. It's so weird not to be able to run with B. Okay, here we go. 
Pop your heads up. Yeah, if it if it looks or, or feels like backseating, it's it's out. It's just the best way. I know like I know there's gonna be some stuff that actually isn't, but it's just the best way that I can tell my mods to like operate for this game. So even if it's like a meme or a joke or something like that. Sterling Archer, what's up? Welcome in. And I hope you enjoyed this sub. And thanks for giving the person a thanks, Crate. Crate with the gift of seven in the first place. And Jedi Knight, thank you for the follow. Load with the 100 bits. Load, welcome back in. All right. I don't think the bar is getting its security deposit back. No. You watched it in theater? It's fantastic. I think we do just want to walk it. Yeah, I think we want to walk it out. Yeah. Oh, we can't go that way? Okay, so we have to go up here. Door control. Hmm. If you're not singing while you're just sniping people's heads off, are you really sniping their heads off? <laughs> Assassin. Okay. There's something shady happening. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? You mean to be tell her? Be here. Tricia. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Some all right assassins oh all right let's try this thing wait 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 no over here oh something weird happened sabotage on him ah okay i need to switch my weapon to something different let's test this out let's go ahead and use the stinger <laughs> just melting oh my shield's down Nice, okay. Uh, you're just fighting? Wait, what was Garrus doing? I was in, oh, the ragdoll. Also, I'm this so okay. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Yeah. Who's out here trusting Fist to begin with? I'm just really confused by that. Sterling, thanks for verifying your account as well. And Bob, welcome in. Therm with the reset for two months in a row. And Doug, thank you for the follow. Give me the evidence. I took care of him. Give me the evidence. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Mm -hmm. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? A friend. I'm with the Alliance. Someone who saved your life. A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Oh, look at the, you Your can see her, her see eyes. <gasps> what a cool, okay, this is, uh, we just, yeah. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Mm. Who's this, a quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us, just do my job. Shut up and I'll tell you. Why do I want to say this so bad? Joe, excellent. Blue, thank you so much. This quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if he hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. <laughs> this whole thing with Saren has That's been right. on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. I love her voice. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I the tortilla. My, my rite of passage into adulthood. That's right, trying to find something to bring back to them. But I'm still gonna, uh, I'm still gonna ask about it. I've never it. heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents mm -hmm. and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. I was already tracking the thigh gap, trust me. I'm already on it. Just didn't say it, but I was thinking it. And what did you find? Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. Mm. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Oh, I thought the Geth casual. fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If really? Quick, careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged huh. something from its audio banks. Something that proves Saren did it. He did it. Eden Prime was a major victory. The B 
beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Hmm. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return. The, the woman, the right? The woman. The. I don't recognize yeah. that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. If she's talking about the Reapers, I would assume she is a Reaper. I think. Alucard, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. I see Pyro as well. And guys, thank you for the follows. Reapers sound familiar. No, I'm just going to go with what are they? Because I, I don't know. I I feel like I guess we heard it in the cutscene. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to Coyote the memory core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Hyper the Reapers machine. hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, oh, that's what the Oh, they took believe. out the Protheans. Sounds a little far-fetched. Hmm. It's not far-fetched. She's right, it's true. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. Is that what we saw? I feel the like it couldn't make sense of anything we saw. Gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. Will they believe it? Don't tell them. I feel like they wouldn't believe it if we brought it to them in the first place. Even having definitive proof with his voice or something, I feel like they'd still make up excuses for it. XO8, thanks for the hydrate. Mm. He's prepping his shaggy impression. It wasn't me. On the bathroom floor. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council They're right away. They're not gonna believe it. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. <gasps> Let me come with you. Can I have three people, though? It's not, It's too rude to make me pick between two characters only. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. I didn't the do it. The pilgrimage <laughs> proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Hmm. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Tali! Giving the sus squint. <laughs> um dear welcome back in you could be useful join us you're not ready for this i want to see her response to saying that but you could be useful join us i'll take all the help i can get thanks you won't regret this dude they just look cool Anderson like that'd be a sick I cosplay to get things ready with a council take a few minutes to collect yourself then meet us in the tower wow look at the way that her um her shin and calf are it's so interesting how the legs like curve out there cold quiet yeah i really like tally but i think that we're only able to bring yeah wait no no no. i think we're able to have five people wait oh no there's one more person we're missing oh before we leave we need to find out who the asari we can take with us is oh i hope it's not the person that we slept with because that's going to make for an awkward like you don't you don't shit where you eat i just feel like yeah her legs bend differently <laughs> laverne uh, Lucky Calidus, Nah, and Peg, guys. Thank you for the follows and welcome in. I just, I don't know. Am I gonna sleep with Tali? Okay, first of all, I feel like that's weird. I feel like Tali is, like, I, I don't know. I feel like Tali's younger. I don't know how to interpret that. No, I can only have two. I already slept with someone. I really, uh, in my defense, uh, I didn't have a choice. In my defense, I didn't think. Maybe I did have a choice. Maybe I did. Did I choose to? I don't. It was. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I really my response dictated. Let me just time out real quick. I don't think my response determined if we slept with her or not. I know. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Nope. 
It was the egg instead of the couch. I don't think there was. Maybe I could have answered something differently. We're taking Tally with us. Karis is awesome, but we're going to go with Rex and, and Tally. I hope along the way they um, they do give us more exam and squad. I really hope they give us more characters. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm digging a hole here. I'm going to stop right here. Glitch, no. Just add it to the sus comments I've said. Just, just take it. All right, guys, let's level up. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. Mm, I I didn't even know what was happening. That's why I said what is about to happen. And then we saw the handprint. I didn't do it. <laughs> no. Uh, I would say we put back into our bio, um, our Vanguard. I'd like to keep that kind of maxed out. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> Let's do, uh, where's my, I would like something that unlocks snipers, but that's not an option. I guess assault training, shotguns pistols my pistol would be doing the most damage i believe i believe so alina thank you so much for the race over seven months i feel like i haven't seen you or talked to you in so long i hope you're doing well thank you oi oi i haven't dropped an oi in a while oi uh which one's the tactical armor oh in assault training let's put into assault training next and then let's tally -o over here and with the gifted sub to the channel and community. Mm -hmm. Alina, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well. What are you doing? Are you still playing Diablo right now? Let's head home. She didn't have a choice in sleeping with her crewmate. Okay, first of all, we don't know if she's gonna end up being our crewmate. I hope not. This is gonna make for awkward. This is gonna make for just awkward breakfast. I'm not, <laughs> what if we're, <laughs> every single morning I'm gonna see her on the ship and I'm gonna have to ask her, do you want an egg, you know? How would you like your eggs cooked? And she's going to say purple. And I'm going to be like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I missed you. I missed you too. It was who I think it was. You definitely had a choice and I, I don't know how I ended up where I ended up. But I'm pretty sure there was a shot involved somewhere along the way. Do you want me to scramble your eggs? I don't know. First rule of getting out of a hole, stop digging. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. Alina, do you say you're still doing Diablo? Are you level 100 yet? <laughs> Gold, thank you for the follow. And bear with the gifted sub to purple egg. I'm out. I'm out. All right, back to the as I was. As I was, 14 points. Let's put him into Battle Master. How do you like your eggs fertilized? I'm done. Just go. Y'all are... You didn't even get <laughs> you didn't get your drink, so imagine if you did drink. That's also true. Space relations can be difficult to navigate. Now please sit down and watch this three hour long PowerPoint presentation on how to not fraternize with random aliens. <laughs> I'm gonna get what oh my goodness. I can't even remember what they they show you. What is it called in the military when you have the training? I don't even remember that training anymore. It was something. The Red Phoenix, thank you so much for the reset for 20 months in a row as well, and welcome back in. I'm the one who slept with her. Don't ask, but please don't. No, no. It was always the, was it Red Dot? I'm thinking Red Dot or one of them. Was it Green Dot? One of them. All's to say, I didn't do it. It did not feel like, I, okay. This will be interesting. What if every situation where I end up sleeping with somebody, I didn't even really, like, I've got to be more careful in my choices in this game in related to other people. I think I just asked her. I need to go back and see the clip. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just said, is that it? Maybe I did imply that I required more payment. If so, does that mean that I received payment for that? Cyber aware. No, it wasn't cyber awareness challenge, but good luck. Please no, that's gonna give me flashbacks and I don't want to think about that. All right, Krogan. Regenerates three health per second. Wait, that's so good. Increases melee damage by 50%. The Krogan Battlemaster is disgusting. You asked her to buy her breakfast? Asked her to buy breakfast during dinner, I implied. I didn't protest the egg. I don't even remember stepping into the egg. I'm out. I'm out, combat armor. For him, I'm going to put into overkill, and then let's also get him having increases damage reduction by 10%, increases hardening by 10. Let's get that increased fitness, and then I would say 
reduces health damage by 75%. Does not reduce damage to shields. Oh. I'm also like going after what I think looks cool. I have no idea if we're going to stick with this, you know? Remember what I recapped with yesterday? It was very interesting what the game was telling us to do yesterday. Yeah. The Xeno STDs. Okay, so it was who you were thinking. Mevers, Mevers, thank you so much for 15 months. Be careful who you sleep with. Got it. <laughs> so it was who I thought it was. Most players are super respectful and nice to her and don't ask for more. I don't think I asked for more. I really don't think I asked for more. I also love how you said we're kind and respectful as if I was not respectful to her. All I'm saying is I had no complaints in the morning. I think I was respectful to her. I think I was, okay? I don't think she said I was the best ever, but I know there were no complaints in the morning. But she hasn't also come back for more, so... There's a lot. I don't know. You did ask, yes. We can go to the replay. <laughs> Smousy. And why XA? Thanks for the follow, welcome in. I don't think I asked for more. She gave you gift of words and you chose that's it. Wow, would you look at the clouds? They are so beautiful. Look at that view. Gorgeous. All right. Uh, she'll, she'll come back for more in nine months. No. Illuminati, no. The same view as the egg. Would you look at the clouds? <laughs> Soup. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right, we're done. We're on to the next. <laughs> I did. Okay, so maybe what happened, I did make her wait. So she was like, hey, I want that person. And I made her wait a long time before I went to see her egg. The toggle helmet instantly dies. Oh, you're right. Kazriel. All right, though young, Tally is a true genius when it comes to dealing with mechanical and electronical equipment. Increases tech resistance and increases shields. I always want to put into, like, the bee's knees of their category. She made me wait? She made me work for it. I made her wait, and then she made me work for it. Like, I literally had to do a quest for her. Wanderer and offline cop, guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in. The cops here. I gotta go. I'm gonna put first aid for her. So let's put into basic armor enough to get first aid. She could be my electronics person. Oh, I don't have an electronics person, actually. Oh, I hate that noise so much. Something about it reminds me of TV dinners. I don't know. <laughs> the noise reminds me of TV dinners. Damping. I like the decryption. Advanced sabotage. Hacking? Let's make her a hacker. Yeah. AI hacking temporarily drives basic robotic enemies to berserk, so they attack anything nearby, including other things. I upgraded my points as well. It was your payment for service rendered. <laughs> I find it comforting. You like that staticky noise? You find that comforting? <gasps> Monroe, thanks for the follow. And Brad, different Brad. Not Braddy as Brad, but Brad Brad. Thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in. We scanned this guy. I've got a, I've got a, <gasps> Gallon. Surprise, welcome. You have returned here. I love this guy. Genuine inquiry. It's a vibe, static noise. What may noise? I do for you this day? Your speech. Aw, I can't do anything different. Goodbye, and guys, ambassador. thank you for the troll Please train again. Farewell. Cookie, Good cookie cow, you, welcome buddy. back in. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Goodbye. Oh, I'm not about to get a... I don't want to be chastised by Din today. All the hacking, she could take a cough drop or something. I I do like like white noise. I love like rains or thunderstorms when I'm sleeping, but static noise is not so so much. All right, guys. So at this point, we need to go to. I think we need to go back to the council. You save the quarian, and she gives you, she puts you in a real quarry. Udina is going to present this evidence to the council. Why? Pausin, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Bear with five more gifted subs to the channel and community. Great! Is there no end to y'all's madness? 
the hype train's not even happening. Cosmic with Arisa for seven months in a row and welcome back in. Cosmic, thank you so much for eight months and... Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yes, I can. To avoid my chat, I can. Clout, bear, great, guys, thank you. What are you doing? Commander Shepard. I'm out. My name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Thank you, guys. And if you got a gift itself, I hope y'all enjoyed the emotes in the channel. I'm listening. What is it? I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I gotta I've requested focus. that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Aw, that's really sad. Flynn with the 500 bits, Vertigo with the reset for 16 months in a row, Arnie with the five gifted subs, and Gamer with the thousand bits. Guys, thank you. Thank you. You said hopping on the Mass Effect hype train? <sighs> Bear. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm gonna have to, like, put you guys behind and not even look at chat at all. Did they say why? Let me help. That's garbage. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I don't like that there's not details on it. We'll put this right. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. The expensive Thank bar. You for time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. That is a good point. Where do the bodies go? Where do they bury bodies here? She's dead already. No need to waste time on it. Ah, uh, Roomba! We're trying to respect the dead. Gamer, thank you so much. And guys with the- Wait! How can there be a hype train already? Wasn't there just one? Wait, the hype train never ended? What? Out the airlock space is pretty big? Uh, yeah, what is a proper burial? I want to do this just to see. There is another bar. That bar? I didn't do it. You did it. And low with the gifted sub to th no low with the resub for thirty nine months in a row. Low, thank you so much for almost forty months of continual support. Welcome back in. I still remember Fable streams. Like I still remember when you were here during Fable streams. And Shadow with five more gifted subs as well. They just want to toss the body into space. I feel like they would have a proper conversation and then proceed to eat it out, you know? Something like that. Childish, welcome back in. I've talked to that keeper. I've talked to this diplomat before. Guys, please pay a big thank you to anybody who's gifted you a sub today or ever. Y'all. The absolute bee's knees. Wait, maybe Palin will talk to us now that we have proof about Saren? I don't know if he knows. Mitsu, holy resubs as well. Mitsu, thank you for the resub for four months in a row as well. And Wolfie with the follow, guys, thank Shepherd, you. What can I do for you now? Let me investigate. Investigation? Tell me about your investigation. Oh, oh no. I don't make I, I wish the there were some updated dialogues with some of these characters that are kind of impacted by the conversation. Nasana, diplomat. Nasana. Oh. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Maybe she's going to be added to our team. Maybe she's the Asari that will be added. Oh, there he is. There he is. Graham, welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Something, something looks off about his face. I'm here for... I hope so. Stop stealing corpses. Jin, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. I know I'm surprised we only have one death, but we're still in the tutorial, so. You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Ooh. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Oh, it's evidence? That is why her body is being held. It's giving me like howdy. Is it howdy duty vibes? She's toxic. You're running test. So she's been mauled. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. 
The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. At the cost of her body? Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. I'm releasing the body. I, I find it interesting that you have both of these options. They probably result in a similar... Uh, this isn't right. Either way, I know that I can... This basically bypasses having to talk your way through this way. This game has an ancient bat. No, I mean, this is the legendary version, but yeah, no, it looks fantastic. I feel like it wouldn't have been that hard for me to get into the OG versions as well, just because you guys have seen me go back to a lot of other ones. She's like Britney Spears. Can't you see? I'm calling. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. It didn't work. What? I wasn't convincing enough? Gambit Rage, guys, thank you for the follows and great. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> you gotta stop doing it. You broke the 669. Not this far. It's not worth it. I do and you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. Oh. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. That's Tell right. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Okay, so they just go back and bury it on Earth. Bakli, hi. Interesting. Paragon, plus eight. Oh. Hold on. I feel like I've discovered something. Wait a minute. This is my equipment. How can I see my stats? Is there a way to see my stats? Wait a minute. Oh, sure enough. I'm on the Paragon scale right now. Oh. Oh, no. I have more in Renegade. Oh. I didn't do it. What what would have what would I have attributed to Renegade? What would I have done? I don't want to play like I will. I want to make sure that I'm not falling in between both of them. Although being somewhere in between the two probably feels more realistic, right? I know a lot of people want you to go one way or the other, but I think that it's more realistic to have a balance between the two. I know I finally noticed my Renegade and Paragon. I know if this doesn't show you like how chaotic my brain is while I'm doing this. And y'all, thank you so much for another hype train. Just thank you for all the support these past three days and always, just always. Rex is killing. Rex already did. Oh, Rex killing Fist because I didn't put a stop to it. Mm, I'm in my bad girl era. <laughs> I'm going evil. Shoot first, solve problems later. Anon, thank you so much for the gift of the gypsy lights. And KV, have a great rest of your day. Darth arthritis is rubbing off on me. It's not my fault that I sleep with Ginger every night. And as a resident Sith Lord, she does rub off on me. The behavior is just brutal. It's infectious. Also, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, guys. But at least we got it back. So good side, Paragon. I just feel like a lot of people don't like when somebody does an in-between playthrough. I, but I can't see a situation where it's as simple as just being 100% good or 100% bad. Lord knows I'm not always good or bad. I'm like in the nice middle. The ginger Sith. Oh, she she is a Sith. Darth Arthritis. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? It looks like the spaceship from Wally. Wally looks like this. Okay. Cast to shoot someone. Why do I have more renegade points? Shoots the corpse again to make sure. <laughs> I think it won't be bad. If I do a balance, I'll be fine with it. Infamous, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. She's coming home. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Mm. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. Is it easy for them it to go back to Earth? I guess so. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. All right, candidate. Sees me get ultimately relaxed. Posture like a slug. I'm looking like a shrimp in my chair. And you decide to posture check. There's a glitch where you can max out both. I'm assuming you can only go one way or the other. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> People like a unique and fresh playthrough. Don't worry about the Paragon Renegade scores. Enjoy the game. I like, yeah, I really like that approach to it. And Stray Moose. All right, let's go back to... We just happened to run into him. We're going back to the council. 
crate with the hydrate, but I still need to look for these other keepers. This always looks like the coolest guy right here. He's always propped up like this. It's like Kirk versus Picard. Do whatever feels right. I'm trying to have a Spock playthrough. It's not really good or bad, more ruthless or magnanimous. I've never done like a fully evil playthrough and I really want to. Isn't it very hot with the hoodie? Guys, massive aircon where I'm at, okay? My house is like always a steady 68 degrees. Actually, I would say it's probably 70, 72. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, save. Thank you. Every time I almost save, I almost knock it over. So I will say that it's it's interesting how this happens. This is day three and I feel a lot better. Like I know that I'm not exactly Sarah. Welcome back in. I know I'm not exactly tracking all of the details. Like I just realized Paragon versus Renegade. But as far as like acclimation, I feel a lot better. I feel a little bit more natural playing it. I feel like I'm doing a better job at balancing chat and the game. I think it will continue to just improve the more and more. You're making good choices in Detroit to like. <laughs> Hank, what's the difference? I'm just gonna, oh, I still gotta help these two. We need to solve this issue before I leave. Yeah, let me go talk to these two. I'm gonna need you to hand over your AC. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's embedded pretty deep in my home in the infrastructure. It'll be a little difficult to do that. It's not as simple as an air con, like take this, put it in your window. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? This isn't the way. I guess, <sighs> He's breaking the law. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're I gotta, I gotta choose. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I am blocked out of these. Could I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Yes. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay. But just in let order me do it so we can truth. stop this conversation. However, this one also does not possess the 150, 150? credits necessary to purchase the permit. Another money grabber. What if he? Do you think he's? I feel like he. Th I, mm, is he gouging me? I think he's gouging me. <laughs> I match him with the hoodie. <laughs> Oh, I feel like he's gouging me. If I can't spend 10,000 gil on Barrett's weapon, why should I spend 150 on this guy's permit? Turn him into a youngling? Oh, like go Anakin on I gotta make the executive decision. Whichever one puts an end to this first. Okay. 150 credits. This should cover you. Only because I like them. I love their this legs. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. You're welcome. Oh, he's gone. He's out. Where's he preaching now, though? He had to run somewhere. So much empty space. Oh, Tally. Thousand of my people could live here and hardly Is she like see bouncing around? She's like doing calf raises as we're just hanging out. Hmm. His legs, yeah. I'm not used to seeing Krogan walking around up here. Oh, look, there's a statue. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? It's the spammo legs for me, absolutely. Chris Ling, guy, how's it going? I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here. For your assistance in this <gasps> Did we get 150 Happy, back? Excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh. No, we just got experience. For doing good deeds. No money, just experience. He took the money and ran. No kidding, Herb. Welcome back. Uh, I feel like he might help us in the future. And lore. We did get lore. It's been a while since we've listened to lore as well. <gasps> Have I? I've scanned that. I think I've looked at this keeper like 10 times and scanned it. You gotta work the calves somehow, Chris Ling. Thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, wasn't that uncanny how I was telling you guys about? Oh, I didn't examine. Oh, I did. That was uncanny that I was talking about how I loved the plushie of the Hanar, and then Luality had one. Like <laughs> she had one on her. Um, 
That's the Citadel Tower. I know we've been there before. It's going to be a pain in the butt to find these last four keepers. And I don't think I have to right now, but... He gave you 17 XP in hand. He'll do. It'll work. The plushie's so cute. Is there sun there? It's always like this. Oh, look at the... It is really pretty. Personally, I'd like a little change in weather. We talked about this already. I'd like there to be some like rainy days, snowy days. The plushie was so cute. I want to know where she got it. Hmm. Oh, what? The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Some mm. have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. I think it's so cool that we ran into Tally. She's probably going to become one of my favorite characters. I like just how she is. She's very curious. She's younger. It's not naive. She's just... She seems very intelligent, but still wondrous. Like, everything seems to be new, fresh, and exciting to her. Laj, thanks for the follow as well. Shelter. All right. We need to go to the... Let's just go to the council. There might be some more keepers up there, too. Hmm? We don't know if there's fish in the water. I haven't looked. I probably should have. Not the tower. The council. No, not the tower. Yes, the tower. They discovered the citadel, so maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know how to control the weather yet. That's true. They just stumbled upon this. Maybe the keepers change up the weather from time and time again. <laughs> no, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants, Commander. Oh, that's right. We still can't talk to this guy. <gasps> yes! Lash eye. I like the intelligent young and the thigh gap. <laughs> I know. Weirdly enough, I haven't been admiring the thigh gap on the women, just the men. <laughs> just the men. Um There is a lot in our journals. But where are we at? We have 17! I'm so close. There's gotta be three in like weird places. Curtis, what's up? Welcome in. I'm having a great time. It is so good. I like the alien anatomy. <laughs> the keepers do like the weather. We still haven't found anything for the reporters. Fis OST, OSD, plot items. We need to go to Fis and then pick that up for her. I just want to ask a couple of questions. But let's do this first. There might be another keeper on this side. Hold on. This also would go a lot faster if I could bear this, but I think I'm doing us all a favor and not not sprinting around okay they're just having a friendly conversation i can't wait to get i can't wait until redacted this is like the story of this playthrough Udinus everything's redacted evidence to the council the sprint camera is so rough Prime was a major victory. i'd have to do a mod Eden to stop it has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit if they deny this i s and one step closer to the return of the reapers you wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped wow. of his Spectre status. Wow! And all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. <gasps> Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Oh, oh ma yeah, Matriarchs. for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I forgot about the Matriarch. I'm Matriarchs. more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. Realism with the, the Shade, The Reapers yeah. were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them. Saren's bringing them back. That's why they follow Saren. The Geth revere the them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. And Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Hmm. It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad. Dodge enough. it. Avoid. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy. Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? I mean, it's they a were real big galaxy, right? Something. 
The Reapers are real. Yeah, I might I might download the mod because it will be annoying not to be able to do sprinting on this. Yeah. Mike, Curtis, thanks for the follow and welcome in. Don't be a fool. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. <laughs> you Tell him. Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient huh. lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm not usually one to talk about seeing things or hearing other voices or visions. I Somehow this doesn't feel like the right path. Can't you understand? You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic Never admit civilization. that you're crazy. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Of crap. Oh. I have so many thoughts and feelings. One being, how can you just dismiss that he's like rogue and just because he doesn't have the resources of the council doesn't mean he's not powerful. Like he's got the entire Geth backing him right now and a matriarch. And you're trying to say that he doesn't have power in this situation or he's just on his own doing a little rogue thing. So you'll do nothing? Send me. Same old story. So you'll do Every nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of oh. this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador. Oh, I didn't skip it. Oh, okay. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. Yeah, he's already been no, a specter for how long? it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Quit holding us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned Get this. Him. Look at that eyebrow from the Asari. Oh, I feel like I'm on, like, <laughs> America's Got Talent Man, or Shepard. something. Step forward. It's happening. But we're not technically the first human specter, but it's really cool that the first human specter isn't by our side. Oh, this is so cool. We're just doing it on the spot. I didn't even get to invite my friends and family. Oh, wait, no, they're dead. Okay, never mind. This is fine. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and I thought somebody- I thought we found out that somebody else was a Spectre and then he got stripped of the title. I thought it was Anderson. I really thought that Anderson was- Maybe I was totally misreading this. What happens now? About I've time. This since Eden Prime. We're sending you into oh, he was only tested. Seven. Okay. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find I'm him? the boss. We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Distant kin, welcome in. I'm like a sassy Shep. Congratulations, you know? Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. Uh -huh. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Oh, I Anderson, bet there's a keeper down me. there too. I'll there's gotta be. To set all this up. Spectre inductee. Let's go. Does the council have any last words? No? 
bastard didn't even Rex. Oh, I'm missing something. Hold on. Be fresh. Thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, guys. We're in the middle of... I just got brought into being a specter. It's a really pivotal moment in my career as Shep. But guys, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follows. I see Ned, Johnny, Drewski, Bob, Cal. Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. What were you just playing? Thank you for the raid. And if you guys are new here, my name is Casta. I'm doing my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect and I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by all the information. So I'm focusing on the game a lot more than, than chat like I normally do, but I'm a very chat focused streamer variety streamer i play just about everything and i love taco bell cats the gym and gwent and that's all you gotta know <laughs> thank you crate crate with the five gifted subs as well siyoung and marie guys thank you for the follows i'm normally chat focused but this game is this game is kind of an exception um there's just a lot of story in it and so we're we're focusing on that a lot more and hollow tactics you're right you're right i hope i get to name my ship thank you so much and just tell me what you were playing don't believe her and she never pays attention to us okay there's a lot of things you guys can say about me but that is not one of them by any means dr mantis thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in with all access to the specter information i can deep dive into the thigh gaps by species <laughs> great back <laughs> What's up, Be Fresh? You were just playing, oh, Guilt. Okay, new survival horror game, PS5. It's great. I think I saw Gabs playing that. I think Gabs Walters was playing that. I'm pretty sure. It's a survival horror. I just saw that for the first time today, but I haven't looked into it at all. Were you enjoying it? The game doesn't make it very clear, but Captain Anderson was a candidate for the Spectres, but after the mission with Saren, that opportunity was removed. So he was never technically fully initiated. Like he never went on to be right so he was given the opportunity it was like a test bed kind of like a testing and then they didn't decide to go for it gotcha 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 major meerkat thank you and crate thank you for the five gifted subs rap boy with the 300 bits specter status this is such a great day for us and also enchilada and cam guys thanks for the follows and welcome in i hope you're enjoying it i actually did add that to the list of games that i wanted to play in the future but i didn't know how long it is do you know how long the total game is and Berg, welcome back in. I actually haven't caught up with it entirely. It was my intention to do a reaction, and it just is something that I hadn't really like dived into on my on my Let's Play channel. And so I've kind of put it on pause for now just because it's such different content than what I'm used to, if that makes sense. And Charles, welcome back in. The game doesn't make okay, so I read that. I'm glad that I kind of caught on to that because it still is a like momentous time for us right like the first human official specter but yeah for some reason i thought it was really cool to have anderson by our side in the in the first place there's a book explaining it i think how many more sorry consorts you can pull with the shiny new specter status you know though that's the thing is do i want to pull more sorry if they just want me for my shiny new badge like the other one liked me just as i was she liked me just for who I was, even after I made her wait that long. Pocket slime. Yes, you heard Taco Bell. Play the Cat Game of Thrones theme. See what happens. It's like saying, don't do it because you know what it's like. It's like saying Beetlejuice three times. You say Cat Game of Thrones three times. It will happen. It will. I know the Witcher 3 anniversary video reaction. I know. And I still need to watch... Um, the making of kratos as well i need to take the day i need to take a day just to like react to all of those doing reactions for other content besides games feels very different for me and you guys know like i don't shy away from um not a challenge per se but just doing something different i feel like that's when i grow more it just i'm still like a comfort thing i gotta get comfortable with it it's the discomfort and i gotta welcome it i know think of all the species all right sue come on have you seen all the endings for the best game of Witcher 3? I have not seen all the endings yet, still, to this day. And smooth, welcome back in. Dreadnought with the follow. Dreadnought, thank you. Um, just again, Fresh, thank you so much for the raid and for trusting your community and bringing them over here. And I just hope you enjoy your time here. If you got a raid in Dash, I totally get it as well. Um, I just really appreciate you trusting your community with us. Because <laughs> it's a little bit of a, the wild, wild west over here. You still haven't watched the Witcher 3 anniversary? I actually think, um, I think that'd be something that I could do with you guys. Like, I think I'd feel more comfortable recording something like that.
I got a plan. And it's good. Ollie Trips, you can't ask for that. Oh, you did it. You asked for it. It was done. Mastino, welcome back. And don't bob to it. Don't cat jam to this. All right, we're out. We're out. Again, thank you for the raid. Thank Until you so I much. Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. I don't chat much, but for I'm enjoying your... Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. I should have saved so I could max this. Pocket. I really appreciate it. And all, this goes for all the lurky turkeys. And I know I'm getting worse and worse, especially during these playthroughs. And in my defense, Chad has been doing their best to keep me busy at the very beginning of stream. But I know I've done a really crappy job at keeping up with saying hi to y'all at the very beginning. So anybody that I missed and just all the lurky turkeys, guys, welcome back in. And thank you for being here and for your time. And Riv with the reset for 16 months in a row. Riv, hi. Spike, thank you for the stretch. I actually needed that. And also Naki, thank you for the follow and welcome in. All right. I, haven't, I can't do gobbles anymore. They're absolutely broken. Like absolutely there's a reason why they're sold out like oh and they're kind of back i need to do like more maybe i can set it on a timer to where i only do a gobble once at the top of the hour every hour let me save too by the way go to squad squad all right here we go we want to put everything into specter if i had to oh <gasps> so when i became a specter i now am able to i know was that two back-to-backs See, that is me three years ago. This is me now. Like, <laughs> it's so pathetic. I'm washed up. I know, they tend to migrate back in the fall. It's gone, it's gone. That's true, I actually happen to do really good. Yeah, I feel like in uh, Unity. I feel like it gets better in November. <laughs> like, something about turkey season. Almost 30 gobble hit different. Oh. I'm done. All right, let's do Spectre. So now we have Unity. Restores dead squad members with 30% health, 50% shields. Are you serious? That's amazing. So I can just cast that? I need to practice more. Maybe you've lost. Well, I can tell you guys right now too. Like, remember how I was telling you guys I still have like, um, the, the tight chest feeling I can still feel I thought it was cooked yesterday but the more that I talk so the more that because today I recorded and streamed so I've talked a lot and my my throat is like sore again so I think I'm still on the back end of kicking whatever the con cold whatever I got when I came back that's just like still hanging on like a little bit and so I can feel it that's probably why Found your stream recently and I'm enjoying it. Thanks for the gifted sub crate. Yosh, thank you so much for the kind words and I hope you enjoy the sub and I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel. And Josh with the resub for two months in a row. Coming back in stream on a gobble was so bizarre. <laughs> I know for a lot of people you guys miss like or remember the gobbles, but I haven't done them in such a long time. I think it's been a year. It's been a year since I stopped doing it. I know, smooth. I know. It's all we've been talking about. Josh, thank you so much. And Phelan, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Got the European cough. I definitely, I, I feel like the compression in my chest today more than anything. Okay. Let's get out of here. Wait, Gareth. Okay. I don't remember this person. I'm on a break. Talk to okay. someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. The eyebrows. I'm jealous of the eyebrows. Maybe I, I do need help. to save. Thank you. Mm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Honestly, the eyebrows are giving massive Dark Souls vibes. Like, I feel like all of the Dark Souls series have so eyebrows. Blue, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. He's on a break and I continue to talk about this. You can't spam Unity. It has a cooldown. Oh, I think... Why are you going to assume that I'm going to have to spam it? I think I'm going to have my allies go down that much? Anna might have poisoned me. More than I like. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. <laughs> a specter? <laughs> I, heard I already have an ego. Into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even I'm out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure I said, or they were attacked. I had the title for two seconds and I'm already like, watch yourself. 
<laughs> any idea why someone would attack them? Put some respect on my name. <laughs> Slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've Aww. got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Brother ship? What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Oh no, Chief, welcome back in, Cosmic. I've been a specter for three seconds, and I'm already having the attitude of one. Reward, authorities? What's in this for me? Oh! I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? The council's have face. To stick together. Uh, does it look like my crew is cheap? Like, having people on my side, I gotta be paying them. I can't just be taking jobs for free. TJ, welcome back in. Yes, Joe, I'm loving it. Day three, I feel a lot better equipped with, like, the information I need. I'm starting to understand it and piecing things together. I'm kind of trying to quiz myself as I go along, Isn't too. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small, independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. I'll do it. I'll see what I can do. Give me the coordinates. I guess this is something where... I'll forward them yeah. to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I'll do this as we go along. Okay, so let's go into the... Oh, maybe I can talk to this guy now, too. So let's go try to talk to this guy. Let's go down to the Spectres. The Spectre Ward or Initiation Spot. And then after that, I think we can head out. No, I haven't spoken to... Oh. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. That's I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Now you'll t talk to me now that I'm a Spectre? How do you know about that? Who are you? Lesnar, thank you so much for 10 months. Sorry, I don't think we've met. Turkeys and cooked jaws. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Again, I can't get over. He looks like he's about to just <laughs> lead the Polar Express all the way to the North Pole. Like, this is just... Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. Oh. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe Fair. you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. But Suddenly, that's not the same ship. Area. Different. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I guess I'm taking as many side missions as possible, but I don't think you can take them all and you don't have to complete them all. I forgot how weird his face looks. <laughs> Damn, doing our dude dirty and Strudel, thanks for the follow. All right. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath though. He was so rude to us before. As soon as I become a specter, everybody wants my help. Everybody. Oh, shoot. Uh, it's up to you. What do you complete? Yeah, I like having all the options and taking as many missions as possible. I don't know if we'll do all of them. I'm going to try my hardest, but yeah. Speedy, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And Tiger, Sander, thanks for the follow. And Tiger Stripe with 30 months. Tiger, thank you so much. Anon with night wait nights here say Nick as well guys thank you for the follows and well or I hope you guys enjoy this stuff in the US. I don't know where my brain's going right now it's on autopilot all right we have a few journals I do want to read about the specters let's go this way first do I need to call the oh okay there it is there it is <laughs> thank you so much Anon okay here we go you quarry what Morgoth? You don't know what this game is? When you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk No, I noticed. It? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? All the time. Really? That's like it feels like a sore subject to talk about. I don't know. Wow. I like my team though. That's very me. King, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Her steps were rocking everything. I know the fountains are very lackluster. You bring up a good point, Bear. 
She's kind of a whiner. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of new crew members. I think we're missing one crew member. Yeah, night kitty. I wonder if I get special treatment now that I'm... Yeah. Maybe the purple egg is... It's the golden egg now? There's no way you can just go back and consult the consort. There's no way. Unless. Why do we have direct access to her chambers? I don't know. Keeper? It was a long time ago, but we were talking about um, the fact that they have such a long life lifespan that most of them were still present when it happened so it is still like so soon it's not even been generations zorak zorak you and jules and falky all resubbed around the same time <gasps> it's locked what ma'am my people used to have ma'am here but zorak thank you so began, much they were no longer welcome it's almost october and we get to use your starting soon screen again all right, so apparently I have no access once I'm a specter. Love the law. My. Yeah, you guys all came in around the same time. But the real question. DBD went. <laughs> no, I think you're too busy playing Overwatch. I don't know. Also, Nick, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and Bearded Bandit with the follow. Nick, thank you. I haven't played in so long either. There was a DBD meetup at TwitchCon. It was really cool. I didn't get to attend, but I was busy getting my butt kicked and went by AJ, but it was so cool. All right, shopkeeper, let's just go over here. Oh, so we need to go back to I, I do want to go back to the club. We need to go to the club to go grab the thing for the reporter, I think, or locations. On the game, I noticed that they made it so that your choices and actions in the first game carry through to the second one. Yes, yes. Core is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Illuminati. It's a walking game. Not really. It's just, it's a, there's a lot of talking and it is moving around to different aspects, but it's all part of the atmosphere. Oh, I can't do that. I keep trying to, but. Oh. The club is back up and running after I just, okay. I have a hard time believing this. Let's try talking to him again. Not now. I'm watching a show. Okay. I guess a nightclub continues on. But we can get back in here. Speedy, you say you gotta get this game again? Okay, so we should have something over here. And then where do we have to go after this? Oh, the Spectre. Yeah. Do Spectres get a discount? Did I pick up? Maybe I did pick up the information that she needed. So I didn't need to go back here. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage. But their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, we need to figure out where the Spectre area is, so... Hmm. I wish you could, like... Hi, I wish you could... You can't switch it. You're, you can only see... I was kind of looking for something like Survivor, where you could switch the level and see exactly where you are. Take a seat and order a cocktail. A mocktail? <laughs> Virgo said he just mentioned me. Oh, I was saying I was getting my butt kicked. Uh, during the DVD meetup, I was getting my butt kicked and went from you. As being, uh, it being back up this quickly after the shootout is accurate? I mean, they've got to continue to make money. I get it. Fair enough. I think we need to go this way if we want to fast travel. Oi. We'll finally get a different view, I think, after today. Got a few more missions to do. The reporter stuff we can probably do along the way. So I'm not going to force that yet. We scanned this keeper. I think we officially have three keepers left. Ian, what's up? Welcome back in. Hmm. What's the fastest way? Hey, let me look the map. Yeah. There is a lot of walking. I don't mind it too much. 
Let's see. Oh, let me talk to her again. She might have new information for us. Word on Skilly. the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking yes, down yeah. Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did of you course. find anything in his and office that could help me? Filthy. I found some discs. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander. For your trouble. Oh, it was only one thing. I can offer more. You owe me. You owe me more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Oh, okay, Say, okay. An interview when my investigation is over. Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else. Absolutely. That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. It's the scratching the hair for me. Uh, you can teleport. Yeah, I'm doing a crappy job at finding the spots to teleport. But yes, you technically can. Mm -hmm. Not the walking games are inherently bad. I play a lot of walking sims, actually, now that I think about it. Does that make you at zero to four IRL Gwent matches? <sighs> I wasn't keeping track. But of course you guys were. I need to go... I need to go like, I'm going to, I'm going to go find like my neighbors. <laughs> I'm going to go ask my neighbor to play. Can I, is your kid interested in playing me in a round of Gwent? I just need a quick win, please. We need to find the specter spots. Uh, this is not Death Stranding. I still need to play that. I hear that it's really good if you can get past the walking. I know. I don't know how I keep losing in person. I mean, I'm playing really good people. AJ was fantastic. I mean, AJ plays the game in person a lot. I still have four games. I need more experience with it. All right, we saw that specter. Where was the... <sighs> Maybe I need to go down this way? Oh, that instantly gives me like tunnel vision. And then she loses. <laughs> I'm going to try to do a rematch with my dad here soon. I think I can beat him. I just need to like... I think I'm just gonna give him some like whiskey before, you know, just make him a little distracted. Oh, we got a codex. I'm drinking a little bit. Losing to Gwent. I lose to a child. I lose to like a four year old playing Gwent. Losing four matches is bad enough. Here's the academy, but this isn't what I need either. Mm. Dad and AJ should face each other. Now that would be an interesting match. That would be something. Admitting to sabotage. <laughs> She needs to take her anger out on someone. Maybe if I didn't lose so much Gwen in real life, I would actually... I have not tried the online Gwen. I have it. I know I have it. We were going to try... You're talking about Thronebreaker? Are you talking about Thronebreaker? I'll take every advantage she can get, even if it's not on the level. <laughs> oh, it was a Gwent prodigy. I need to fast travel. There we go. Okay. I bet you it's it's got to be here. Ward access, embassies, consort chambers, financial district. Wait, let me see if it's now available here. I don't think it's in the ward. I don't think it is because we're right here. So it's got to be. I wonder if it's near the embassies. They said it's down below. Yeah. OK, hold on. AJ is a true witcher. Absolutely. Absolutely. Spectre. I don't even remember getting close to it. Thank you. Gwent tournament would be awesome with Maggie Hastine. That would be really fun to do. I We need to do something in the Discord. It's been way too long since we've done something. Uh, Kale and Gift of Eden and Roman. Guys, thank you for the follows. And I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. I might need to floppy pickle this because I'm getting annoyed with just the map layout. Hold on. Oh, hold on. We're on to something. Emporian Bank. Okay, I know where we are now. Citadel Tower. Spectre? Embassy Lounge. Guys, I don't think it's up here either. Wallace and Elcor's office. Morgoth, I think you'd enjoy it. And there's so much content. And you can often get the legendary version on discount. This is the Academy. This is straight shot to the Academy. I It's, it's so close to me. <laughs> I don't want a floppy pickle yet. Citadel Tower, embassies. I mean, I don't exactly think that 
the Spectre offices would be front and center. Maybe... Hmm. I better re Spectre. If you have Game Pass. Game Pass includes it? Okay, that is so worth it. The amount of content that you can get out of this game. Or Game Pass. Wait. Where am I? Oh. Executor Palin. Hmm. Let's play hot or cold. Yeah. Let's do hot or cold. <laughs> We're looking for the Spectre office. It says right here. Oh. The missing stuff. The fan. You've been approached by Conrad Werner. I also think I lost my opportunity to see Conrad. Yeah. Spectre status. Speak to the ambassador. Never mind, just just kidding. You're hot and you're cold. All right, go over here, other side. Talk to the ambassador. Back over here. I thought they said something about a special sector area. Why does everybody run away from me? Lum, thanks for the follow. Yeah, Buns, a lot of people are speaking highly of Mass Effect 2, so. And if I enjoyed this one, imagine how much better. Oh, if it just keeps getting better with each one. I think this is where they would be. PC Game Pass gives you a bunch of free EA games. But you have to reinstall the... Yeah, you have to install the EA app. Yeah, I'm having to run this from that. Yeah. I think this had been gifted to me on like um, a sale or something. I can't remember when I picked it up. Lukewarm? They're not over here though. They're somewhere else. No. I'm being ghosted. <laughs> the specter herself. Oh, okay. Oh, fat lazy. Yeah, we were doing hot and cold, not like direct answer. But I do appreciate it. I know you're just trying to, yeah. Yeah, unless I say floppy pickle, then you guys can answer uh, straight up. Tell me, do you really wanna? Mm -hmm. Playing BG3? BG3. Oh, Alder's Gate? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. It came back. It came back online. Ho ho ho. I think you got it for free sometime last year if you had Amazon, Twitch, or Prime. Wait, maybe that's how I picked it up? No, I think I already had it because I think somebody had told me about that, but I already had it maybe. Yeah. Spazzy, enjoy the exercise. CSEC. You're right. The offices. That would make so much sense because they're a subdivision. No. Are they a subsidiary of. No. I think it's just where a lot of the offices are. Is it bad, 40? I never actually navigate it unless I'm opening up a game from Steam and it automatically loads with it. Ah. You're right. Traffic control. Did I go down to traffic control? Requisition office. I've never done a Baldur's Gate. This is where that is. I think it's been free a few times, and I'm, I'm honestly amazed by that. This series and this series in Witcher often goes on sale, and for how much content you get, if you can snag it on sale, I mean, I would pay for both of these games full price. But obviously, if you can snag it for free, it's so worth it. I wonder if he'll say anything new. Oh, oh, I did scan this little bug. Is there anything I can steal from him? No. Can I talk to him again? Hello, Commander. Oh, Show he's just got. the supply guy. So, well, That's right. I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. I think I'll be going. Oh, sure thing, Commander, you have a good. There must have been different dialogue right there. F1 2023, but I'm learning EA launcher is mandatory. Oh, for the formula formula. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. What is like Baldur's Gate? What is? Hold on, I think it's right here. Cause this will take us docking bay. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong <sighs> investigates ever... corruption. Have on we the gone Citadel to the docking bay? Uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. <gasps> nice. She got the story for it, and she uncovered it. Morgoth, thanks for the follow. Rag as well, guys. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the playthrough in the channel. Whoa, we have not been in the docking bay. Hold up. 
Oh. Oh, dang. Okay. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet. And Anderson. You know the Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I love him. It's an RPG, not actually related to one and two. That's another that falls under the category of Diablo for me, where it's something that it's always like piqued my interest, but I've never actually taken the time to dive into it. Thomas, I saw and bomb. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. Space dad. What's going on? Forced retirement? This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. But why? There's more Come to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering oh. me for the Spectre. Oh, I love that we never, like, forced him to explain this information. Like, he told us this on his own accord. You should have told me what went wrong. You had this from me. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Mm. I had my shot. It came and went. Saren. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Ah. Any word on Saren, Saren will pay. You can count on me. It does feel like a space dad. There's still only one death from the particular incident <laughs> jeopardized. Yeah. The normally, yeah, the Normandy feels like it belongs to him. Shepard is pointing towards Nina and stares at Anderson. Am I pointing towards? I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports She's of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Well, look around his but nose. If they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. Is that it? I'm on it. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other mm -hmm. voice in that recording. She has a daughter, <gasps> a daughter. A scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See mm -hmm. what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh, I'll start there. I'll start Pharos. I kind of want to start with that. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. The purple egg. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. Aww. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Thank you. I'll be careful. It might be necessary. That's your job. Didn't say I was going to make it easy for him. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. <laughs> He's like you're already a I have a having an inflated ego. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. What? Renegade plus two? Why? Because I said some of those comments? I feel like this is so... Nah, come on. Really? Please. Oh my goodness, it's happening. I almost have two full ticks. <laughs> I think this makes it even more interesting. It almost would be better to not even know about the Renegade versus Paragon part because I, I, I truly am answering how I would answer in real life and so it'll be interesting to see which side I, I fall on. It's your job to control chat, not me. <laughs> I handle the game, you handle chat, mods. Weema, hello. All right, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, we're gonna get started exploring. We've got a little bit more time, so don't. I'm not about to end or anything like that. Yeah, I just wanna follow what I would answer. Like, I think that will make for the most 
fun and enjoyable playthrough and it's going to keep you guys on your toes. I think it would be really hard for me in my heart to be solely Paragon or solely Renegade. It feels very much Fable-esque. Oh, there's the first time. There it is. First time I tell it. <laughs> it reminds me of Fable because there's a good versus bad system, you know? Battle pass, enjoy dinner. All right, I'll be right back. I have to make up for how nice I am to you guys by doing a Renegade run, you know? Ashley would make a good Spectre. I'm out. I'm out. I'll be right back. I left. Okay. I left her dried food at my dad's and it ran out of it here. So I had to just open like a can of tuna for her. So I'll run to the store after. But what is, what are you guys doing? What happened? You can't put the cast it on C. Okay. Mike with the cowboy hat, there is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just gotta remind me to do that. I'm glad I was able to do, I had like one can of tuna left, but I'm glad I had something for her. There she goes with her fable references. <laughs> I know, guys, what happened? Aries, thank you for the hunter bits. Nothing. I'm still in the menu. Great. Orion. Guys. She never turns on to Yeah, but I just quickly like gave her a bunch in the can. Great. Herb, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Render with the follow. Wolverine. Great. With 19 more gifted subs to the channel and community. Bear. 40. 40. Why the seven? <laughs> Clout. Night Kitty, thank you for the gifted sub as well. We're gonna keep hearing that noise. Clout creep bear. Gross. Ugh. Why are you guys doing this? Like, it's uh, it's been three streams of madness, utter madness. I came for Mags. I stayed for Mags. The chair is working harder than me. That's for sure. Chat owns this channel. I don't agree with this, but I, I'm afraid that you're right. And two raids. P PC Patty, thank you so much for the raid and welcome in, guys. What is happening today? Patty. <laughs> Pyro, yes, what a stream. We were only gifting Prime so <laughs> Patty, thank you so much. Sorry, came in late, but which Mass Effect? I'm doing Mass Effect 1. Phoenix, welcome in. Nuka Cola, hi. The fact I hear more about chat than gameplay. That's fair. It says a lot, to be honest. I thank you so much. Welcome in, PC. Yeah, we just got back. No, chat is acting a fool. I just got back. I had to feed my cat. Um, but guys, thank you so much for all of the gifted subs. And PC, thank you for the raid. What were you just playing? Chaos, thank you for the follow. I see Gorilla, welcome in. Mm. Just set a sub goal for each stream if reached end stream. No, that wouldn't put a stop to them. Unfortunately, no matter what I do, they will rise up and find a way to exploit weaknesses within me. Cast, thank you so much for the 250 bits as well. Thank you. Yeah, Tor, welcome in. Yeah, guys, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid again, Patty. If you guys are new, welcome in. My name is Casta. We're doing our first ever playthrough of Mass Effect. I know, I have no, like I had absolutely no idea what this game was about, which makes it even more unique in that way. I somehow avoid all game spoilers, no matter how many years it's been since the original. I think a little bit of it is my goldfish memory my goldfish brain but yes we are starting this up for the first time we just found out that we're a specter or we just became a specter so the real game's about to begin but other than that i like cats taco bell the gym and sometimes since we're a specter to celebrate i thought there's no laws when you're drinking claws and when you're above the law you truly are a specter i'm a specter for five minutes and i'm already thinking i'm above the law the queue for free subs is over there great no, Saf, thank you for the follow, and Night Kitty, thank you so much for the four gifted subs to the channel and community as well. You guys. Wide thigh gaps? Look, skies out, thighs out. That's all I'm gonna say. OG, welcome back in. Don't like dogs? What do you mean don't like dogs? We're just on normal difficulty. We also are going Vanguard. 
So Taco Bell and the gym, they are you like they they go together. Hold on, let me dump this out real quick. Um, I loves. Thank you so much and welcome back. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm like extremely out of breath from talking and I think just from like whatever soreness is I don't know what's happening. I didn't have this the past few days, so it's a little concerning. I heard cats, no mention of dogs. I just don't have a dog. I guess I like cats and dogs, but I love the movie Cats and Dogs. No, I just don't own any dogs. Ginger has to live out her dying day, her, the rest of her life. She, <laughs> she needs to have a nice, enjoyable last few years, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Taco Bell and Jim sounds like my college experience. I'm just prolonging it. I told you guys, <laughs> I told you guys this story, right? Why was I in the squad mo menu, by the way? I forget what it was, but whenever I did a gut intelligence test where you have to like send in your your information so they can test it, I came back with, while I, I think I was 24 when I did the test, it came back with a biological age of 17. And I realize now the night before I sent in my test stuff, I had been playing video games and eating Taco Bell. So I feel like that says it all right there, you know? I have not seen the movie Cats. I have not. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I think let's listen to the journals. Let's actually before, oh, keeper. Keeper, keeper. Atachi, it was an amazing trip. It was phenomenal. It was more interacting than I had it had in like probably since before COVID, but it was fantastic. Other than getting something, there's something I got from it. Cats and dogs is real cinema. I want to watch that movie again, honestly. Codex. All right, let's listen. Let's see. I come back and cast is talking about Ginger Dot. No, I'm not. I'm just saying she has, everybody's got an expiration date, okay? Just because you think yours is further out than hers. Everybody's got one. Oh my God. All right. These are our journals. Let me go to Codex. There we go. You know, we don't actually have that many primaries. Combat. What? A mass, a mass accelerator propels a solid slug using precisely controlled electromagnetic no cats in America. and repulsion. The slug is designed to squash or shatter on impact, increasing the energy it transfers to the target. If this were not the case, it would simply punch a hole right through, doing minimal damage. Accelerator design was revolutionized by Element Zero. A slug lightened by a mass effect field can be accelerated to greater speeds permitting projectile velocities that were previously unattainable. If accelerated to a high enough velocity, a simple paint chip can impact with the same destructive what? force as a nuclear weapon. However, mass accelerators as a nuclear produce weapon? recoil equal to their impact energy. This is mitigated somewhat by the mass effect fields that rounds are suspended within. But weapon recoil is still the prime limiting factor on slug velocity. Slug velocity. Are you talking about the, you're talking about the movie cats that's based off of the Broadway cats? And Elbra, thanks for the follow, welcome in. And Sean, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. The saga, the saga caster. All modern infantry weapons from pistols to assault Small rifles arms. use micro scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass reducing field, accelerated mm. by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. pressure. Then shears off an appropriate sized slug from the block. A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. And Top that explains it, okay. also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a wow calm day that's at really cool range. smart targeting does not mean a bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled it only makes it easier for the marksman man to aim. so i've had aim assist on this whole time eric welcome in i believe you got brought here in a raid uh yeah zoic everything that they explain for this is phenomenal Crash and also NS guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. All right, I was expecting more entries for that. Aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think
think we're all beggars and thieves. And thieves. Oh, guys, check it out. By the way, we have two more. I think somebody even said that there would be two that are really difficult to get. Yeah. St. John. I know. This hoodie was amazing. It's the, It was the only thing that I got at, at TwitchCon. Stand like, by oh. shore party. Oh, no. Contamination oh. in progress. Oh. Oh. Heard what happened to Captain okay, Anderson. never mind. Okay. Survives a hundred battles and then gets I'm taken out. down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Joker's voice. Who? What? What else does Joker's voice do? Because I've definitely heard him before. The guy reads for National Geographic. It sounds very David Attenborough-esque. Tally's accent. Yes, Seth Green. Okay. What? What? He's done a ton. What's like a main thing? Chris from Family Guy. Yes. Okay. Doesn't he do? Isn't Seth Green like most of Family Guy's voices, or is that somebody else? Robot Chicken. Ah. Mostly Family Guy. You can hear it. You can hear it. Like he has like that. Yeah. Oh, Seth McF McFarland. That's right. He does most of the voices. But yes, Seth Green does everything. This feels wrong. I don't want to show doubt in front of my crew. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. Oh, it's like I'm anyway. stealing the ship from him. From Buffy? Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I, uh... I, I haven't seen Austin Powers. Diecast often when I'm not on stream? No, I'd probably say it's the same amount. I'll say like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit in real life too. Yeah, I know. Don't let, I knew this was going to start something. I need to be honest with them. Now we do things my way. I knew this, this Commander was. Shepard speaking. Get it we out. Have our orders. Let me hear it. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Humanity must do its part. Elden Prime was just the start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Saren can't hide from us. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever done. I love the music right the here. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. He doesn't matter anymore? Oh my gosh, you can go so mean with this. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I love that part. And we went Paragon. We went Paragon. Hey, you guys. Welcome in. Uh, Aries. Yeah, I haven't seen Austin Powers. You guys know I'm not really good with movies. I haven't seen a lot. Bear with the gift of to Austin Powers. Cue ball, hi. Uh, I also haven't really seen Robot Chicken, but I did recognize him from Chris. Yeah, I was kind of bummed I gave up early on this, so I'll watch this instead. You should go back and play for yourself. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Thanks, Cake. <laughs> I know, I have a crush on my own Commander Shepard. <laughs> All right. I mean, I guess we're going to continue on. We're going to continue on forward. I'm really bad at watching movies, but I'm just not like I I don't know. I guess I guess I just grew up not watching a lot of movies when I was a kid. Now that I think about it. So whatever things I did watch as a child, I cling to them obsessively, like same way that I clung to Fable for forever until I started streaming and played so many different games. It's the same thing. Like, I mean, Lord of the Rings is incredible, but I, I bring it up all the time as if it's like the single best trilogy ever. And it it is phenomenal, but it's mostly because that's one of the most popular movies that I've seen. Oh, for sure, Lord of the Rings. It, oh, it's definitely up there. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Let's go to journal and see what we're supposed to do. 
We have a couple of different approaches we can take as well. Has starred in more than 100 movies and shows and done voice acting in 16 games. What other voices and games are he? Is he in? Best trilogy you're playing in. <laughs> yeah, if you can only consume so much. You can only consume so much content as one person. And I feel like every single person kind of, it's hard to find a balance. Um, I feel like a lot of people have one primary source of content that they watch. For me, I probably, I would consume TV shows more. I definitely consume games the most now, but second would be TV shows. And then I would say reading and then movies. I think movies kind of, movies kind of comes last. Uh, strange transmissions, we're gonna need to check that out. But Citadel, you have been approached by, yeah. Privateers. We can do these missing, yeah. The missing survey team, that's right. And then we need to find, okay. I guess we can take any of these, right? Explore the uncharted world of Artemis. Hmm. Head to Noviria and then Pharos. So I guess we'll eventually do all of these. Movie on the plane. No, I didn't watch a single movie on the plane. Random number generator to choose which games I play because I used to do Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Jade, Empire, and Coder on loop. So I this I actually this is the only one of those that I played, and I only just now played it. Let's exhaust our dialogue with this. I did love Harry Potter. I did. My favorite TV show. I always go back to like the same ones. Like I always watch Gilmore Girls back to back. I love like happy, good feeling TV shows. It's just like something I can put on in the background while I'm doing something. Commander, something you need? Uh, I just want to talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school. I like I that confidence. That. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Oh, his still thing is Normandy because he loved this one so much. I didn't mean to insult you. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean, you mean you didn't know? No. Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, oh. too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. It's very dramatic. Put the Normandy in my hands, and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Oh, I don't like that image. Sue, I don't like that image either. No, I was reading. I read a lot. I slept and I read on my flights. Twizzler. Yeah, her eyes do look a little crazy when we're looking down like that. I try not to think about it. How do you get your nickname? Ooh, yes. Well, he is kind of funny, so it makes sense. Alex and Philip, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Jeff Plus, I love Moreau. to make my children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. And now he just always smiles? Girl Scout. Best auntie, thank you so much for the reset for seven months in a row. Were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. I gotta stop smiling. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. Aww. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Yeah, I feel like growing up, he probably got bullied. I need to know more about this Rolex syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. Oh. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows the exactly what sick. causes it. setup is sick. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, oh. ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science is oh, there you go. a productive member of society. I mean, still not as good as it probably could be, um, you know, with the technological advancements, but I, I think there's still just limitations no matter how much technology you create. Not to make you uncomfortable. Oh. Let's talk about something else. Okay, there we go. Whatever you want, Commander. Darth Jawa, speaking of Jawas, Darth Jawa, thank you so much for the reset for 18 months in a row and welcome back in. It has been great having you be a part of the community. 
All right, that's pretty much it. I have to go. All right, see ya. Ragnaros, hi. All right, I want to fully explore the ship as much as possible. Airlock, I'm out. Oh, oh, this is if we, oh, so you use the airlock if you want to head out. <gasps> cool, oh, I can't back out. I can't back out. Uh, I'm stuck in the menu. We are headed out. All right, we're taking Rex and we're taking, can I take uh, only ever two people? I, it wouldn't let me back out. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Where are we Logged. going? The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, okay. It's just, okay. We were just headed back out, which is good. Cause I think, was there anything else I wanted to explore? I want to find these last two ones. Whoa, we've got shadows. Exo Presley has the deck. Well, let's go to the next spot. I do want to find those last two keepers, but I think you guys said that I have a feeling they're going to be really difficult unless I floppy pickle for them and I'm not willing to do it yet. Back into it. Nice seeing the ship, but time for core is done. Stand by shore party. Shore party. Decontamination in progress. They have to clean our necks. Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Okay, so we talked to him. Let's Exo talk to Presley talk to as relieved. much of our crew as possible. Oh, there's another person we can talk to in here. Who is it? Oh, navigator Presley. <gasps> we can now. Yes. Oh. <gasps> no, I need to Captain save. Thank you. Thank you. you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Herb, thanks. Understood, ma'am. We knew he wasn't a big fan of aliens to begin with. Personal. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. Agincourt? We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. Mm. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. Hmm, Terrace, we're not going solid one way or the other. It's just kind of a little bit of both. It depends on the situation. I feel like it's not as simple as one or the other. Shro and Lunar guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. And now you're How'd here. How you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. Yeah. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Oh. Uh, I didn't like the mail. I think a lot of people say it's up to the voice as well. Oh man, yeah. It's not just our problem. Never turn away help. It isn't just our problem. That is true. Terrace, it's your favorite one, the first one. I hear a lot of good things about the second this one. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, <laughs> Commander, this won't be a problem. Okay. If he says it's not going to be a problem, I'm going to trust him on that. I was saying that the last one to two would be difficult. They aren't special. I just mean in general. Yeah, because we would have to individually go throughout the entire Citadel, which we can do that. I think what I'll do is explore... I want to explore some of the other worlds a little bit Carry and on, then yes, and then come back and find the last two ones. Renegade plus two? What did I say that was wrong? I can't win. I cannot win. I can't. I launch. Real-time elevators. Uh, Britt Berlin, thanks for the follow and welcome in. And Big J, has it been six months? I feel like you've been here for forever. Big J, you fit right into the community. Thank you so much for the continual support. They streamlined ME2 too much. Interesting. Also, if you guys are new, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, or anything that could point towards um, or like alter a decision. This should be my quarters, right? I think this is my quarters now. Yeah, because this used to be where Anderson would go. I don't even know when I'm being ruthless, SR1. Oh no. Every time I try to be nice or answer how I would normally answer, I just end up going more renegade. You didn't say anything wrong. You were just hard ass for some of the responses. <gasps> oh, 
Kaden, I missed you. Baby. I happen to now have a Anything you need, Commander? I wish Sonon was in this. Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Nat, hi. I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Oh. Right. I will wait for those personal debriefings. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any <laughs> other Alliance ship could have been. Kaden is an absolute professional while saying we're going to have some personal debriefings later. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Johnny. Johnny, I hope you enjoyed the sub and the emotes. Y'all have just been way too nice. I'm suspicious. You guys have been so nice the last three days. I feel like it's the calm before the storm. We're romancing Kaden too. I'm going to romance everybody because I have a feeling if I romanced as many people as possible in this playthrough, I might be able to turn back the wheels of time and not have everybody think that I hate romance. You know, if I make up for it all in one game, maybe you guys won't hold this against me anymore. <laughs> Tactical appraisal. Goodbye, Lucky. Okay. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Okay. Let's see. The sleeper pod. Ooh. Codex, sleeper pod. Gonna romance nobody in ME, just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, uh, hmm. I guess I wouldn't say what we did yesterday was romancing. I didn't even know it was happening before it was too late, so I don't think I was romancing her yesterday. Great, no. <laughs> Medigel, great with the gifted sub, too. <laughs> Do you say to Halo? Envy. I I would yeah, I wouldn't say romance, but things were things were things were transmitted in that exchange. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I do like do this doctor. How did you end up serving on an enlisted oh, right? I've already uh, asked her these the questions. Humanity needs the alliance if we want to keep expanding. Kaden, ask her about Kaden. And the alliance always needs good doctors. It's one time. So I stayed on to do my part. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. That's right, he is an L2, and we even talked about that earlier. I just want to reiterate this, so I'm gonna ask her again. I know we answered this yesterday, but- What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the L2, L2 configuration. Okay. Goodbye, yeah. Commander. Okay, I remember right now. I'm looking to make it 13 accommodation medals. Kaden, I can tell you real quick how you can earn a medal. Real quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, let's, uh, what are you guys doing? Where's the kitchen? I want food. Tell me where the kitchen is. Activate the elevator. <laughs> All you have to do is I will even let you, I will give you a shaving waiver if you grow a beard right now, Kaden. <laughs> One beard over and over. Let's see. Oh, Rex is down here. Oh! Fraternization is against the UCMJ now. Whoa. I will never have my own chair in HR. I will, I'm going to start having my own chair in HR. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. The DDG party. to understand why you humans have been so successful. No kidding, revolver. I had no idea alliance vessels were so advanced. This ship is special. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board into the one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. <laughs> so you say you're into ships. Andrea, hi, how's it going? Happy Monday. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant <sighs> fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most <laughs> valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. 
We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I'm like, Rayman, is that so... <laughs> it's the broken record. <laughs> all that we need is a deeper voice of Stash and a cowboy hat and Sonin's replaced. <laughs> I can't believe your fleet is still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, oh. and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. The Draw tortilla. food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw mm. materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. That's really cool. I mean, that is a cool premise to like go out and find something. I don't think that I would come back with anything useful. I'd probably come back with like some kind of new food. <laughs> go back to Earth, find Taco Bell, bring it back to them. I can't unhear Tortilla now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the number one thing that I was thinking of. Parachute. <laughs> also, Burn, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Uh, oh, yes, I do want to hear more about this, though. I'm not talking about the purple egg. Hmm. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. It is cool that they must always some move. Way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Hmm. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Oh, like what? Downward, welcome back in. Want to see the ship parts I have back? No! <laughs> what kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. Mm. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. It's a of delicate course, balance. We also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives, incentives. are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. The protein torta. The Conclave? That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet the music, as a whole. yeah, the mood music. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Oh. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Hmm. It's such an interesting group. Oh, I love the suit. Yeah, for the suit's awesome. And there's something, well, one, the music here is really cool. I, I do want to note that. Three high as well, Kip. Um, it's something about seeing the eyes, but not fully seeing it. That just adds to its spookiness. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice. The and you can almost see the bridge in the nose. Council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. Mm. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. Oh, but what constitutes a case to of emergency? So requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. What? It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. In three centuries? The Geth, the Pilgrimage. I do want to hear more about, but I think we already asked this one. What are y'all? Y'all are 3,000. What are you doing? When my people reach maturity, we leave our I wish we could take the mask off. The new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a mm. pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families. The flotilla. Us. We only return once we have found something of value 
we can bring back to the fleet. But who, like this each individual person gift. determines Captain what's of value. The respective ship we wish to join. Mm. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Oh, there's no shot that they always accept it. Egg high. Do I want to know what? I, so I think you. Well, one, I already tried to take the mask off, but two, I think they already talked about how it's like suspicious to take the mask off. Like they don't know fully what. I think a little bit of it at this point is like suspicion as to what they'll find underneath. There's no way. Captain choose to reject the gift. Girl Scout, that good night. Happen often. Most captains are eager this is to the increase way. the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Oh, having more faith. Oh. Even when the gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Okay. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Sounds dangerous. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Oh? Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. Despite always being on the move? Fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all- History, clients. do another one. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. Okay. Talk about something else. Let's talk about the Geth, because I think like she does what? know some information about that. No one cared who they were until they took the mask off. <laughs> the, uh, Tally has a lot of information, but that seems on par with her character. They seem like a very intelligent species. Um... Yeah, Wima, exactly. It's not just random lore. Like it it feels like it effort, effortlessly like binds with how they act or they present themselves or how their speech is as well. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost 3 centuries since they, they did create the Geth. Yeah. Exile. Yeah. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them and how they turned on us. Mmm, Cloud, have a good night. You are insane. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, I hope that we see you on Thursday. If not, have a great rest of your week. Good night. The master is still okay if you want or need. Still okay to use if you want to need. What do you mean? Because I thought you can't, you can't take the mask off. You can turn the mask off for my own character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big J, thank you for the hydrate. She wears the mask because of COVID. Oh, yeah. You're seeing why we love this universe and characters. Well, I really like a consistent plot and consistent characters and something that doesn't feel like it was rushed. Nothing about this first game seems rushed at all. Like it seems so intricate and just insane details. Like does this kind of stuff even get created anymore? I mean, when we think about Starfield, do you think it's even gonna come close to, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Wait for the second one and the third one. I know I'm so excited. Automated manual labor force. Initially, oh, manual labor force. As limited as any VI. Oh. Over and time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Hmm. How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. Actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. That's but a tricky thing we game. Underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Oh, okay, I want to ask both of these though. The neural network, but then also why did they turn on them? But yeah, I love how I love how they even said like it was so minuscule. It was the tiniest changes, but then added together when you have like a hive mind, they didn't do it. <laughs> we have more space opera type games like Mass Effect. Uh, do you feel like Starfield is gonna fill that void and add to it? So assholes and Budweisers and men, guys, thanks for the followers, welcome in. 
I'm gonna ask about this one and hopefully I can ask about why they turned on us too. The Geth share brain power? Is it one single writer for the entire Many game? The no, Durnham. No way. Concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. Like a hive mind. The Skynet. Battlestar Galactica? I want to go back and rewatch that. Because I watched that when I was like 14, maybe? 14, 15? Was the best of the DLC. The Geth was the best of all of the DLCs. Also bad and cake, guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in as well. So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like, like there's that. an implant in my neck. It's itching right now. Data or information. Okay, not a hive mind. That much simultaneous input. Each get maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But mm. when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Primeval. Mass Effect feels the most unfinished to me as it has many repeating assets and missions that the two later games don't have. Only the main mission story feels free of this to me. Versus all of the side missions? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, we're talking about the Quarians now, too. Oh, thank you, Wraith. I actually need that. I always forget. Okay. I don't get it. Why did they turn on what you? Made them rebel? I feel like I kind of understand a little bit. As we built more and more Geth, their oh. effective intelligence became more sophisticated, uh. more abstract. One day, more sophisticated. a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Mm. As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What happened next? Why? I don't see what's so bad about those questions. But it's not in their, the or what they thought they had programmed. Yeah, it's not for them to think. Manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. BSG. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. Mm. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Wait, Poach, what do you mean ancient Twitter were? Poach Panther, thanks for the follow, by the way. The main story is the best one in this one. A BSG, I'm not following along. What did you expect? It was your fault. They defended themselves. You didn't really think they just Execute let you destroy order. them without a fight, did you? It's true. Oh, battle struggle act. Was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Mm. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the veil. Now, Detroit we drifted through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Ah. It is interesting. So many common themes. Uh, yes, I did enjoy Battlestar Galactica, but I couldn't tell you anything about it anymore other than fracking. I don't remember anything. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I want to rewatch that and Castle. Oh my gosh, I used to love Castle. But I pretty much like anything that Nathan Fillion's in, including Firefly, which I need to read, watch that too. Yeah, I was thinking about that. A lot of it is, um, I feel like there's like this boundary that pushes where it's, it's, you know, being productive, but and efficient but to the point of getting greedy at at some point where it's like, you just don't want to do any of the work. And I feel like that's that this line that it kind of crosses over. When they canceled Castle, I know, I know. They defend themselves, investigate, it serves you right. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. A species they created. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. Uh, if we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. Two and three were EA after it. Form. They have no uh, use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? 
Sorry, I'm not surprised. Not everyone. Kill Saren. That's true. What does that tell that is an you? exception. The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They are the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. Hmm. There's a lot to unpack there. Like a lot more than just that conversation talked about before. Lindsley, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row. And welcome back in. I hope you're doing well. Did you have to work today? Yes, a magic, I, the magic conch, by the way, love the name. Uh, I actually played, I'd never played the first Destiny, I played Destiny 2 um, when it first came out and I like grinded it for a while. I should go. She is a raid carry. See you later. <laughs> Maybe back in the day, I was way more, like when it first came out, the first year Destiny 2 came out, I was all over it. And then I just started, I kind of stopped playing games that I felt like I had to nurture to keep up with it. I don't want to have to always read patch notes. I don't want to have to just like, I don't want to blink and feel like I've missed 10 updates, you know? Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I don't know if we should be worried about that or not. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. DC. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart oh. as she is. Give her a month on board and the she'll know more version. about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Investigate that? Ooh, personal questions. Oh, I love diving into their personal questions first. Six to two, one hour of sleep. So I woke up from accidental four hour nap. You hibernated, Lindsley. You absolutely hibernated. Also, RV, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. You claim that there was one in a six chance of what, Orion? I missed that. One in a six chance of something, something. AI destroying humanity this century. <sighs> Where my phone is going to stab down? me in my sleep. In a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates. I'd like to see a dreadnought. Me. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. The Normandy. To be on Maggie's crew, you have to have the, <laughs> you have to have the tea spell. Stealth systems. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up, unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No huh. emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. Oh, jeez. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. That makes sense. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. FTL speeds? Also, Heat, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you and Wei and Knows Nobody, welcome in. Why doesn't it work with faster thank than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors oh, faster can pick than up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight. But for short range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. It just bothers me because I feel like I get it saying FTL is shorter than faster than light, but just say faster than light flight. Well, I guess I can see. Okay, faster than light flight. I guess it's a mouthful, but it's just. I just hate all the acronyms. Why I lived in it. I hate it. Why do we have so many acronyms? <laughs> in the words of the famous, space is vast. Really effing vast. <laughs> Rain, hi, how's it going? Disabled cheese and sim guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. It does seem to be extraordinary, like Normandy specifically. Mm-hmm. It's a normal acronym. I just feel like it's not needed. You know? It's not <laughs> it's not that. Uh, faster than light flight. I just like the way that it sounds instead of FTL. It isn't ME specific. I don't know if I've ever heard that really. Faster than sound. Is it FTS then? Faster than sound. The sound barrier. This is military. We all have these acronyms. I know this one isn't specifically. I don't think this even popped up in the military acronyms. I got an acronym overdose in the USAF. Yeah, I think there is a part of me that got out and I was like, can we not just say what we're thinking? Just supersonic? Just say supersonic? I'm just gonna... <laughs> just 
say soup. I want it to be even shorter, though. BLT. The BLT over the FTL. Uh, I'm really trying to leave it by me. Truly, right, man? Say it a million times during combat. Gotta abbreviate. We're, we're, okay, I can see that. I'm in like a, in a hurry situation. It's like when you say cat card all the time. Cat card. The UAPs. <laughs> He's like, let me just add to this. Just add to the inferno. Also, yes, WTS, the weak thumb syndrome. Of course, of course. J Money and Sim, guys, thanks. Oh, I already said hi to Sim, but guys, thank you and welcome in. You know how many times in my career I've said cat card? Cat card. <laughs> Uh, because you're not going into... I'm not going to be in an FTL fight, flight, fight, flight. Ah, oh, see, I'm already getting confused. All right, we did that one. Let's ask about Normandy. I want to know more about the Normandy. I did, I, I did, I did. The best ship I've ever on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. <laughs> She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. Drive core? Tantalus? What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster... We can run at FTL speeds longer before we at have to FTL, BLT speeds. All right, I think that's it for him. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your radiation into frequencies you can't mass. Presumably, if your ship you're hiding from is behind you, your signature is red shifted into frequencies that are easier to mask. Cake? Cake, we're dealing on my, my brain is running. <laughs> it's almost been five hours. You guys know this is... I find that... um. <laughs> There's so much information that's being thrown at me that by five hours, I'm like, I got off stream yesterday and I was like, the information overload, unreal. Today feels a little bit better. Today's a lot, oh, Rex. Today's a lot better though. What's more annoying than saying cat card is the guy that corrects you on it. Also true. So, so true. I just thought about somebody instantly. Kinza. I got cake. I heard cake and instantly got hungry. I am hungry too. That's the thing too. And I can't get that sound alert out of my head. Whoa. Oh, you can pop into their lockers. Okay, we do want to start equipping our our squad. Bookhouse, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Go on a pil pilgrimage from the tortilla and Normandy travels the BLT speeds. Who's hungry? You tell me. Rex needs a posture check. Rex Shepherd, Rex Shepherd. Are we trying to ship Rex and Shepherd? P I O O T S. Pull it out of the sky. Pull. I don't think that I've never had as bad of a moment on stream than that. Honestly. Yeah. A G. I don't think his posture. Do you think is that just? That's just armor and padding on his thighs. Do you think his body actually... D what is happening here? Do you see like how it indents? Is that how his body actually goes? Or is that just the... Is that just the armor? Where it goes like... Caden access card? I do have a debriefing later. Pokin, find out! <laughs> they have massive traps. Is that just his traps? Oh, Rex baby got back. <laughs> How, how, welcome back in. You're wearing a sweater, it's giving me stress with how hot it is. I know, I think for people that don't have aircon, it's like blowing their mind that I'm wearing a hoodie in the middle of winter, but it's actually freezing in my house right now. I don't want to see Krogan naked. <laughs> no, stupid. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? He ain't skipping leg day, that's for sure. Story, Rex. I do want to hear his There's story. No story. Don't look at me like that. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. I did just talk to her and we had a long, long conversation. Robert, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. And I hope I see you Thursday. Next stream's on Thursday. Mr. X. It's hot as hell. Carson, I'll see you guys welcome in. Come on, just a short one. Don't be an ass. Mmm. Let me do this one. Let's do just a short one. Come on. Just a you short one. Live for a little bit. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this Wait. one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. 
Rex, <laughs> Rex's humor. I don't even think he's trying. I don't even know his bluntness. Kassad, Kassad, what's up? Welcome in. Big deal. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Oh, do I keep pressing this? Oh! It isn't. Sure it is. Well, I gotta stick with it at this point. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. I can't save it. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection? that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth. Okay, when you put it like that. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species. God, I still want to push it further. Okay, go this way. I see your point. I see your point. It isn't all the same. I don't expect you oh. to understand, but don't compare <laughs> humanity's fate with the Krogan. Touchy <laughs> subject. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. <laughs> Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. Uh, As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Uh huh. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Oh, okay. I do want to investigate that. Sorry, I just wanted to add a little bit of chaos. It had been a while since I felt. I, it had been a while since I went renegade. That was my idea of a conversation, talking about a very touchy subject with him. I don't know, Turtle. I'm just kind of going wherever the wind blows me per conversation. I do like him, so I think it also depends on how much I like the person. So... Extinction. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Oh, interesting. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. Mm. They made it. I forgot it was the Solarians. I know we talked oh, about that I at know. the beginning. It makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Um, yeah. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. It's like something within their blood, I suppose? Dun dun dun. You antagonize people that you like often? May I, no, I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay, I shouldn't have gone renegade with him. I'm sorry. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you oh. saw a Krogan scientist? You That's asked fair. the Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. Uh. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. I think that's pretty much it for his conversation. Steer, great job. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it was because he like said it so point blank and I wanted to give him like a point blank response back and it just wasn't oh, the right yes. time. Shepard. Why couldn't Krogan do it? I feel like Krogan should be the scientist. Maybe we can find a scientist to help them. Maybe by the third one, we find a way to help them out, you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, now this person, I don't mind being a renegade too. I know he's mad at me. I know. And they beat them a few times. The Krogans were basically mid. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, hey, we found you. Go obliterate this other species. And then we're also gonna punish you guys. The mistakes will haunt you for the rest of the games. I actually do need to save. Thank you for telling me that. Rex is actually a very sensitive person, and I need to remember that because I will always have Rex on my team. Ashley, I can use and abuse. Commander. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? She always looks suspicious. I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. I am your commanding specter officer. We're going to talk right now. What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... We tried to get there sooner. That we'd saved your unit? Stop dwelling? 
I'm going full renegade on this bitch. They died, you lived. That happens in this job. Yes, Commander. Believe me, I understand that. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Be more alert. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Why do I hate her so much? I'm sorry, Commander. I'm I need stuck to on my duties. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Be more alert. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Did you hear the ma'am? The tone in that ma'am? Maggie's so mean. <laughs> you guys just like, oh, I love Garrus. Okay. Clark, thanks for the follow welcome. No, guys, that didn't even impact. Did you see any renegade points? Romancer? No. Lufa, why are you yelling at me? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with this- I'm not trolling. In life at CSEC. I'm answering honestly. If she's gonna be sassy to me, I'm gonna be sassy right back to her. Garrus, I love Garrus, I do. Ashley is out of line from that. <laughs> she was mean from the start. I'm just telling us that we should have done a better job to get there. We tried our damn best. No one ever gives Ashley a chance. <laughs> we go straight to romance or no. Tumu, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. <laughs> that find Ashley interesting, at least in this game. We'll see as she develops, we'll see. Ashley, why didn't mind talking later? I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her later. You knew. Okay, I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life on a sea. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are all. That makes sense. Back. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. You shouldn't complain. True. The Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come yeah. first. That's why I left. That was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hate leaving. It's a tough decision. You'll get over it. It's a tough decision. I made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. I like Garrus's attitude. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Nice. I like Garrus. Anna. Anna. A year of you. I love you. Anna, I love you too. Thank you so much for an entire year. So this officially means a year. What? In July? But we didn't start like hanging out till October. That's wild. Anna, thank you so much for an entire year of continual support and for putting up with me. The good, the bad, the ugly. All five different personalities I have. No name. Thank you so much for the resub as well for 18 months. No name. It's almost been two years. We are on our way to two years as well. Uh, I've done Bar- uh, Bark- Barkman? I've done Batman Arkham Asylum, but that's pretty much it. Uh, we wanted to go back to another Batman this year, but I don't know if we're gonna have time. I think it might end up being Batman or Knights of the Old Republic. Back to lurking, he- I Hey, Commander. Keep... Looking for Thank some you. extra supplies before you head out? Uh, I know he sells supplies, but I told you guys Not next- right I think next stream we're gonna Checking take on back. supplies. I feel a little bit- Oh, is this the same spot? Play Barkman? <laughs> All right, this is the same engine room. I'm just upset that they don't have a kitchen, you know? Okay, let's do this. We put up with you, it's the... <laughs> wait, wait, if we put up with you, then you put up with us. It's a good arrangement. It's, yeah, it works both ways. No kitchens in space. What am I just eating like a, oh, think about a dehydrated pickle. That'd be so sad. No crunch. Oh, Caden. No crunch. No glory. Okay. Caden is the kitchen. <laughs> Crazier drink. <laughs> the snack is right here. Loyal freak. And also old man. Thank you so much for the 200 bits as well. Old man, thank you. I am on a mission to save the galaxy. 
Caden's pretty crunchy. He is certainly a snack. Maggie's swooning over a cardboard box, SMH. <laughs> what is with you and calling him a cardboard box? I would say that Ashley's more bland than him. All right, Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this co colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and lights, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This music. Oh. Oh, oh, back down too far. Hold on. Like, pull me back in, coach. Hold up. <laughs> I can only back out twice. Okay. The Serpent Nebula. The map song's so good. Legend, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Ashley is bland. Very, very boring rock. I just want to, like, remind me to leave you guys in the map menu anytime I run to the bathroom. Wait, something about a loop? I saw that. There are like 10 hour long loops of the map music on YouTube. This is, I could just work. I could get so much done listening to this. Like at a coffee shop, just put this on in the background. Kaden, you'll skip EO in Article 15 and go straight to court martial energy. <laughs> I know I'm not even gonna say, I, uh... I'm not doing too well with keeping my thoughts inside my head when it comes to Caden. Great, thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna have a visit from Jag anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just leave it on the map. Citadel. But I can't leave yet. I thought we'd be able to... Okay, so we can't move yet. I thought... Well, oh, a sigh opened up. No. <laughs> You've had this dog on repeat while studying for uni. It actually feels like it's got all the right motions to help you kind of get into the mood. Zoom out more. I thought I backed up twice. Did I not? Oh, maybe I backed up one too many times. Or maybe I pressed B, like, back back. Let me take it one at a time. So to Nebula and then back out one more time. There we go, the Milky Way, you're right. <gasps> Look at all of the Argos. Armstrong. I guess it, I feel like the dig site is the next in the major story, but I wanna go to Pharaoh's. Novaria? This is closest. Wow. I know. There's so. Oh, this reminds me of the Final Fantasy um, upgrade menu. The galaxy is my oyster. Exodus cluster. Oh, there's two points here. Utopia? I want to travel to Utopia. He's the brain. <laughs> I'm out. The galaxy is your Taco Bell menu. This is such a cool game. Let's go. Let's all go to Muspelheim. I'm out. Oh. Oh my gosh. And there's even more within here? Zion? Eden Prime. Arcadia. Nirvana? This is within Utopia alone? How did I happen to end up back at where Eden Prime was? Yeah, this is just one solar system. It's a star system. No, 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 right. It's a star system, but so this is where we were when we went to Eden Prime. Did they ever mention Utopia? Utopia's the solar sit right, but but if you went back out. Oh, I guess maybe I should go to I wanna go to the asteroid belt. 
No, Asgard. <gasps> Asgard? I just got lucky by picking the one where Eden was. Terra Nova? <gasps> Terra Nova. Four? Check it out. Class one colonization prospects discovered by the first wave of Alliance surveys? Tier? Go back out. What? Pharaohs? Okay, let's click on one of these. Go to Hercules? I'm just traveling all over the place. We're gonna have to refill on gas at the end of this. Um, planet entries people were Message mentioning. Message coming in. Patching it through. Oh. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. Oh. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. That's right. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth... No, oh, we have so many missions. Oh, I have so many missions that I want to do as well. I was cast a lot of money from all the time. I think a couple of you guys have said that you get Taco Bell ads when watching this. See ya. Energetic star Hercules causes constant blue and violet. I'm sorry. I'm just popping all over the place. I just want to take this in Wow Holy cow look at that level one toxic hazard, but it looks beautiful <laughs> Oh Oh my goodness Attican fell there's the dig site. Okay, this is back where we were before. Okay, I'm gonna stay on target, stay on mission. Let's stay with Pharos. Wait, but we can explore. What's this one? Hawkins? It saves whenever you move the ship to a new one. You're telling me in all of these different locations, there's no Gwent. No Gwent, absolutely. How many games have you played that came out this year? Only one, as for Mercy. I think. Yeah, I think only one. Yeah, you hardly will ever see me play games the same year that they come out. It's a very rare occurrence. Sentry. Just spider solitaire. Message coming in, Commander. Oh, Big another surprise. one. Surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Hmm. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer Torfin, has set up a small compound in the Hawking Etta Cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. Oh. This could be trouble, Shepard. Part of me wants to go to all of the other planets that are the systems that are not actually our objective and do all of those side missions first. But I feel like we can do them at any point. I don't know. I just want to get it all done. Yo, Samurai, thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row and welcome back in. Guys, I'm just, I'm so in love with this. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. Hack it. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious Father Kyle. leader. Maybe I can reason with him. I'll look into this. You want me to kill him? Investigate further. Kyle's followers. Major Kyle. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you Plan served all. under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of oh, command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. That... We thought he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Okay, so he's tied to Torfin. I feel like I want to do this. I want to find out more about my backstory and what happened on Torfin. We That's still kind of like a gray area for us. Yeah. Is the android bishop from Aliens? Mm, I wouldn't match it to that. I wouldn't know that. Missing Alliance and Ian, what's up? Welcome back in. 
Missing what alliance? were those alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? Hackett's from. Okay, they let me. To bring him back to an alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served <gasps> for many years. Oh my gosh, it's Carl! It is Carl! Yes! It's mind, Carl's voice! He saw them as a threat. Hugh Hefner! I'm almost certain he had his followers. That's killed. right. That's why somebody said Carl earlier, and I just pieced that together now. I was like, oh, Carl, Kyle? Ah! Kyle's you followers. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself. Oh, I love his voice. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. He's from the quarry, Kyle too. Kyle sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. You want me to kill him? How permanent a solution are you looking for? <laughs> we don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Okay, got Kyle it. Kyle is dangerous. Fair enough. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Hack it out. All right. Uh, I don't exactly know where. Did it say Therap? I think it was on Therap. Now you have Anderson and Carl. Yes, now I know Anderson and Carl. I know two more people than I knew yesterday. Hack it out. Will be stuck in your head. <laughs> Donovan, I'm so glad you went to meet her. Yes, yes. Anna's fantastic. Hack it out. I'm out. Oh, ask for mercy. I, l I really hope there's another one. I love that series so much. I know I sound like a broken record saying I love every single game, but I just love being plunged into different worlds. Theropto is, I'm not saying that right, it's a typical hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. It has over a hundred moons and, wait, really? It has over a hundred moons in an extensive ring system composed of pulverized rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. Medallion discovered, while scanning the planet, you discovered a shiny moon with some on readings. Further scans by Chief Adams revealed a destroyer escape pod. Your salvage team recovered the components and found a leak of one medallion. And that's it, you can't go to it. Does it have FTL though? <laughs> some have more, yeah. But I can't, no, I can't travel to it. Well, no, only some, yeah, so you can't travel to all of them. Ah, uh, Donovan, it's so great to see you again. Yes, um, that trip, well, I will always remember that trip. It was super special. London, thank you so much for the gifted sub, but to Donovan as well. Donovan, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. What? Rapture, congratulations. Thank you for sharing that news. That is such, that is our joy-filled news today. That's fantastic. I, it sounds like you're enjoying it as well. A terrestrial world of average size. Can't, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say these right at all, but I'll try for y'all. Can't, <laughs> can't stress. Atmosphere is composed of nitrogen and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of calcium. Aside from spectacular formations of water ice at the poles, the planet has little to recommend. Light metals surveyed. While scanning this planet, you have detected a significant deposit of cobalt. Cobalt. If every planet is traversable, focus, imagine focus. how big. There's pizza on your focus. <laughs> Aries, guys, I know I'm craving pizza after you guys have talked about it. And then I think also Groovy was it Groovy that said they wanted pizza or something. Look at your assignments where you need to go. I know, I know. Right now we're just taking it in. Right now I'm just clicking on everything. I thought for a second you could traverse all of them. Morphix, thank you. Land, we can land here. Presrop is the moon of Clendagon. It is frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploration will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kilo kiloparsec ring? Oh. Around the galactic core, the ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely traverse. Uh, its landscape is nighttime of jagged overlapping ridges and geological shock zones created by some ancient disaster. 
This has no deterred, this has not deterred a generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. I want to go, we're out. I'm having trouble um, reading as, or just talking as much as I normally do because of like the compression in my chest. Player, thank you for the follow. And Maddie Max with the reset for five months in a row. Maddie, thank you so much. And welcome back in. Wait, no, I like these two. This is my favorite squad. I hope soon we get to have three people. It rains diamonds, which can cause pa Wait, hard word, that does sound painful. I would not think that, it's like, I mean, it's an expensive hail. Stop! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Woo! <gasps> Wait, this is amazing! With the Mako? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, I can't flip either. It's not flippable. Now I can run over the Jawas. Mako, sorry. Mako, Mako. Oh, 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 ow. <laughs> I'm on my way. It'll take me a while, but I'm on my way. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm headed over there. It is flippable if there's a way. <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way with me. Beeha. Wow. I wonder if it can get up anything. Oh, oh, come on, you got this. Highway to the... Okay, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're going back. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll find another way. Commander Shepard, what have you been doing on... <laughs> I'm going. Okay, do a little zigzag. Zigzag, zigzag. Okay, nice, nice. There we go. Where's the jet? <laughs> nice. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here, but... Did you say no wonder how I broke my car, IRL? <laughs> oh! Right? Pick up some speed! Go, Commander Shepard! Oh! 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 Nice, Omni Gel. Back it up. Wait, I see something right there. Hold on. We're repairing ancient debris. Bring her, bring her in. <laughs> what? The? Okay, Omni Gel's awesome. Save us from Saren. Shepard's like, uh, you mean I can drive on random planets? But what am I supposed to do with it? Can I get out? You cannot exit the make. Unless it's parked and on level terrain. Is this not parked? Wait, oh, no. Dang it. I pressed the wrong button. The sneak preview of Casta when she gets to the car dealership tomorrow. No, that's gonna be so much fun. But let's go back to our journal because we do need to stay on task. It's even the updated version of it as well. It wasn't always like this. Ah, oh, slow ride. Take it easy. Uh, okay, so I would say I want to do the side missions first, of course. Let's do the, wait, light metals, what, collectibles? We have more collectibles? What? How is that not on task? There are several League One medallions. Recover data from this missing, missing survey team, the missing Marines. Can I, I wish you could like target it. I feel like this is what I want to do. There's so many missions. Hmm. Wait, it dives better in first person than in third. Wait, can I switch it like that? 
Go to the Sparta system in Artemis cluster to look for the recon team. Okay, let's do that. Let's go look for the recon team. WD-40, we're trying to find the last one. Okay, back out. So we're looking for Artemis. I think I was there, was I not, Argo? Was it in, the, was it in Citadel? I faintly remember seeing it. Was it in Argos? <gasps> there we go. Wait, maybe in here? Sparta, there. I can't see that without saying Mako. Mako? Is even more difficult to control. Of course, it's mostly the fault of the ridiculous terrain you're forced to drive on. Also, classy. Thanks for the stretch. Okay, so it said that I should hear something around here. Did I already pick up on it? Hmm? Maybe it's one of these? Mako. Mako. Makyo. Mako. Mm, let me exit real quick and read it. Oh, hold on. Does not make any sense. Hold on. Just hit exit. Ah, uh, they do that if you want to. Okay. Macchiato. Mm. Missing Marines. Missing recon team in the Sparta system. All contact with the team was lost shortly after they sent an investigative suspicious. Oh, yeah. See, you're just... I think you're supposed to just find them. I don't know. Find them. Drive us here, drive us here. I know, we're being so... Do this, do that. Let's start with this one. I guess we'll work our way around. Not all of them we're gonna be able to land on, so. Dwarf planet composed of light magnesium silicates with deposits of aluminum. Its surface is covered by wide swaths of ancient, dark, basaltic, basaltic lava, possibly indicating that the world was created through an impact of some other body in the system. There's nothing even to get from this. Yeah, I mean, there can only be so many, right? Okay, let's do this one. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from there the you planet's go. surface. It looks yes, like an the automated distress, distress beacon. beacon. No scan, no lane. Uh, Adolis is a terrestrial planet with the atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Uh, the surface is covered by wide deserts um, of silicate sand with only a few areas of ingenious rock highlands and break abrasive dust choked wind. Orbit is congested with debris. Oh, we gotta get in there and save them. Are we there yet? All right, let's do my squad. Yeah. It's much more exploration heavy, which I personally I love, even if it's a lot of Mako. You guys don't like the Mako? Duck and also Sid. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. My squad. All right, we need to search for them. Oh, we hear it. <gasps> Question mark, distress signal straight ahead. And debris. And another anomaly. <gasps> okay, so straight ahead. Oh, this way. Whoop. I'm out. Oh. It kind of is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see him. Send them some shots to know we're on our way. <laughs> Viet, thanks for the follow. Welcome into. The desert. And make us funny but awkward. Oh. Whoa! Shoot it! Kill it! <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh! oh no! Repair! Oh, it's burrowing, it's burrowing. Do I not have anything stronger? Oh my gosh. My shots are something else. Whoa! That's how quickly you can die? You can die that fast? I'm sorry, what? That fast? What the hell? Yeah, Mars, what's up? <laughs> That is a sandworm. That's a mutant sandworm. This is not the dune worms that I know. Thresher maws are dangerous? 
You're right. I was just using the turret gun. There's got to be a main cannon. I didn't see what we have at our disposal here. I guess we have to kill it first. The dune butthole worms. <laughs> this is unlike anything I've seen. I also am like, oh, I'm going to save these people. There's no saving them. There was nothing. Medical kit. Shoot it a couple times. Nice, he tried to melee us. Hmm. I need to see what I... There should be something that tells us... I don't see, like, a main cannon. But don't actually tell me. Hold on. Options, no, key bindings. I was just like for the controls in case the game doesn't tell you. That's what I was, yeah. But I don't think it's gonna tell, wait, did it say layout? No, configuration, normal. I mean, it's gotta be one of these, so. Might die again, but. Oh, what are the little, oh, they've got little guys. Sensory. Also, why is this thing so weak? So weak. Okay, you know what? Circle back. Circle back. Oh! <laughs> go, little guy! Oh, go, little guy! Get out of here! I think he's following us! <laughs> okay. Okay, repair first. We're gonna repair. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Berg, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay. I was thinking maybe if you're... Where is it? Okay, that's not... It's not X. You cannot exit it unless you're parked it on level terrain. And it's not Y. That'll do. There's that button on a controller. That'll do. Where's Sir Robbery? <laughs> Me repair again. Alright, get back into the fight. Fire! Nice. How often? Avoid that. Do little shots on him. Who's in this vehicle with me? Is it just... Oh, those are some big shots. Just try negotiating with it? He ate my crew. Well, not my crew. Oh, now I gotta... Wait, which one was this, by the way? Was this the brother? Oh, no. Is this the brother? Okay, now that we have that, we're good to go. It spins. <laughs> no, I don't think this was my companion. I'm trying to think which person it was. There was a guy that's brother got lost on a ship. Come on. Come on. Get a couple. Look how far that spit goes. That's what the spit do. Jargon, come on. <laughs> My driving's not that bad. I've got a wheel issue. It doesn't, it hasn't sprouted the little tentacles. Remember fighting this on the first time. Come on. One more, one more, one more. Bring him down. Bring it down. Tell me this is a joke. Tell me this is a joke. It got one more spit off? Oh. I should have stayed safe. I should have kept my distance. I should have. I know. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I didn't quit out of the game. Come on. Don't do me dirty like that, Mass Effect. Vibrating for just watching the pain from this pull it out of the sky. I should have just pulled it out of the earth. I'm so mad about that. Ross, Jeff, Skinny, guys, welcome, welcome. This is such a tale as old as time for me. How many times have you guys seen this in the history of this channel? Where are we headed? Let me look at my map. Jester, you should. I'm having so much fun. I think... I guess I'm now not in the tutorial anymore, I suppose. I think it's over this way. 
I know, crate with the gift it's of to small, small pew pew. The small pew pew. No, Mars. The, the worm. I killed the worm just as it killed me. It was a uh, mutual destruction. Of course he wins at the end of the day. All right, come here. Let's see it. Let's just start firing. Oh! He's puking, he's puking! That puke is disgusting. Actually, maybe like two times. Oh! Oh, get out, get out, get out. Shoot him! Get him! Come on! Come on, line it up. Oh, we're not gonna talk about it. This is kind of an epic fight though, I will say. Okay, we can see the anomaly moving. Okay. Yeah. The acid's not desirable. One HP left o. <laughs> That's like every time I have the streamer luck. Like you guys know how you always say I have streamer luck. Okay, heal up, repair. Oh. Canceled our repair. Keep circling around. Thrasher moths were not were not to be messed with in the 2007 version. Was it a lot worse? You're running away from a a big old bug. Um, I think this is more than just a big old bug, Anna. I think it's bigger than a big old bug. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Alright, I'm spending so much Omni Gel on this. Clever girl. Where is it? This battle's what it's all about. I love how this was the introduction I got to traversing other planets. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's almost done. There we go. Bring him down. 720? And the Expedies. That's an Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> the car is a buggy. You would call this a buggy? This? I keep calling it Mako and everybody's like, no, it's it's not Mako. Maggie, come on. All right, we should be parked. Oh, sorry. I get a little excited. All right. Oh, it's so weird seeing myself with the mask on now. Oh, no. It's Mako. No, it's Mako. The main battle tank that handles is a little buggy. It's a little buggy. I wonder if they're gonna have that at the dealership tomorrow. Looks like they were lured yeah. by the distress beacon. Oh, okay, you're right. Okay, so there was a distress beacon. Ah, oh, they're two separate things. I am a specter. Looks like these men were under Admiral Finally. command. He'd want to know what happened here. Yeah, he would. Okay, we had talked to him in the first place. I think that's how we got this mission to begin with. Now do the fight again on foot. Can you imagine? In some ways? No, I think I would have gotten killed real quick. Yeah. Howie, just a bit tougher than the centipedes in Toussaint. I don't want to think about the centipedes. Toss me. What? Toss me. What? Roads and leg. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. And Garrett. Lead the, way. lead the way. Think Mako Shark. Oh, that's a really great way for me to remember that. Yeah. It's just because of how recent it has been since. Can I do anything with it? Fable? There's one more thing for me to pick up. It's just how recent it's been since I last played. Crafter Eye. Crate. What are you doing? Crate with five more gifted subs to the channel and community. Crafter, I hope you're doing well. And anybody that got a gifted sub, guys, welcome in. And I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes and need more zen as well zen thank you i can't exactly do anything with the bodies they're already dead but it is showing me that something's here bolton bolton thank you so much for five months as well mr with the hundred bits zen thank you casp casp thank you for the follow ransom 
Ransom with the resub. Oh my goodness. There's not another hype train happening. There's been way too many troll trains in the last three days. You guys have been crazy. Okay, I think before we traverse any further and before chat descends into further madness, this is a good stopping point. This is a good stopping point. I know, don't look at me like that. I think this is a good stopping point. Plus, I, I need to figure out what's going on because I don't think this compression in my chest is good. Um, I felt like I was feeling better and then the more that I talk, it just feels like my chest keeps getting tighter. Soup. Great. This is the madness I'm talking about. This is the madness I'm talking about. Jester, I know. I'll be back on Thursday. Soup, thank you so much for 50 months of continual support. And Crate with 15 more gifted subs to the channel and community. I gotta get out of here before this continues. This is madness. London with the thousand bits. Purple egg adventures. I know, I do feel like I, I did us dirty. We didn't get to go inside of the purple egg today. Look, I tried. It wasn't for a lack of trying. After I saw that we made Spectre, I tried to get us back to the consort, but she didn't want any of us. Are you stressed out? Maybe that's why. No, I think it's do a COVID test just in case, bub. Yeah, I think it's just because I came back from traveling. Uh, Anna and I did a lot of traveling back and forth. And I know a lot of people that have had like the bug since being back. I've seen a couple creators also have COVID since returning from the convention. So I might, I have a COVID test downstairs. I have still like the test. So I'll probably try to do one of those. But I feel like I'd have more symptoms if I did have it. No, Gal did not lick my face. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Three of your friends have COVID right now and it's resurfacing. Oh my goodness. I hope I don't have it. But yeah, I've, I don't normally have this like tight compression in my chest. So it's a little concerning. Zythron, thank you for the follow. Crate, you are bananas. Yes, guys. Okay, so I will see you guys on Thursday. I am going to raid. We are going to do a raid. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know exactly who we're going to raid. Um... Y'all, we're gonna go read Paige because she's doing Bloodborne and you guys know I have a sucker, or I'm a sucker for Bloodborne. Um, wait, oh. Okay, would you guys rather raid Bloodborne or LA Noir? Which one would you guys rather raid? LA Noir or Bloodborne? But yes, I'm gonna be gone tomorrow. So tomorrow and Wednesday, I'm gonna be recording and the normal YouTube uploads will happen. But I'm also trying to get my car situation fixed. So I should be going to the dealership tomorrow, test driving, kind of seeing what I want. I gotta figure out if I'm going new or used or what's going on. But I have to return my brother's car by the end of this week. So I'm gonna be getting that sorted out for the rest of this. LA Noir, Bloodborne, LA Noir. Okay, I'm seeing more LA Noir, which means we are gonna go raid. The one, the only, a bug catcher Jess. Um, we have matching hoodies. I don't think she's wearing hers right now, but I had the absolute mm -hmm. honor to get to meet her along with Anna and a lot of other creators and incredible people at the convention in Paris. We had a lot of fun shenanigans. When you go in there, say, did you really almost get hit by a car in Paris? Please spam, did you really almost get hit by a car in Paris? Guys, she is the most just positive person, I think, like even more than me. I know you guys think I'm positive, she exceeds it tenfold and is just an incredible person. So go drop her follow. Go enjoy the LA Noir. I'm going to have to dip out of there because I have not played it before. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on this week, but I will see you guys on Thursday. We're going to get back to Mass Effect Thursday. Next week is going to be a little bit weirder of a schedule. And depending on, I'm going to take this test and see, but depending on this weekend, I'll try to do a couple longer streams so we can get more Mass Effect done. Um, We'll pick back up right where we left off. We're gonna be doing some side stuff. Yes, copy. Did you really almost get hit by a car in Paris? Tell her, ask it, spam it. With that, wayward, thank you. Who did this? Spazzy. Also posture check. Jess is more nice than me, absolutely. She is the cutest person in the whole world. Yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for everything the last three days. This has just been, I, I don't know. It's always like nervous when you leave for like a couple days with streaming and everything, but it's just been bananas since being back. And so I can't wait to see you guys on Thursday as well. Thank you for everything, but most importantly, your time. I will see y'all. I love y'all. Bye.